I did it. Hey, Happy New Year! Well, for us Aussies, that is. Like, by the time this has been uploaded, I think, America, you're still dealing with 2020, so keep up that good fight, will ya? And to kick us off on the right foot, mate, I want to do something real fun. This is something I do for my patrons. In fact, I'm gonna glove up already. Ooh, why do I need to glove up? Cause, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Nugget Lucky Dip. Bro, like a year ago, I ordered this bulk lot of MP3 players. Like, I mean, you can just get a vi like, quick, a little look at the treasures. Ooh, ooh, not too many looks. It was genuinely mailed to me in this disgusting shopping bag. And every now and then I look for bulk lots and I keep adding to this bag. Like guys, it's actually gotten bigger since the last Patreon one of these. And we're gonna pull three of these out, one at a time. Number one, will it turn on? And number two, does it have have treasures on it. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is always fun, mate. What? Oh man, there's so many nuggets in here. Okay. All right, all right, I got one, I got one. Oh gee, I lost the <laughs> Oh, my fortunes. Oh, it's a good nugget. I mean, that shows you how rough the bag of nuggets is if this is the good one. It, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this crease in it. <laughs> What's happened to you? This is a creative. This is actually a brand of thing. Six gigs, man. It might have a hard drive in here. Well, I mean, look at this crease. Like, could be shattered into glass. Ooh. Those controls don't feel good at all. All right, eyes up, everyone. We are arming the nugget. And she's a rough one. Here we go. This is already more than I thought from this guy. Hang on. I don't know if it's meant to have a hard drive in here, because if it does, I'm not hearing it spin. And let, let's investigate. Oh, what a sad life this nugget has led. Like, who did this to you? That's the battery. And there's crumbly bits. Don't use metal on batteries, I am. I don't care. Oh, right. I don't think there is a hard drive in here. This guy fell out and I don't know where it goes. Oh, who designed this stupid thing? Hmm. Well, let's let this guy sit for a bit and see if it, like, recovers from its, like, coma, frankly. I mean, it's like, it, it's dead, Jim. If this first guy doesn't turn on, it doesn't count, you know, right? So, we, we need, we need working nuggets. Uh, oh, my Puxel. Whoa. Oh, it's an Agpatek. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you part of my Patreon are very, very familiar with the Agbatech. They keep turning up, don't they? Ooh, micro SD. How vogue. It's filthy and it weighs literally nothing. If there's a battery in here, I'd be blown away. Whoa, that's up to date. Look at this. Micro USB. We've got a chance here. Oh no, I could. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. The screen is already shattered. Oh, this. Oh no, this is a bad omen for this year. Oh wait, hang on. All right, we're recording on the old iMac here, mate. Look at this, the Agbatech A20. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Carrie Underwood? Oh, what the heck, man, this thing's full. Major Laser, Little Big Town. I can't play any of this, by the way, because like, you know, Google will banhammer me so quick. The Greatest Showman, of course. <laughs> All my students back when I taught music, they always wanted to play Greatest Showman. Zendaya. I'm pretty sure those are the stock images that probably came with it. <gasps> There's recordings. <laughs> Treasures. <laughs> is turning Deadpool pink to take on cancer. He's given away a special Deadpool costume completely in pink. Someone's been recording the radio on this thing. I've got to talk over the, the copyrighted material. Right on. Someone has been recording the radio on this. Wow, four hours. Was that four? That's four hours, isn't it? The, the titty player. <laughs> Where is, oh. What is this, software? All right. That's, that looks like software of some sort. Video. Ah. Oh. Well, someone was really using their Agbatech. Hours and hours of radio recorded on it. It's a shame um, that, yeah, the screen's gone and it's a piece of pop. Oh, wow, the grit's really shredding it at the moment. <laughs> uh, look at all the mini grits. They can go with the duck. Sorry, iPad, it's just how it is, isn't it? Bad news. She ain't firing up. Like, a lot of these will fire up as long as they're plugged in. But this guy's just boot looping doing nothing, so that one doesn't count. Oh, yeah. aren't you guys lucky you're gonna get four nuggets this year? Alright, alright, I got one, I got one. Oh, boy. <laughs> yep. It, that, oh, looks like someone's already one-gridded it. 
128 megabytes. Whoa, look out. This thing has every chance of not firing up. Oh, and it's got the weird USB plug. You can see I'm a seasoned nuggeteer. I have all the cables needed. All right, stand back, everyone. I'm firing up the nugget. Look out. Here we go. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh wow. That's not done. Oh. On. Uh, okay. Well, I've never pulled this many dead nuggets at this point. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there's nugget shards everywhere. <laughs> is this whole bag full of crap? Is that what this is? All right, all right, all right, all right, I got one, I got one, I got one. My book so. Wow. <laughs> it's a looker, isn't it? Yes, it looks like Among Us. It's got a pupper on it. And I recognize that font. This is a Dick Smith. This is an Aussie boy. It weighs nothing. There's nothing in this. You watch, it won't turn on either. Oh, Dick Smith. I saw something that, it, it did something. Come on, don't- Oh man, if this one's broken too... <gasps> yeah! Oh! Oh, I'll put it down carefully. Oh, we got- Is that Internet? Hang on. That's Internet Explorer. <laughs> Shows up on the computer. <laughs> it's full of stuff. That's so funny! Oh, I can't play any of these because these are all like really, really popular songs. But when were these put in here? 20... Uh, oh, 08! Oh, 08! Oh, 08! Oh, wow! Oh, there's folders! Abba! Here comes the drums! Joo, 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 joo! Nickelodeon Kids Choice! Total Girl Summer Hits! Hey, hang on! Total Girl Summer Hits 2011 added End of 2010. Mmm, I better call the police about this. All right, let's eject it. Will it let me play music out of it? Because if I have to have it plugged in, well then it's doomed. Oh, those controls feel very... Mm. Uh-oh, I don't think it's gonna let me. <laughs> nah, it's not gonna let me. Oh well. I mean, I couldn't play any music anyway. Let's see how quickly it turns off when I unplug it. Yeah, it's instant. <laughs> I'm mad. You guys are getting so many nuggets out of this, right? All right, all right, all right. I got one. Wait, no, no, no. I don't like the feeling of that one. All right, all right. I got one. <clears throat> Ematic. Oh, the plastic's almost translucent. It's so. I don't know. It doesn't feel awful. It's not good. All right, let's arm her up. We're gonna arm it. When I'm pointing, it means turn on. Ematic, no! All the amazing memories we've had together. Alright, let's arm her up. We're gonna arm it. When I'm pointing, it means turn on. Get, get out, get out, get out. I'm not lying, ask any of my patrons. I've never had this many dead nugs. Like, unbelievable. Come Oh. Uh. Ooh, it's gross looking. Ooh, micro USB again. It's an Agbatech. <laughs> it looks like one of the Sandisk clips. Mm, micro SD in, that's cool. Drink, drink, here we go. Oh God, jeez. <laughs> Oh man, she's cooked! Oh, that's so sad! Does it appear on the computer? It appears on the computer! Look at that catchy name, Agbatech... Go... Go... Fifth... Oh, oh... And there's nothing on it. Ah, oh, God! This is straight up sabotage, right? This is sabotage! Never had this many nuggets go wrong! Like, God, clearing out the whole bag in a single episode! Ugh! Last one, hopefully. MP4! Ambiguous. Wow, look at these zany controls. Do you hold it this way or this way? <laughs> yeah, that looks like that's a Nokia battery. If this battery works, this would be good for my old Nokias. Ooh, that's handy. <laughs> oh, it's got the weird connection. Oh, I'd say I'm in the nugget, but at this rate, it's gonna do nothing. Oop. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's a good start. Oh, 
Okay, you aren't meant to hold it this way. Ah, uh, <laughs> all right. I've seen this UI before, so my patrons look at that going, that looks familiar. It's got no name, but it's, oh, it's full of stuff. 50 cent. Acon Aqua's Barbie Girl, fantastic. Avril Lavigne. This thing's full. 2008, 2008. 2008. This nugget's been hanging around for like 12 years. All right, hopefully it lets us use this thing without having to be plugged into the compute. I hit eject. Get, get out. It's locked up the computer. <laughs> oh no, there it goes. Whoa! This one's worth cleaning now. Let's go. Wow, that is so dim. Can we make that brighter, please? And these controls are borderline unfathomable. Oh, left and right is up and down. That is so dumb. Oh, can we make the screen brighter, please? Yeah, crank it. Crank that brightness. I don't notice a deadly thing. How do we go back? Oh, no. Yeah, they've all got the same tortured... Ugh. All right, let's get straight to it. I just want to see the videos on this thing. All right, here we go. Empty disc? Oh, Dixie Chicks works. Lucky us. Oh, God, that's why I hate these stupid nuggets. Oh, we've got to show something on the screen. Hang on. All right, you dim idiot. Oh, it can't even show a picture of Bitey Frank. Oh, well, before the inevitable happens, I have to test the recorder. And just show you my nugget spirit look this whole time. That's right, mate. Pook cells. Well, what a big old pile of poop that was. Can't forget this failure. What horrible luck. Usually it goes a lot better than that because that one was blown up. That one wouldn't turn on at all. Not bad. Wouldn't turn on at all. Wouldn't turn on at all. Smash screen and just... <laughs> Seemingly pretty good. It had a lot of stuff on there, but then like couldn't play any of it. Well, that's it Huge thanks for watching big thanks especially these stinky names right here cuz one dollar a month I do extra vids. Let's get this out of the way So yeah, like these nuggets are fun when they get to this point where you could buy like 50 of them for a couple of bucks But to find one brand new in its box mate, that's hot to two <laughs> It like there you go. This is a brand new nug, but this name Hot oh, look at these headphones. Can't wait to blow them up with the mojo. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to open up a brand new nugget. See what all the fuss is about. So, huge thanks for watching. Happy New Year's to you. Unless you're still dealing with 2020. But anyways. But hey, I'll see you all next time. Franklin want the food. She wants the food. Or maybe not. Maybe she doesn't want the food. Oh, you idiot. No manners. Hey, it's the After Show. Thanks so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. You know, I don't have to do those annoying sponsored spots. You guys keep all that noise away from here. And hey, have full control of a project. I owe that to you guys. Thank you. But shut up and get to the hot. Yeah, brand new nugget. Like, can you believe no one bought this uh, at all? And, you know, and they called it the, the hot t, t They've been calling it that since 99, apparently. It's a digital music player. We could have figured that out. A gig, that's pretty stout, actually. Part of me's thinking if it's just got the cap and like a USB end, I might actually use this as a USB drive around the house, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it could be handy. Pantala LCD. Oh, I see. All right. So yes, English isn't the first language wherever this was sold. Interesting. Eight hours, flash memory, plug and play. Yeah, we'll see about that. FM radio, who cares? Multi-language support, that'd help. Ooh, it does micro SDs, who cares? Three and a half mil jack. Mate, now that's a big feature nowadays. Well, it's in that plastic everyone hates. I'm feeling hot to hot to hot to hot Du, 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 du. Feeling hot, t hot, t hot. T See, the rhythm doesn't work when you say it like these guys do. We'll get to the hot t in a bit. Um, yep, these always come in a dog poo bag like this. Oh, I can hear the rattliness already. <laughs> oh wow, these weigh less than it. First gen Apple iPod knockoffs, and they are the the lightest yet. I know I said that every video, but. Oh, I mean, it's just amazing how little goes into these. Yeah, good length, okay cable. They're just hateful looking. Oh, wow, I, I missed the instruction manual. Oh, and the warranty card. Description of problem, it's a nugget. <laughs>
Because <laughs> it's blended in with the background, so you can't see that it's a logo. It looks like it's just hot to do. It's the A6, apparently. Yeah, it's not in English. So, um, yeah. Yeah, this was not sold in an English-speaking country. Very interesting. Hot to do. I love this serial number. It's just stuck on real quick. Um, you know, it actually feels pretty good. Ah, oh, this is useful now. <laughs> awesome. I wonder, will it turn on? Without any charge. I didn't think so. I know you can get extension cables, so I can just plug this in, but you know, this is all I can find at the moment is this. So it'll do. There we go. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, that single LED's working hard. Wow, talk about screen bleed. <laughs> it's all coming from one spot. The screen is strangely high res. Oh, this is, this is not ergonomic. Music mode. Oh, I have to yell into it now, don't I? Oh, why, why is the center button not select? I mean, God, God. So mate, like this one time for New Year's, mate, we went to a friend's house to get smashed, but like what that actually meant was someone would just punch us right in the face. I mean, like, I was all up for getting dizzy this night, mate, but I wasn't anticipating this. My nose won't stop bleeding, mate. I can't have a shower, eh? Wow. All right. The controls on this are words I can't use. <laughs> what does RV stand for, right? And we've got M at the top. Basically, that middle button does nearly nothing. Like, you think you'd select with left and right and then, like, pick your choice with the center one? No, it's the top. Like, who comes up with these UIs? And then they sit there and wonder why no one likes them and wants to buy them. What other modes do we have? Record mode, yeah. Voice mode. Radio mode, I don't care. Text, oh, you're having a laugh. Empty, yeah, yeah, exactly. What, you're gonna read PDFs on this, eh? Imagine reading Pride and Prejudice on this, mate. Settings mode, what, what settings could there be? Backlight, left and right's up and down, of course. What's this spinning thing in the side? What is that all about? All right, we're gonna see if she can actually play Scarlet Fire music. There it is. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Mm. Auxiliary mode. Plugging you in. Here we go. Hit it. Hey. How do you turn it up and down? Oh, there you go. Yep. Yeah, play. Yeah, do it. Do it. Play. Oh, it's... <laughs> yeah, she's not feeling hot at all. That's a flash drive. That's actually um kind of neat and handy. I might actually keep that around. It's, it's, yeah. But we gotta smell these headphones. Of course, we've got the mojo. I'm gonna give these the best chance possible. Oh yeah, that's what you want. No way. No way. What? All right, all right, all right. Uh, I'm not speaking in awe as a good thing. This is like, are you kidding me? These have so little volume coming out of this. Like, what are these, a thousand ohms or something? <laughs> I, <laughs> these are playing at a lower volume than a set of T1s or something. What, hang on. All right, now we've got to try and pop them and you watch, there won't be any noise. <laughs> Yeah, they're buzzing pretty bad, and they stink. Like, they, I may not be popping them, but I'm stressing them out. That was such a weak volume. I mean, I wouldn't want to, but I could almost have put them back in my ears and probably just listened to them. Like, wow. These have really moved me. I mean, like, these have led me to uh, to take an extra, an extra step in, like, preserving these forever. Now they'll never hurt anyone again. Well, on the par with you. Well, um, cool. I got a new 8 gig. What, flash drive? And I could probably expand the memory as well. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I like it. I'd never want to use it as a music player though. <laughs> well, look, thanks so much for supporting me all this time. I, I really appreciate it. You're pretty loosey goosey this week. But um, yeah, I'll see you all next week, right? I'll see you all next week. <sighs> hey everyone, I just bought this MP3 player. Big Smith, I say, you know, it's good. I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, apart from many things. But it's like, 
not gigantically unbelievably huge. Why isn't it so big that it's an inconvenience on my life? But I bought a couple of other players too. I was particularly drawn to the packaging of this one, genuinely featuring someone going, ah, yeah, oh God, it sounds awful. Oh. I mean, can you believe no one bought this? But look, one gig, but it's just regular size. Why isn't it absolutely humongous? And like I also bought, Mate, I don't even know where this thing has even come from. Why hasn't someone created this inconvenient product for my self-destructive needs? Oh my gosh, mate, I can't believe it. It's the colossal MP3 player. <laughs> it's so big that this is actually going to be a problem to film. Look at like, Look at this spectacle. <laughs> like, it's got a kickstand. You have perfectly working technology right there. But nah, mate, it's got to be like a giant iPod Nano that's like completely inconvenient. Bezel! Bezel! This is king of the bezels. This is it. You, you can't go more bezel than this. Any more bezel than this, then it's just a flat surface with nothing on it. Well, mate, I'm getting a slight vibe that this might be a very cheap product. Supports MP3 music files, also known as the bare minimum. Built-in speaker. Oh, can't wait to smell this thing. Oh, no. We need four. Ah! And they're not included. Thanks, boys. Stereo earbuds. Oh. And USB cable included. Oh, man, needed another mini USB cable. Living solutions. I mean, creating products looking for a problem to solve. Oh, there's the buds. They look great. It's a shame. I was hoping they'd be gigantic, but then that would cost more money and defeat the purpose of this stupid thing. And yeah, there's nothing funny on the back. Ah! Alrighty, it's in that packaging everybody loves. Well, I just want to say I'm very sorry for the condition of my hands this week, mate. I bought an old Mercedes, and let's just say old mate Merck and me ain't getting along, and old mate Merck's winning so far. Oh, we're in. <laughs> Alright, we'll get to this in a This is incredible. We'll get to this in a second. We need to look at the treasures first. That is taped on... You... God, who made... Living solutions, you jerks. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Oh, here's your instruction manual. Well, we've gone ahead and just taped it straight to the crappy cardboard back. Don't worry, this is just like thinner than toilet paper, mate. She won't tear it all getting it out. So, all right, here we go. Oh. Actual light like, considering, we got out of that pretty good. I mean, that's not bad. All right, this is a very crappy manual. <laughs> There's the bezel. One, LCD display. Two, speaker. Nah, guys, you forgot to mention the bezel. Warning, only adults should handle batteries. That's right, mate. The power these book sales punch made, or the kids will just explode. Please save these instructions for future reference. Oh, look, a mini USB cable. Just what I needed. That's a lie. I've got so many of these. Actually, I'm not even going to bother. Oh, and the headphones. Oh, these are always great. Ugh. Yep, as usual, they straight up sound like percussion. Well, they'll be fun to blow up later. But seriously, everybody, for one moment, I need you all just to stand up for me, right, as we just pay respects to what is just simply the largest nugget in the world. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna peel it. Reveal that not the screen. I want to see this bezel. Here we go. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Oh, guys, God! credit to him for not hiding the bezel. Nano. Look, you can always fit a nano in the bezel. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. It weighs nothing, by the way. This is just a big plastic. Sounds like a VHS tape. Oh, the kickstand. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that is awful. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what an unusual perspective of this thing you have right now. Give it, give it. Okay, here we go. Come on, Puck Cells, you're needed. Hey? I don't just keep you around because of the, the name that I find funny for some reason. Uh, I've only got three of them. But we'll back it up with an old favorite mate, a Kirkland. Whoa! Yeah! Man, it's got a backlight and everything. Wow, look at our options. Music and setting. Music, setting, music. These are the, this is like one of the most tactile D-pads of it. It's like, click, click, have a listen. Well, I guess we should plug it in and put Scarlet Fire on it. Yeah. Oh, the picture doesn't look anything like the Super Nugget. All right, so I've got this plugged into the iMac here. There's a song on here. It's from 2008. The song was first created in 2002. It's called Grandma Dola. So look forward to that in a second. Power on. Bluetooth mode.
Mm. Auxiliary mode. Every time. Plug it in the nugget. <laughs> All right, let's 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 take a listen here. Play. Play. Oh, his menu. The, that Grandma Dollar. <laughs> Is this copyrighted? Do I need to talk over this? Well, I'm talking over it because I don't know. It's... What? This is... Wait. What? I don't get it. I don't get it. Is that what the clientele for this kind of product want? I mean, it's what I wanted, and I guess in the end of it, I did buy this and it was brand new. Where's Scarlet Fire? What? What does that say? Is that Scarlet Fire? <laughs> oh, dear. Bluetooth mode. Shut up. Yeah, it's an MP3 player and it um it really struggles with the names of things. But the beautiful thing is, it's got its own speaker. Oh! Mmm, that speaker sounds like suck. But it's okay, it can redeem itself with the sound quality with its... Uh, it's dirty buds. All right, I got the mojo. Crazy Stout DAC and headphone amp. It's just so loud, this thing. And it makes headphones sound really good, though. Ooh, that doesn't fit good. You better not be busting my mojo. It sounds like an Austin Powers quote. I'll oh, check this out. This is the uh, mini USB cable that came with the Colossal Nugget. Yeah, and it's actually already broken. Like, ah, <laughs> oh, is there any wonder no one bought you? Hey, look, check it out. K Bear Stellas. Actually, what these guys are knocking off. I mean, these are made in China too. But look at that. The exact same looking. I mean, these feel really cheap as well. But they were really cheap. Look, look at the egg bag they give you. Like, yeah, it's identical. <laughs> hmm. Oh wow, yeah, okay. These, these actually sound all right. So, oh wow, those are headphones. No problems at all. They sound like dog spit, like dreadful and no volume as well. What are they, a million ohms or something? But, um, mm, actually interesting because these were cheap, so cheap. Ooh, lots to think about. All right, let's stress these out. It's happened, everyone. Notice that awful buzzing stopped? The left one died. It's gone. The Mojo blew up a nugget phone. Ah, oh, Mojo, woo, give it up, mate. Well done, mate, you you blew that one good. Oh, what a, oh, we've been stressing our nuggets all year. That's so funny. How do I prove it? Thank you, iMac, for chiming in there. Guys, wow, what a racket! What a colossal blowout for the colossal nugget. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite nugget video yet, I'm telling you. Oh, beautiful, and they're still warm. All right, mate, give them back. All right, you know what I mean. Like, ah! give, give it. Give it at it. Oh, my pucks. All right, I know you're just like me, and you're definitely curious what's actually inside of this thing, so oh, I'm gonna take all these screws out. Oh no, the quality control pass sticker fell off. Now it's illegal to use it, I'm sure. I think. I mean, I'm just making this up. Or oh, am I? All right, glorious moment. Here we go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no, it doesn't feel like a quality product. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. oh dear. Oh, yep. Okay, that's happened. I've broken that clip merely trying to disassemble it. Well, I'm starting to get that vibe that this thing isn't made that good. I mean, oh dear. Oh no. Okay, all right. <laughs> this thing is made out of nothing. Oh, it stinks. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Man, 
it smells like blown up headphones. And I'd know that smell, mate, because the much I did it, mate, blood wet skull fly. Play hang on. Oh, he did it, man. He did it, yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh go. Oh. <laughs> look at look at that for precision engineering. Oh man, no wonder why the buttons actually felt pretty good. The the micro switches. Oh, I take it all back. There are some benefits to the Colossal Nugget. Oh, wow. I found the rat's nest. Oh, and the hold switch fell out. That's always good. Everything's spray painted. Look, you can see all the overspray of the red. They were really saving a buck. <laughs> oh, there's the fugly speaker that sounds great and is totally like falling out of its socket. Don't worry. I'm not going to smash this thing. I love this thing. I'm totally going to keep it. We've got we've to carefully put it back together just as well as they did. Uh, uh. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. The play button's crooked. Can't fix it. Oh, gosh. No, it's beginning. I can hear things falling out. Oh, the hold switch fell out. Guys, I'm getting the vibe that this is an equality product. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh no. Oh, I don't care. No, nah, that's just, that's just how it is. <laughs> is it self-correcting? I got it. Well, uh, yeah, what a beautiful thing. <laughs> I, I really like it. It's a piece of junk. You know, do, do I rate it? Not even a little bit, <laughs> but it's super funny and I totally want to just keep this around. Look, it stands up for reasons unknown to me, to be honest. It's not like you need a good look at this screen, but I do want to get a good look at this bezel. Um, hey, that's it. So thanks so much for watching, mate. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, mate. $1 a month, I do extra vids. And hey, you saw that Dick Smith MP3 play at the beginning? Well, how about their entire catalog from the year 2002? <laughs> that's right. Someone paid money for this. And it's literally just a big book of ads. Oh, it's got new discount coupons, which is probably the idea. I mean, why would you give out used ones? But we're gonna have a flick through this. I mean, look at that face. Like, come on. You know that guy's up to something funny. We're gonna have a look and hey, I'll see you all next time. Oh, my puck cell. Wait. Okay, now you can leave. Alright, everyone. We're sneaking up on Franklin here. Let's see what she... Oh, there she is. I don't know if she spotted us, right? We're just gonna move in a bit. All right, no one move. Right, shh, shh, shh. All right, here we go. Hello. Perfect. Hey, it's the After Show. Thanks so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. you guys giving me full control of this hot mess. Uh, I know Patreon's a pretty annoying site to use at times, but thanks for sticking it out on my behalf. Here it comes. Yeah, vintage Dick Smith. Aussie as all get out. I haven't looked through this yet. I don't even know what's in this. I mean, it's full of Dick Smith products or something. But like, yeah, <laughs> what a time warp, man. All right, let's just get straight into it. Oh, straight away, I see a CD Walkman. Completely disinterested woman in whatever she's doing. Like, look at this junk. Whoa, the Dick Smith powerhouse. Oh, it's so good to see the old Xbox sitting like that. It's just, ah. And look what it was being sold next to. I mean, <laughs> Get, get a vibe of the generation. And I'm like, mate, I'm reading the same pamphlet as you. Like, you can stop ringing me and telling me about it. <laughs> the things we did in the early thousands to talk to each other, hey? I can't talk right now. There's an annoying baby. Mate, here I am in color. Mate, here I am in black and white. Oh, yeah, mate. These aren't reeking of the olds at all. <laughs> Even brand new, they just reek of age. Oh, now that brings back memories, mate. Everyone had one of these puppies. I well, used to say Telecom, not Telstra. Ooh, components. Eee, SMS! Like, mate, stop ringing. I don't get it. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes! Look at these Nokias. Man, those were the business back in the day. Literally, they were for business. But, man, no one at school had one of these. They were, like, just, yeah, out of control. Oh, I love I love this. My teacher had one of them. She loved it. Stylish. Where have they gone? Flashing hands. Ah, oh, Nokia 3310. Man, and covers and things. Oh, that was fun back then. Let's get through the communications bit because I, I think all the funny stuff has kind of come and gone. Ah, oh, here we go. What a crappy JPEG. That boombox 
looks like an idiot and that laptop is just handsome as all get out. Oh man, that's what the thousands were all about. It had to just be shapes and just metallic colors. 300 bucks for a CDRW drive, yeah? 300. These never sounded good. Oh, jazz speakers. Yeah, sure, mate. Yeah, listen to Miles Davis out of those. That sound great. 320 bucks for a 40 gig hard drive. 128 megs of RAM. Whoa. USB to serial adapters. See, guys, like dongles ain't a new thing. They're ancient. My biggest fan. Oh man, yeah, 25 CDRs, mate, 24 bucks, or a buck each. The classic optical right there. Like the first optical mice were these at my school. We only had a couple of them, we all fought over them. Yes, that's how petty we were. But then you couldn't take the mouse ball out and throw it at people. You know, that's no fun. XP. Oh, the Sims. Empire, good, good. Like, oh man, this, <laughs> this was a good year for computer stuff, eh? I think I've still got my flight stick hanging around. Look at these monitors, I love it. These dudes have got it all so like, oh, my look, it's working. Wait, no, I have to simulate what you'd actually hear. The dummy books. Oh, calculators. Oh, mate, check it out. What? Kevo's using a new calculator. A oh, what? Yeah, mate, it's a calculator. You can yell numbers at it and it does no things. What? Franklin! Frank! Oh, heck yeah, man. It's... <laughs> Look at that, man. That's just what you carried around. Cassette players. Like, year 2000, I got my first cassette player. So even the cheap ones, 90 bucks, 120. Sony's 180, 200, 300. See, I had a cassette deck because, you know, 20 bucks. See, ooh, 100 bucks. I think they're still selling the same ones to this day. Need I say more? Need I said, look, everyone's having a good time. The movie doesn't even need to be going, mate, and everyone's all smiles, yeah? That's an awesome looking remote control. I actually want that. 250 Aussie bucks for that slab of plastic and glass. For 500 bucks for this handsome brew. It, it looks ogreish as it is. Oh, heck yeah, man. I love remote control cars. I need to get another nitro car. Dun, 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 dun. That's the way it's gonna be, little darling. Like an Australian pub, right? It's just horses all night. Darrell Braithwaite. All of that stuff is in the landfill. Guaranteed. Oh, back in the day, you can get proper little globes, right? It's all LEDs now. Yeah, mate, look how many. Like, back then, that's like, mate, that's a week's worth of Game Boy right there. <laughs> Remember, as a kid, saving up money for freaking batteries right out of my purple Game Boy Color. Yeah, and I made that face like, yeah, I'm happy, but I'm actually kind of mad. You guys nowadays, you just plug it in, like, oh, the coupons, the coupons, oh, no, 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 someone could copy these and use them, I should cover it. They're still selling the same ones as these. <laughs> electrical components, electrical, <laughs> most of this is just, you know, tools, the same stuff they're still selling today, to be honest. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh, wow, look at this battery guide. Oh, oh, wow. Huh, literally every type of battery. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, oh man, look, there's proper learning business in the back of this. Actual learning. Wow. <laughs> what a slam of book. I mean, like, this this middle bit was the best. I mean, that like the computers and the entertainment stuff. Some of Salt and Bucks. I mean, they're still selling those. <laughs> And seeing those $20 cassette players, like, ah, uh, Yo, I've, I've got a whole stack of these, all brand new in boxes, by the way. The things I'm hiding from is you have no idea. Franklin! Uh, but hey, thanks so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it, mate. I'll see you, I'll see you on the other one. Here we go again. So, uh, common comments from the first episode was that, the, Oh, Raycon's gonna sue you, mate. Oh, you're a goner. Well, well, that's a way to never get sponsored and have Raycon never reach out to you. Well, the funny thing is, they reached out to me. Uh, yeah, they were, <laughs> I mean, I never thought I'd get a reply from Raycon after that vid. The corpse of the first one's still hanging around here. But they were actually all like, hey, thanks for reviewing the headphones. Would you like to try our new improved ones? Well, it's nice that they're good sports about it. Uh, but I actually declined. <laughs> I, 
I honestly, I wasn't really interested. I appreciated it though, but they asked if I'd at least just try them. Like they didn't want a video out of me for it. And so I was like, hey, you know, why not? But here I am doing a video about it. So these are the E25 Pros. So the, yeah, this is the new improved version. Same marketing guff on the inside. AKG do this as well. And I don't like it when they do it. I mean, it's like, you know, I already bought them. You win, like stop selling them at me. I haven't even looked in this bit yet. Oh, there's that sticker. Oh, I really don't want to waste this one. Uh, I want to be me. Oh, it's a booklet now, not like just a big, huh. Uh, yeah, this is actually a way better little manual than the last thing they gave, where half of it was just marketing, really. Hey, technically an improvement, even if I don't like this mushy kind of talk. Look, I opened it properly this time. Oh, <laughs> look, you get a little lanyard because yes, they put a lanyard on it. I didn't know that was something people wanted. And yeah, look, bud bits, a cablet, it's, it's all basic stuff. So while basically looking exactly the same, except for this little loop there on the end, these genuinely have improvements. Look, it's USB-C now, nice. And wireless charging, that's something I think Earbuds are really good for. You have your wireless charging pad at the front door next to your keys, and you just go doink, and that means they always charge when you're ready to head outside. Now, since the last video, I've actually been handling a lot of wireless earbuds for future vids. Yes, I have Sony XM3s, which has a case so big that like you could put a flak player in here as well. But you know, these are properly acclaimed. You know, there you go. Nice buds. Like, you gotta respect just how tiny the Raycons are. Like, honestly, one of the smallest regular buds. Buds I've handled. Like I've got the Bose sleep buds, but you can't play music through them. Regardless of sound, that's pretty neat. And it's just got a physical button, no crappy touch. Sony. They only bring this up as a good thing because like, you know, I, I can't sleep with earbuds in my ears. I just can't do it. Like I st even struggle with the sleep buds, but these have the best chance of being earbuds for naps just because of how tiny they are and how well they fit like right into your ear. You know, that's a bit harder to do with these chunksters. Case still doesn't open all the way, but you know, according to this paper, the old ones were bass heavy. And you, you boy, were they? <laughs> And, but no, the new ones, the upgrade ones, mate, these are balanced sound. Better water resistance, hmm. And a lanyard! Their ads are proclaiming it too, like the whole Raycon vibe is that you pay less for good sound. So, are they balanced? It, no. No, no, not even. <laughs> they are still super bassy. Now look, they're not awful. They're just mediocre. Because, you know, it's not just how much bass and treble there is that makes them sound good or bad. Like, you know, example, here's my K712s, lovely things. Yes, I know these are audiophile headphones, but I love these because of the sound stage. You know, that's how, oh my book cell. You know, it's how 3D and wide music sounds. Any headphones can do left and right. Headphones like these start doing forwards and back. You know, what I mean is like, you know, you listen to a live album, you can almost point to where instruments are. The Raycons just kind of squish it into left and right only. Like not slightly behind you to the right, it just comes straight at you like that. You know, I mean, that's my best explanation for something that you got to experience in person. And like, look, I've tried bootleg headphones, like actual bootleg headphones that are a total scam that come with fake iPods, right? And these are way better than that. You know, these aren't a scam, they are cheap feeling, but they do work, right? They just, Bad value. <laughs> and as I said before, their whole vibe is that you're paying less for great sound. And I can just completely blow that apart with, oh look, KZs, really nice cheap in-ears. I brought these up in the last Raycon vid. And yeah, I very much preferred these over them. But since the Raycons are upgraded, it's only fair that we do the upgraded KZs. <laughs> look how good these look. That's metal, by the way. You can see all the guts in there through this beautiful clear plastic. They ain't hiding nothing. They wanna show you how much work they've put into these. Look, look at the metal fittings. Oh, it's beautiful. So yes, they have a cable on them because hey, if you're gonna go cheap, don't be greedy. Because wireless headphones have to have their own amplifiers inbuilt to send the sound. Whereas with a cable, you can just hand that over to your phone, your MacBook, your whatever. And that helps make these cheaper. The KZs absolutely smash the Raycons. Absolutely smash them. All right, these aren't just good for the price. These are good full stop and all oh, the price. All right, so, you know, normally I talk in dollary dues, but you know, they don't sell these to Australians. So I'm gonna have to use Freedom Eagles instead. These are 80 American Freedom Coins. These are 18 Freedom Coins.
And like, just to give some example on like the songs I'm listening to to reach these opinions, yeah. George Benson's Affirmation, the live version. At the beginning, there's like applause and like his guitar on stage just making the snare buzz. Like you can hear where stuff is coming from and it's like super immersive with big open back headphones. With the Raycons, it just straight up left and right only. MJ's PYT. It's tight and punchy, like Michael Jackson stuff isn't super bassy at all. But with the Raycons, everything has a sub boom to it. It's like, you know, I love bass, yeah, I love it, but only when it's meant to be boomy. Not something like this where it's meant to be tight, because hey, if I want bass, Beanie Mans, who am I? It's got big stinky bass, right? But good headphones can still give clarity in the voice and the percussion and all those sort of things. Like the reverb on the vocals, which is the room sound. You know, if you're in a gymnasium and you yell, you pick up all of that with big stinky bass. This just crushes all the top end stuff together. And so it's just heaps of sub bass and everything else feels tiny. It actually makes the track feel small. Because if it's nothing but bass, like bass is one instrument, guys, and a bit of bass drum. That's it. Vocals, piano, synths, guitars, the rest of the drum kit, that's all up in the top end. So if you have nothing but bass, it feels tiny. Earth, Wind & Fire's Let's Groove. Huge kick drum, like it's super thumpy, awesome bass line. It's super stereo. Supportive vocals are out here, main vocals are in the middle. It's got heaps of stereo stuff jumping around. It's a really beautiful mix track. And honestly, nearly every headphone sound good with this track. Or Earth, Wind & Fire's September. Listen for the bongo man. In the right ear cup, there's just a guy with some bongos and he's going at it the whole time. And really nice wide headphones, right? He feels like he's really far away. It's almost like he's in the room with you, just in there. Boop, 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 boop. You know, you can't unhear the bongo man now. Something more unconventional. Thundercats Dragon Ball Do Rag, right? It's super lo-fi, and the kick has a huge sub kind of added to it. Out of the Raycons, it just sounds like mush. It's just, but with nice headphones, you know, like these, like you can hear the textures and the synth, like the lo-fi crackle and things, and the sub bass is still huge, but it feels like it's meant to. <laughs> it just crushes everything together. Last one, I've got a whole bunch of tracks, but look, Curtis Mayfield's Pusher Man. At the beginning, it's all like tight percussion and like acoustic instruments. It's super crispy. It's a really old school tune, and sometimes Curtis gets really low in his voice, and with this, it can start getting Getting boomy. It feels like the mic is feedbacking or something. But look, they're tolerable. They're tolerable. And due to their nappable, sleepy time potential, thanks to their t literally tiny size, they really do have like a possible use with some people. It's just a shame that they're just a redesign of a pair of headphones you can get for half the price. So if the shape is all you want, why would you pay double to have Raycon written on it? But in the last video, a lot of folks also said, yeah, well, these are like their cheap ones, mate. So like you shouldn't judge it all until you try their expensive ones too. Oh look, it's the expensive ones, the E85s. Not 80 US bucks, these are 150. I've already taken them out. I want to see if anything's different. Hey, it's a different Raycon sticker. Okay, now look, that's actually a cool looking sticker. Now I'd really not want to waste it. Again, good book. Like, yeah, it's nice documentation. Way better than Samsung's beans. So honestly, uh, I didn't ask for these either. I, these were just in the box. I mean, they actually gave me other little gift things. Genuinely, they gave me this Raycon bum bag. <laughs> I haven't used a bum bag since like 2003. Check it out, mate. I can keep my dirty buds in here. That's actual. Yeah. I unironically love my Raycon bum bag. And <laughs> no matter my standings on the headphones or whatever, you, you bet you I'm going to be wearing this at some point. So right out the gates, these are AirPods Pro clones, like straight up that shape. So yes, you read that box properly active noise cancelling and yes these have active noise cancelling and it works it yeah it'll take the aircon out of a room you know still cheap feeling like i don't hate the case you know it opens up nice and wide it looks like it's using a lot of the space it's got the magnets that oh okay Ooh, what about what about this one? Oh yeah yeah oh shit <laughs> Sorry, mate, I hit you with your brother there. Yeah, they stay in, these don't. They sound marginally better. A little bit. I mean, they have to for almost costing twice the cost. They don't sound twice as good. But there's actually a problem. Like, my pair, I busted out the box. <laughs> right, if I'm pushing them into my ear, right, the left one makes really loud buzzing distortion sounds. If I turn off the noise cancelling, it goes away. So it's like, that's the problem. 
and then basically if you take away the noise cancelling these are just very very average cheap earbuds for 150 US bucks. Uh, but hey that kicks the conspiracy theories I keep reading in the comments about like yeah well like Raycon I bet only send their good pairs to reviewers and all the rest was get crummy ones. Well, I'm a reviewer and they pers they persisted that I check out Raycons again and sent me these even though I didn't ask for them and they're, bro <laughs> and they're broken. So there's another conspiracy theory gone. But you know, they have the same issues as the other Raycons. You know, there's no real sound stage. It's not that nice instrument separation. The bass has reined in a little bit, but they're still, they're just okay. Like the, the noise cancelling is cool. Shame mine is buggy. I don't hate the case. But again, absolutely destroyed by the $18 KZ, $18. They're built nicer, they sound so much better, and they still cancel noise. Like, these ones aren't active noise cancelling either. Even without noise cancelling, this was a better listening experience. And hey, here in Australia, mate, it's summer. You betcha I'm living underneath an air conditioner where I'm gonna notice droning loud noises in the room. And I'd still pick these. But final round, mate, we need to test their microphones. Yep, these got microphone. These have got a microphone. And yes, for $18, it has a microphone. So like this one time, I was trying to impress a chick and I was like, over her house and I told her I could juggle. She was heaps thrilled. But like, I didn't know how to juggle, but I'm like, fifth mate, how hard could it be? Like, you just got to throw things. You know, do that every Tuesday night, eh? But you know, I didn't want to start with something hard or fragile or sharp or dangerous, right? So like, you know, I just tried to juggle her cats, eh? Like, I'm a good six seconds into my cat juggling routine here, man. It's harder than you think, because, like, the kitten's way less than the full-grown cat, mate, so it's all a bit daddy wampus. And, like, she's just screaming, mate. I'm like, oh, mate, she's loving this. So I get the pug in there, too, mate. But, oh, they're dense, mate. They really thrilled all that. Look, so needless to say, mate, the pug got thrown out the window. So, like, the pug's gone out of the window, yeah, which is, like, a total bummer. Because, like, we're in a houseboat, so he's out in the water paddling about, mate. So I've got to hop in the captain's chair, chuck a Yui, mate. But, like, I chucked her a bit too hard, mate. She's not like Nana's Commodore at all. And, like, she totally went under, mate. Wait, got the pug back, but at this rate, we might have to eat him to survive. The Raycons, they're fine. They're okay. You can hear the voice, and I guess that's all that matters. Funny enough, the KZs usually have rather nice mics. I think the cable helps. It's one of the perks of, like... Sending a hard signal, yeah? Which is why a lot of people are super bummed that the headphone jack's gone, because there's just some things that wireless don't do better, like latency. But despite the improvements, and there are some USB-C wireless charging that whole vibe, I, I reached the same conclusion. They're just bad value. They're not a scam. Like, these are nowhere near bootleg standards. And hey, I had problems with my AirPod Maxes, <laughs> so, you know, every company can have problems. If you own these, you have headphones at work. Way better than your phone speakers. They just really remind me of the Beats by Dre. Just super mediocre, where you can literally get twice the sound at half the money. I mean, Tautronic Sound Liberty 79s. I hear they have a few reliability issues, which is a bit of a drag, but they're half the cost and just double the sound of this. And hey, if you don't mind a cable for a quarter of the money, you can get these and they're awesome. There you go, KZ ZSN Pro X's. Yes, I say Z, just deal with it. Uh, but just to finish, I want to do a quick do about people attacking YouTubers for being sponsored by Raycons. And, and I hate to see it. You know, remember that not everyone is hardcore into audio and music like I am. Like since the age of nine, music has been my entire pathway. I've worked in studios. I like to make music. I've got so many pairs of headphones to reference against. And if you don't have a point of reference, you could put these in your ears and go, hey, these sound all right. Hey, these sound good. You know, when I give folks the tour of my headphones, we start with the cheap ones and people generally say, oh, they're not bad. But then after trying all the cool serious ones, oh my lovely. At the end of it all, we come back to those first cheap ones and they go, oh, yuck, Ew. The headphones haven't changed, just their perspective. And I'm sure many YouTubers are just happy to have a small pair of earbuds that play music with a bit of extra bass. You know, if you don't want to support Raycon, just don't buy them. You know, please don't attack people over it. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, big thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here. Cause one dollar a month, I do extra videos. And uh, yeah, this one's a um, bit of an interesting one. So someone reached out to me to tell me that they have prototype iPods. Yeah, prototypes. And they offered to lend them to me so I can check them out. Um, I didn't realize he would send me a whole box of them. <laughs> I haven't played with any of them yet, but I pulled two of them out and we're gonna check them out like a first point of contact. <laughs> yeah, regular iPod, yeah? Mm, it's got a cover on it. But um, what's that all about? <laughs>
And yeah, this serious looking sticker. And look, that's a different color as well. This is super neat though. <laughs> look, it's an iPod touch with crazy gibberish on it. And what the heck is that camera placement? What? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, uh, we're going to plug these in and see if they do anything. Could, uh, don't worry, I'm going to do a full main vid on these because I want to learn what all these codes mean first so I can actually discuss a little bit. Because, yeah, apparently it all means really specific stuff. So we're going to plug these in and see if anything works. So thanks so much and I'll, uh, I'll see you all next time. Well, don't you look pleased with yourself. No, no, don't, don't move. No, Frank, no. Oh, that. Oh, no, Frank, what are you doing? Stop smushing your head. Hey, it's the After Show. Thanks so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, cool episode this week because, oh, prototype iPods. They look pretty normal from this point. I mean, this one's got a clear case on it. I won't be taking it off. But look at this. In that click, we're looking a little bit different. But the differences get a little more crazy on the back. So regular iPod and, and then, like, uh, <laughs> Uh, N25 Pre VTD2. A very big sense, make. <laughs> and just these stickers on here. Like, <laughs> wow. Uh, you know, I'll be doing a full main vid on these when I actually know what all this stuff talks about, and I'll make sure I credit the person who've sent these to me, but I'm just keeping privacy for now. Love that. This device has not been authorized as requested by the rules of the Federal Communications Commission. It's like, yeah, this is, we're just seeing if this idea can even work. And, and then, like, the touch here with this freaky camera setup, that is wild. N18 EV2 J1 so I'm not going to plug this into the iMac because I don't want to be playing with the hard drives at all. I've just got a very simple USB cable set up so I can just throw some juice in it. Uh, let's see what happens. I hope we don't need firewire. Uh oh. Do we, do we need firewire? All right. Stinky firewire time. <laughs> Oh, I hope this works. Come on. Come on, Bubby. Oh, that's good. Oh, I hope it's a freak show when it boots. Well, if it boots. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, it beeped. It's beeping. Oh, that's not good. Uh, it beeped three times. Well, while that's doing the big smooth brain thing, let's try USB into this one. Oh, 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 okay. It's saying it's charging. Well, that's nice. Hmm. I just want to see one of these work. That's a okay. That's not good. All right. This is going swimmingly. This one's doing the big unhappy. Like not even Firewire is, is helping it. Oh, it's still holding power. Oh, dingus. I don't want to do too much plan around because I don't know what's on the hard drive and I don't want to spoil it. What about you? Okay, you're charging apparently. Okay, that would. Oh, can you do Firewire though? Oh. Oh, it. Oh, okay. Let's not put Firewire into that again. Come on, Bubby. Come on. I want to see that freaky central camera work. This one's called the Pre EVT. Oh! Oh, it's got a retina screen. Oh, this is iPhone 4 kind of biz. Oh, no. Oh, I just want to see the, the boot of just one of these. One. Oh, this party stinks. Oh, charging is not supported. Well, I don't care. Just let me in. Oh, this is just... Oh, someone's been playing with this. This has Cydia on it, which is like jailbroken. All right, so I don't think... Oh, what if we go into general about... Four... So it's like 16 gig. Hmm. Huh. Oh, go you legend! Come on! Plug this one back in. I know it will do nothing. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh wow, the click is different, I swear. Settings. The MBO 29 minus. This font looks different. Oh wow, I've just realized. Oh wow, that is, that is weird, man. Look, that's like... That's how the OS is meant to look. This looks like a fifth gen. It's It's got the layout of like a fifth gen, but with higher res screen or something. That is, that is weird. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. This is what I've been wanting. You're making me sad. Is there anything on it? Oh, oh, 
All of my dreams are coming true. You, you wait. We're burdened with success at this point. There's nothing on here. I, mean, I couldn't figure that. Oh, it's got photos on here. Oh, hopefully they're not private. August 06. Oh, wow. So this must be them just... Oh, wait, look at the bugs forming. <laughs> wow, so this just must be like photos that they put on here to test the resolution or something. I'm not going to hit any faces here. Wow. <laughs> I love how buggy it is. That's that makes me smile. It's sky and tree. Oh, extras. What are the what are the extras? Games. What's on here? Oh, the same old. Although parachute. Now. Oh, look at this. Oh no, oh no, there they are. This is actually a really choppy version, and this is actually running insanely slow and terrible. Wow, this is not optimized the slightest. Oh, well, look, what, can I not die or something? It is running awful. <laughs> so it looks like they've just crammed the iPod 5th gen into this 6th gen. Mm. Uh, again, this is looking um, pretty normal. 60 gigs. Man, this would have been expensive in the day, <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, this must have been right at the... What the... Does that work? Him. Wow, okay, that's wacky in of itself. There's no camera application, but it has a camera. So that is absolutely freaky. Ah, <laughs> oh, the battery's so low it can't do it. It's meant to have a 3D game in here. Like it actually looks pretty good, but this guy's unhappy for some reason. Hmm, might be the SSD it has inside of it. <laughs> Wow, that is... Wow, whoa! Is that meant to... Uh, wow, that's weird. Sorte! Woo! It runs terrible. Well, there you go. I mean, that's just a quick taste. Oh, the battery's hanging in there! Um, that's just a quick taste of, like, you know, I've got a pile of these to go through. I hope one of these has, like, a development kind of flash screen on it. I mean, there's a whole pile. Um, this is the only classic in here, and I'm so glad it booted, because that is... That is really odd. So I can't wait to do some research. I've got to speak to the guy who sent them to me because he did hint what these numbers and things mean. Looks like I'm going to be writing a big old essay. But hey, thanks for supporting me. More to come and mate, I'll see you around. Portable speakers. The weapon of those social anarchists who feel the need to smash hilltop hoods out of a Nokia navigator at full whack on a crowded bus for everyone to enjoy. This do be looking a little thick, doesn't it? Glad we can kiss these proprietary docks away because the smartphone era really has made Bluetooth a staple and it's about time I looked at some of these portable speakers as they are everywhere. Of course, the freakish ears on a stand are here because you, you gotta hear it for yourself after all. And you bet I have a serious set of speakers as a benchmark. My Focal Shape 65 is running out of an Apollo twin and are balanced by sonar works, meaning it has mapped my speakers and tuned them to be flat. Now, like the, the show, how this works, and like a fun point of comparison, mate, we gotta show you the low end of speakers. It's called smashing it out of your iPhone. <laughs> We all knew it wasn't going to be good, but <laughs> mate, that, that one-two comparison is damning. So the first one up, we gotta start with an actual character on this show. If you've been watching for a bit, mate, you know what's up. It's the EFM Toledo, also known as the sexy speaker. I mean, just looking at it, I wouldn't call it sexy, but it's the voice that this thing has. Power on. Uh. Bluetooth mode. Oh, oh, oh man. Like backstory, yeah, it came with my phone plan, like with Optus, literally. I got the phone, they're like, hey, pick out something that you're technically paying for, but it's a gift. And I'm like, I don't want anything. And they're like, well, take something. And I'm like, well, I don't have a Bluetooth speaker because you know, I just don't really use these. So these used to be really expensive, but now they're about 100 to 120 dollar dues. And you know, our dollar dues are worth less. So, you know, micro USB, uh, aux in, ooh. It, it's, a, it's a Bluetooth speaker. But I do like this, you know, that's handy. And I like that it kind of just flops over it. So it lays down like this, the noise comes out of here, and it's got these like 
bass reflex whatever. I mean, you know, they're not speakers. You can see push in the bottom makes the other one go. But they do stuff. I mean, my folk house have things like this. So straight to the biscuit, take a listen. <laughs> Uh, it's it's pretty weak bass, really. I mean, a friend of mine was over helping me test these, and he said it sounded like a song being played down to you through a telephone. That sexy voice, though. But let's sample a couple others, mate, before we start making big conclusions. Power off. So we're not getting more expensive. We're actually going to go a bit cheaper. This is about 60 Aussie bucks. The Tribit Stormbox Micro. It is small. I mean, you could fit this in the front pocket of, like, Guy pants. Sorry ladies, I hear that pockets for pants just ain't really a thing for you, and I hope that's changing, but mate, we've been able to fit monster energy cans in the, like, in the front pocket, no problem, for years. USB-C, nice. Uncovered, hmm, I mean, you'll learn why that's a bit of a problem later. Buttons, indicator lights, um, and this is so you can strap it onto poles or handlebars or something so you can bring it with you. That's kind of neat. Your bass. The bass is pretty dang good. The top end is okay. Like you can actually hear it's kind of made that sacrifice. I actually prefer it to this. <laughs> I honest, one twoing these. It's like I actually like this, and it's smaller and cheaper. Mmm, sexy speaker. Mm, you're not doing too good out the box. Uh, so jumping up a bit in price, so you know the, the sexy speaker's about 100, 120 bucks. Aussie bucks, that is. Well, for 168 dollar dues, mate, you can get the ultimate is Boom 3. So this one's interesting because it actually stands up like this, and so you just have this ominous perspective of it at the moment, so I'm just gonna lie down. As an overview, uh, uh, it's a Bluetooth speaker. There's the volume and such. Uh, there's a button, and the off button's hidden under that. Uh, I actually like the red. It is pretty stonky heavy, actual. <laughs> and interesting that it stands upright like this, which means you can put it into, like, corners of rooms more easily, at least, I think. Hey, this would be good, you know, for those of us that take baths, this would fit standing up right in the corner. Mmm. But go on, mate, let's take a listen. <laughs> actually hear the bass. It sounds a little bit woody, I mean that's a double bass that you're hearing in that track that you're no doubt humming for the rest of your life, but it's totally audible. It really pesters to install an app, and it really annoys me. It actually says like, make sure you install the app for the best experience. I don't want to encourage that too much. I mean an extra couple of settings in the app is one thing, but I don't want to enter this world where you need to download an app and give details just to get the most out of a speaker. So I got a lot of these at JB Hi-Fi, I walked in and went, yo mate, what are people buying? What are people want? And the most expensive one here at 200 Aussie dollar doonies, the JBL Charge 4. So it, it sits like this. That's how it's meant to be. It's not a standy uppy one. It's got these bass response kind of dudes. Um, and really nice two-tone finish on everything. It's super nice, actually. I really like how this is built. It's it's chunky. USB-C, nice. Aux in, nice. Oh, that reminded me. I didn't show you the port on the boom. Only micro USB, nothing else. So it's the biggest and the most expensive. So that means it's the best, right? There you go. Let's take a listen. Uh, yeah, 
it's the it's the biggest most expensive and the best sounding <laughs> it's got it's got more surface area to crank bass out of which means the speakers can focus on the top end it's way more rounded again it's not hi-fi but for like this crazy portable speaker it actually had bass that would fill a room wasn't begging for me to install an app that jabot us again so that was the most expensive one but huh we've already done a cheap one so what else could there be i haven't shown you the cheapest. I saw this in JB Hi-Fi, it's a JBL, and I saw the price, I went, mate, this could be the upset victory. Uh, $39 I got this for. The Go 2. Go to where? We're not sure. Um, it's just like a rubberized plastic little lead. It's got a button and little tiny legs because it stands up and faces you. Uh, the front's actually metal. Micro USB, where? Aux in. Mmm. No aux in. Oh! And no walks in on this either. Sorry, I'm just getting completely tangent and like jumping all over the place. So, 39 Aussie bucks. That's like 20 Freedom Eagles. It's got aux in. It's Bluetooth. It is tiny. I thought this was small. It's it's tiny. It's even thinner. So prepare to be blown away. Let's take a listen. <laughs> cheapest and smallest one is the worst one. It was pretty poor. Every time we flicked onto this speaker, me and my mate just went, turn it off. I mean, can it defeat the iPhone 12? It did it! It defeated the crappy speaker in a phone! Ugh, and, and honestly, that's all it can really do. Wait, podcasts, maybe? But, but if you think we're done with the testing, you're an idiot and you owe me an apology. Because all of these are claiming that they're waterproof. That's right, get them all in here, all of them. Oh no, they all claim waterproof, which means we've got to clear the table. Oh, my book, so. Look out, iPad. Cue the big bucket of water on the table with a running computer and electronics. It, look, it's real water. You don't believe me? So we're going to get them cranking Scarlet Fire one at a time. We're going to dunk them. Of course, the sexy speaker goes first. Yes, I will risk a character on this show because, mate, she said she was waterproof. If she isn't waterproof, it means she's a liar and then she gets what she deserves. Here she goes. Oh, ho, ho. Look at the bubbles! Oh, she's taking a big drink. Whoa, it's splashing everywhere! <laughs> oh dear, she's, she's a bit no. Alright, maybe you want more drink. You know what? I'm gonna call that a pass for now. Let's see what happens if we let her drip out a little bit. Oh dear. That was a lot of bubbles. Alright, let's try for the big one. Here we go. Oh wow, that sub drop. The bass is cranking through the water. Hopefully I'll close the door properly. <laughs> ah, don't you, don't spit at me. Oh, running and can access the internet. Oh, shut up. I'm, every time I try and sync this to a new thing, it has to be like, oh, this is the most annoying one to sync, to be honest. And no orcs in, boo. All right, here you go. Take a drink. Wow, interesting waiting. No Whoa! <laughs> it spat at me! Yep, that passes. Oh! <laughs> Open USB! What's gonna happen? <laughs> oh, it sinks! Look! <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I find that really, really funny. It just sits at the bottom. Wow, so if I just drop it in... Whoa, I shouldn't make it splash. <laughs> what a nugget! God, it was like a pug, wasn't it? Just sank right to the bottom. The little ones like the sink. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Uh, 
It's it's working. Get the electronic death water off the electronic table. Look, the towel is kind of green, so like this is good enough. <laughs> These are all soaking wet now. All right, so they've been sitting a little bit. Will they turn on? Nice. It is flat, but that's okay. It turned on. Oh, serenade us. Power on. Yeah. Bluetooth mode. She sounds good as ever. Yep. And the nugget I couldn't really care about. Oh no, it's still on. That's nice. <laughs> so out of this, I honestly have two winners. And it's not this one. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, it's just okay. It's okay. Look, I've got it. It does the job that I want it to do. The voice is heaps funny, although I think that's only Aussie markets. If for some reason you're looking to get one of these purely for the voice, I mean, yeah, I think it has to come from Australia. This guy ain't bad. I mean, you know, the form factor of being able to stand up, that could be useful to some. It begging for apps is annoying, and syncing it seems to be annoying as well. <laughs> but I like how it looks, but, you know, yeah, it's a, it's all right. Uh, the, I, I don't know. You, you'd have to want to use it for podcasts or something like that, because it just doesn't, yeah. It's like a really, really good phone speaker. And all of us want to be doing better than that at any point. So I don't know, 30 something bucks, and we're left with these two, which is basically the biggest, most expensive one, which honestly just sounded the best. They got even bigger ones than this. That's pretty cool actually, because we're getting back into boombox territory, where now you don't need a cassette deck or a CD player. It can just be speakers and a Bluetooth signal in. And also it does aux in, and it's got, you know, USB-C. Oh no, that's full of water. <laughs> Um, oh, let's just close that. It's still going, it's fine. And honestly, while testing, at one point, we didn't know which speaker was playing because, you know, it's just what phones like to do. They just hit onto one of them and send it. And we we're blown away when we found out it was this because it actually does have bass. Top end could be okay, but then it is cheap and it is tiny. Like, you could just put this in a bag and off you go. No walks in, which is annoying. But hey, waterproof and tiny and you can strap it to things. Yeah, not bad. Hey, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Shoot, thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here. Mate, one dollar a month, I do extra vids. Oh look, it just immediately jumps to me editing because I, I filmed something for the after show and it went so poorly that there's just literally no content. Like, no, not even funny. There's just no content. But I'm heading to the new warehouse soon and I realize what a perfect opportunity to show you guys that place and it's going to be so full of junk in the super near future that's going to be like really fun to document that there's actually nothing in there at the moment and you know i'll sneak a few of my plans in there but anyway thanks so much for watching mate i'll see you all next time you know over to you frank doing anything tonight blue eyes i mean i know that's just because you're shedding but like frank, you broken frank Frank, 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 hello, Frank, Frank, okay. Hey, it's the after show. Look, we're in a filthy abandoned warehouse. So this is super excited because there is nothing in here. No nothing. And except, for, except for this. Three phase power. Oh, I could do welding in here. So the slamming thing about this place is it's not just one of these. <laughs> um, it's, it's two of these. <laughs> what? Free wood! Uh, uh, up here, up here in the back, mate. This is, this is one of my, this is one of my favorite things. Look at these. Just give these a lick, mate. You'll, you'll be jumping around in no time. Oh, look. Hooks. <laughs> oh, mate, you won't believe what I found over here. Bricks and, and water. There's a party right here. I, I have so many dunnies, guys. So many dunnies. Look at this. Party tape. Oh. But it's not just a big empty slab of nothing. It's got rooms. This room's great. Look, more party materials, uh, a light, and this rat's nest. I'm I'm so glad that this is mine. This is this is uh so good, and I really really hope that this is where the internet comes from. Like oh boy, I'm oh no. I've got a panic door. That's fun. It's powered by this, I'm guessing. Look, more room. Nothing. So these are the rooms on this half. Coming back over to this half. But what, what are these? What are these? What are these for? This height has an extension being built, which is going to be awesome when it's done, because I've got really cool plans for it. More dunnies. I mean, I, I think there's like four or five dunnies. What's in the cupboards? Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, that's not funny. Look, even more rooms. 
Yeah, I guess it, this one's just one big room. I wish I knew what this was. Wait, what is this, a, a sculpture or something? Oh, that's, that's where a party was had. Oh, uh, creepy. Very, very creepy hole. Uh -oh. uh, okay, we'll fix that later. This will be done at some point. Hey, there's just more ways to lick in your own time. I mean, these ones are a little bit harder to lick, not, not like the other ones down that way. Oh, mustn't lick. Yeah, industrial lighting. Ah, oh, that is so neat. So, I mean, if you're wondering what I got planned for all this space, well, I've got really big plans. I can finally store all of my treasured materials. I mean, you know, we, we've got a commemorative plate and, and some drums, and I, I can't live without my WD or, or uh, Aussie Export Decreaser. Oh, and oil heavy stabilizer, mate, that keeps all my cars alive. It's just so good, you know, because this is such a such a stable. I mean, can I, go, can I get my hand here? Yeah, I mean, that's just such a stable footing. That, you know, I'm, I'm so glad I can finally keep all of these, uh, you know, treasure things nice and safe, mate, which is really good. Oh, I died, fucking died! Oh, my commemorative plates are gone, mate. Oh, no. My recorder link bottle's gone, mate. Oh, the drums seem okay, I mean. Oh, good. There's still a commemorative plate left. If I, mate, that's, that's value right there. Wow. Mate, they just don't build them like this anymore, don't they? I mean, joking aside, I mean, I got all these classic cars and things that I've been collecting for ages. I mean, they're all rock boxes and I'll fix them at some point as people want me to do car stuff. And now, now I can do car stuff. People want to see me do more drum stuff. Now I've got a space where I can do more drum stuff. And also, you know, working from home has been really fun, but this channel's gotten so big, there's no more room left. I have two full storage lockers and my house is full of junk. Well, I mean, I lost everything valuable today. I, I mean, I really mean it. Thanks to you guys, I can actually rent a place like this all thanks to you i can't wait till this is full of stuff like big shelving crappy cars oh it's gotta be good thank you so much for supporting me it's all thanks to you i'll see you all next time oh, i need to sweep up my life So, Australia Day 2021 has come and gone, and I hope you had your mandatory servings of your body weight in Snags and Onion and Tim Tams. It's a rough day, let me tell you. And it's an excuse to indulge in one of my favourite Aussie activities. Mate, we're doing it, mate. We're going to Cashies. Up we go, mate. Here, it's happening. We're doing it. We're doing it, mate. It's happening. Oh, we're doing it. Ah, cashies. It's like a garage sale with dedicated business hours. Couldn't make it in time today. Just come back tomorrow, silly. Look like a bowler for used cigarette money. Or maybe pay too much for an out-of-date phone. Look! They were selling a brand new unused cooker. A just absolute bargain for your kitchen renos, mate. Seems old mate finally gave up on Fallout 76. Cause yep, Bethesda can go taste the big one. You absolute legend. Time to stock up on controllers for your little brothers and cousins. They're stickier than a stray chewy. Hey, 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 hey. Actual, they really had some amazing vintage video games. Like legit rarities in this place. Amazing. Burn out wheels. There it is, boys. Yeah. Yeah, spin them up, Kevo! Just because you call it fine audio doesn't make it fine audio. Can crows? Bikes. Can crows? Boat. Can crows? If in the chat for everyone who's lost their car subwoofers this week, I can't get away from this game! I'm not watching one second of a current affair unless it's on a Toy Story 3 television. And sh sh look, someone was actually looking at the golf clubs. He bought a sandwich. I actually remember watching this. Like real Aussie Olympic history. Or oh, actual amazing. I was blown away. Only seven coins and still no one wants it. The world. The world. Give a buck if you give a fuck. Lots of pocket monster cardboarded rectangles. I can't think of anything I want less than used in-ear headphones. Oh man, remember when Australia made cars? 
like unique ones just for us that were amazing and then it was all GM and now they're all gone sad but that's all the stuff I didn't get let me show you what I did get and you know before we continue I, I'm not making fun of Cashies I absolutely love that place like it looks like I'm making fun if I just show all the weirdest stuff in one big go my it's modern treasure hunting bless that store and for five bucks Look at these. Look, they're like the Windows 98, 95 pipe maze screensaver. And the first pair of headphones ever. And right, I've got like 80 pairs of headphones at this point, right? That's what happens when you review headphones. First pair of headphones that are padded on the back. Why? <laughs> what's, what's this for? Look, they're mockies. They've got this um, reasonably nice flat cable. It's like a pasta. Uh, our only problem is uh, that jack be bent, yo. That didn't stop me sticking it into things and testing it out. Because you know in my proper headphone videos, I like to bust out, mate, the freakish ears on a stand. And then I'd bust out the Herder 600s, but oh, mate, Senny, oh, th there we go. Proper audiophile headphones. And, you know, then you hear the A and B between these and the competing headphones. Of course I have to hear these! <laughs> I mean, it's safe that we can blame this for the for the reason that like literally no noise comes out of one of the headphones. <laughs> it's like you get half the band. That's worth five bucks, you know, mate. If these were ten bucks new, five dollars for only half of it working, that makes sense. But I know what you think. You're like, mate, these are cabled. That's so old school. Like no one wants that except for me. I want wireless headphones. Well, for five bucks again, you got the. the I don't know. I didn't even bother taking the sticker off. So they've actually got markers on them so you can adjust them properly. My dad's audio file business right there. Um, but what they don't tell you is which one's left and right. <laughs> Like, is that's that's just a little bit more important. There's no branding on this. When I sync these up to my phone, it's just a bunch of numbers. There is no swivel in the ear cups. Our ears face slightly forwards, right? They don't stick out this way. These don't actually fit human beings. But go on, mate, let's take a listen. They sound like $5 Cashies headphones. But they got a microphone, so you betcha I got to yell into them. Like this one Australia Day, mate, it was like super hot. We're like, mate, cook the snags on the road, mate. I bet they'd cook. So like we just threw all the food like basically into a public street. And then like it didn't really do much. So we had them anyway, and we all got benzene poisoning. They sound like $5 Cashies headphones. <laughs> what are they hiding? Let me in. What are, oh, uh, Ooh. All right, I wish I didn't see that. Can that go back on? All right, that's good enough. Now, look, I hear you, right? You don't want over ears. You comb your hair like I do. You don't want that headband sitting on that, making it like a weirdo. You want in ear buds, mate. Well, for $19, I got the, the Sonic Bees. It's like Sonic, but with wings and a stinger. Built in microphone. <laughs> Can't wait to yell into that. Enhanced audio. Hmm, <laughs> I bet. 12 hours of case. Yes, it's got a charge in case. I mean, I, I've already been in this, obviously. But these were sealed brand new, by the way. Uh, we'll get to these in a second. I actually haven't looked through the box yet. You get a USB-C to USB-A cable, basically what every company gives you now. It's really short, but it's actually reasonable. I don't hate it. Look, bud bits and, oh, tiny little book. Be me. Oh, this is actually like a good looking little book that really lines up with the rest of it actually and i say that because well you know <laughs> they do have the magnets let's oh we've got to do the test oh the <laughs> magnets the raycons are a little bit cheap feeling but they don't feel like they're going to fall apart it, these feel like they're going to fall apart usb-c though i mean it's so light and weak magnets. But as I was saying, the little booklet was actually pretty good because um they're okay. 
That, I would totally deal with these. Like, in an absolute pinch, someone, like, bought me a pair of these at a petrol station or something. There you go, because you've got your AirPod Pros, mate. Here's some of these. And if this is all I had, I wouldn't be that upset. Um, the top pen's actually pretty dang good. Um, the bass is a little bit understated, but when I tested with my big subby bass songs, the sub bass is there. They're really clean sounding. I didn't... <laughs> they're fine. They're, I mean, they're easy to take out. Uh, they're a reasonable size. I didn't hate them in my ears. Um, uh, take a listen to the microphone. So what, this one Australia Day, mate. I thought I'd overdo it. I dressed up as a snag with sauce, mate. It was a pretty good costume. Only problem was, mate, everyone decided to sniff Sharpies that day, so everyone was tripping out and they all tried to eat me. The mic's okay. Brand new Cashy's headphones, mate. Um... Not bad, actual. You can you can live in the horde. Um, oh, there's no more room next to the duck. But oh, look out, cardboard shuffle. Oh, oh, I can do this. Oh, get out. Get, get, there we go. Now, if you think I haven't been looking for iPods, you owe me an apology. Oh, sorry, iPad. Because I actually found. A mini. I check in the caches, yeah. Even iPods are getting hard to find nowadays. Like, forget finding the other MP3 players, like, you know, Sony Walkmans or whatever's. Man, even iPods are hard to find. And to see a mini sitting there for a little bit too much money, but some jerk off has made these collectible or something. We need to see if it actually plugs in and works. It even came with a cable. All right, everyone, we're arming a nugget. Here we go. Good start, they all do that. Okay, not helpful. Maybe it needs firewire. It's okay, I've got the firewire here. All right. Hmm, um, uh. Uh-oh, firewire was meant to fix it, not pro- oh, okay. Come on. Come on, everyone do this with me. Come on, I need your help. Come on. Oh no, oh, oh, we're in! It was cause you all helped out, I know you did, even though I filmed this before you've seen it, it doesn't matter. Let's get that backlight on. <laughs> Settings, about, I, oh no, it's been wiped, ah! That's actually rarer than you think, like, normally they haven't been wiped, you can see all the dumb stuff that's on there. There is literally nothing on here. Well, I'm just gonna have to have a, a sad game of brick. <sighs> <sighs> so sad. All right, does it keep running when I unplug it? It does. Mm, maybe I'll leave that plugged in for a bit. It's a working first gen mini. You know it's a first gen because the lettering doesn't match the color and it says 2004 on it. But yeah, very, very interesting. Let's put that aside. It doesn't say it's charging though, which is actually very concerning. Come on, mate, come on, mate. Oh dear, this is, <laughs> let's just put it over there. Are you boot looping over there? You are boot looping at it. Whoa! Okay, it's freaking out, even on the firewire. It seems it's miraculous that we even saw anything out of this. I'm just gonna unplug it. But I also saw another iPod hiding in the corner. No classics, sadly. I mean, they're getting harder to find. Again, some jerks made them collectible. A weird tier nano. Look at this sad boy in this box. Like, this came in this unusual box, and I don't know why. Uh, an actual nicer. 30 pin cable, that's really, really handy. So, more of them. But um, unfortunately, boys, the black spot. And actually, now that I look closer, I can actually see that something's gone wrong on the inside of the screen, even more so than when I bought it yesterday. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this better not start a fire. Uh, for the uninitiated, what that black spot is, is the display pushing up against the inside of the glass from the battery that's expanding on the inside. So when I plug this in, this could really go like, your choo choo bango. Um, I've had one of these push the glass right out of the chassis, basically. It was very scary. Eyes up, we're arm on the nugget. Here we go, mate. Put, put that in there. We've got an Apple logo. Keep an eye on that black spot, see if it gets bigger. <laughs> the screen's got a burn mark on it, though. Can you see that? Look at that whitish spot. What's that about? All right, everyone, join in. I'm going to need you. I'm going to need you, dude. I'm going to need your help. Alright, yay! We've got Thomas's iPod here. Oh, let's go in. Come on, Tomo. Thomas, mate, what have you? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, Tom. Tom. Tom!
Dang it, Tom, we're risking a fire for nothing here. Go on, sink it. You know what I'm putting on this. You know what this is. These iPods are actually quite nice. They just look weird. I just can't look at them. Really high frame rate screens, which is good when you want to play Shrek. Wow, this screen is all faded out and blown out and <laughs> the poor thing. Uh, it does work though. Go it. It's even Shrek green as well. Fits in, fits in good. And it keeps running afterwards. Wow. Now there's something else I picked up that isn't even good value, right? I know that it's because I think they're a future collectible, right? And a bit of a freak in the iPhone category a 5C in nuclear snot green. And it's in amazing condition. I pay too much, but it's in amazing condition. I'm telling you. Mm, it's like it's brand stinking you. Ah, oh, that always happens. Trick, you can use the sticky on the sticker to get rid of the sticker stick. Look how well it fits in and the black looks cool. There's no scratches on the screen. It's running iOS 10? Let me put it this way. I barely charged it yesterday because I already had a full battery. It's been sitting overnight and it still has a full battery. This, there's nothing wrong with this. A headphone jack! Oh look, the same connector that Apple is still putting in their iPhones today. Hey guys, why don't you put USB-C on the iPhone 12 Pro Max already so I can bounce this footage straight out of this onto a portable SSD. The same thing you could do on the iPad Pro, meaning you've already got iOS support for USB-C, but then you won't put it on the iPhone 12 Pro Max because you're idiots! Ah! Oh no, my... that should... <laughs> I bought this because it's a beautiful collectible and now I'm throwing it around. Oh dear. That's why we can't have anything nice around here. But legit, I, I've been low key looking for one of these. Perfect color, beautiful condition until I threw it. Yeah, this is literally just for me in my collection and hoard. Not, not even for this video. I just wanted this. But the craziest thing was the dude who I ran into at the shop knows this channel. <laughs> and so he ducked off and he said, just take these. They're yours. He handed me this iCloud locked, uh, was this a fifth or sixth gen or something? Because it's got that lanyard business on there, which I wish they never took away. It's still pretty amazing that Apple are still making these. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do about iCloud locked ones. I'm sure I'm going to get three billion messages now about how to do it. But hey, free is free. And also, this 5S which someone's already been into, because you can see this is all pulling out even though the screws are in it, worrying. Um, yeah, you know, <laughs> 149 bucks and I don't want. <gasps> look, look at this gross hair. Look at this, that's free, that's mine. I can have that. I'm gonna lick that later. You can go over there, mm, that's mine. No one touched that. Such a good looking phone, hey? Um, and there was something else that I bought, but it turns out it didn't come with everything, and so it didn't work. From our old mates, Dick Smith, like wireless headphones, and <laughs> would you look at, yeah, yuck. Oh, what's this headband business? <laughs> And so they're like they've got a docking station and then like you got to put the input source into this I don't have the I know it's 12 volt, but all my stuff's packed up in boxes at the warehouse and I'm still back at home here um, Yeah, well, I didn't want to put them on my head anyway, so yeah, there we go. Let's get the whole stash in there Well, there we go. So we got some $5 headphones that one ear cup worked uh, And then we've got these $5 headphones that do work, but don't fit human beings we've got this guy that works for how long we're not sure. This guy works, but he's freaking out. I mean, hey, he just needs a restore or something. I'm gonna leave that big cashy sticker on it so I know where it's been, and who knows, maybe I'll do something with it at some point. Uh, amazingly, given these two, I mean, even just as props and skits of some sorts, these would be good fun to use. Um, the totally reasonable Sonic Be Honest. Yes, that's what they're called. Um, that totally reasonable. I don't know what these cost new, and I don't care because they really are made out of junk. But not bad, really. And um, the Jewel, really, which is this 5C. You know, a friend of mine had one of these until he dropped it in the sea. And it's still in the sea to this day, somewhere out there. <laughs> I mean, they're made out of plastic, but they're super nice. Uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, huge thanks to my patrons, especially these names right here, mate. Because $1 a month, I do extra videos. And at the beginning there, they had a lot of pocket monster rectangles, eh? Well, I might have. Bought two packs of them. And funny enough, these were the only packs that are blind bag style, where someone's flipped over the, the opposing cards so you don't know what's in there. And that was a bit of fate to me. Out of all of them sitting there, these were the only two. So um, I haven't had anything to do with Pokemon since... <laughs> 
blue and red and a little bit of gold and silver. That's how long, honestly. That's the last time I... And you, even the gold and silver Pokemon are like, what's that? So this might be full of abstract shapes for me to yell at or familiar things. It's going to be abstract shapes. So thanks so much, Enola. I'll see you all next time. What? What do you want? What is it? But Frank... Oh no, oh no, she's doing it again. Frank, 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 wake up, Frank. Really guys, there's something wrong with my dog. Oh, Frank, you're so broken. Is there a brain in there? Frank, hello, Frank. Oh no, my dog's broken. Hey, it's the After Show. Thanks so much for supporting me. I mean, I really mean it. I'm doing all sorts of cool stuff right now. All thanks to you. So sorry if you dropped me a line and you just don't get a reply for yonks and yonks and yonks because it's a little bit overwhelming at times. I try and keep up. I've gotten so good at typing now. It's it can literally be several hundred a day. Um, so... Yeah, I, I'm trying my best. It's a crew of one around here, but shut up and where are those rectangles? Yeah, yeah, I haven't had anything to do with Pokemon since, oh geez, I, I played Pokemon Blue when I was a kid, loved it. Uh, then we got Silver and Gold with Pokemon Stadium for the 64. That was cool, but even a lot of those Pokemon in that game, I was like, huh, what is that thing? And then literally every Pokemon game since I know nothing about. So if this has got a lot of new Pokemon in it, it's just going to be abstract shapes that I'm just going to yell at. And if anything, that sounds like fun. Let's get into it. Oh, wow, man, they're all over the place. Oh, I've got plenty of water in the tap. More water. It's a quick ball. Ooh, ghastly. I actually... Oh, basic. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, that's a bird. It can flap at you. That That's good. It's like the ones around here. Look, it's like a Frank! Slippy! It's... Combustion? Yeah, f Frank makes them stinky farts too. I, I don't know what that is. I've got plenty of grass outside. That's a happy whale. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, uh, that's... that's landfill. But rolling tackle. Landfill tackle. A Growlithe! I recognize that. That's Nana's knitting for the kettle, to be honest. And apparently it can psychic... <laughs> Imagine Nana's kettle, like, absolutely owning you mentally. That looks like a monkey and a cucumber together. That's just a flower. That's another one! That's a person! Like, what, what, do I hire them or something? Yeah, Eddie. These are all over the place. <laughs> Cufant. I, I nearly said something else. That's a, a bug reminiscing of its high school days. God, yeah, mate. Those were the days, wasn't it? Those were the days. No one run! No, you bite people and run! That actually looks really cool. I like that. Another trainer. I, I don't care. Grimer! I, I know that one! Th that's a duck! Go hang with the duck! I recognize that. Even that's one of the Pokemon. I'm like, alright, it's getting a little bit odd. Oh, a shiny Diglett! I like that. And I've seen the memes of what's actually going on under underneath here. Manic trick. What? Ma manic, manic trick. Ma ma main, main I can't pronounce it. I've already got water. I've already got grass. I don't know what that is. I elect Electrus. Okay, moon? That's a monkey. Goldine, I know that. It's a fish. Uh, another dangerous Nana's kettle. Oh, it goes over here. An another another flower. She chitlop. It's like a bootleg squirtle. Uh, just, it does the same thing as a squirtle. Interesting. That's a reasonable name, but that's not a reasonable looking face. Right on. Yeah, that's it. Uh, full heal. Just imagine if you can just spray yourself and like just fix yourself. That'd be nice. That That's a seagull. A salazzle. That almost sounds like sausage sizzle and that makes me happy. And it, look at this jive lizard here. Look at that. It's sassy looking. That's a metal saucer. <laughs> Interesting. That's a bicycle. And it actually looks pretty slamming, although the chassis is weird. Doesn't look like it's actually very stable. But it's got pegs, man, for grinding. That's Frank. That can go over here. Electricity, I've already got some of that. Toastal. Right. Well, I mean, we're only halfway done. Keep all the good ones on top. Give me them rectangles, give me them rectangles. I want my rectangles and I want them now. Man, shuffling through these, I've still got that Pokemon smell. I love it. All right, pack number two. Here we go. That's um, that's a freakish abstract drawing of a rabbit. Mad party indeed. <laughs> I mean, that's probably your pet rabbit. You know, if you take some special old mates, whatevers, and you look at it again, you go, oh, mate, this is real. Those Sharpie texts really hit you hard, hey?
That muds muds Muds-dale. That sounds like a bad street or community. That's a fist. Sunfisk. Sun it's got a Pokeball for a mouth. How did it know it was going to be a product? Uh, doesn't matter. More, more fixing spray. Grunt. That sounds like another word that I sh I'm not allowed to say. Uh, switch. Okay, Z zigzagoon. I like it. It's like a it's like a raccoon, but with zigzags. And there it is. Headbutt tantrum. That's what real raccoons like to do. Right on. There's one I recognize, and here's one I don't. Like, what's the deal with these abstract looking drawings? Are these special? They're, they're probably not. I already have water. That's a skunk. That's a that's a skunk. By sharp. That looks like a person. Heracross. That looks familiar, but it literally looks like a beetle. And I'm just getting like Bugs Life vibes around which Hold on, Mr. Ant. <laughs> Spirit Tomb. That's just hallucinations, to be honest. Don't know what that is. I I've already got one of you. That's a child's drawing. Magma! I know that one. That and Mr. Mime were the weird Pokemon for me. Probably Porygon. Scyther! It's one of my favorites, man. It's that cool Pokemon up there with Charizard for me. More, 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 more. There's its eyes, but it's got a mouth on the back. I, okay. I don't, I don't get it. That's just my little pony. I, I mean, pony to, yeah, but that's just my little pony. It's like sending your pet frog to war. Look at it. Vulpix, match a winner. Phantom. Phan, Phantom. I don't get it. Far fetched! I remember you from Pokemon Blue. We had to find you to learn cut or something so we can get through a bush because you couldn't just step over it. That's a fat squirrel. That's all that is. That's a, that's the flower I've already seen. Hitmonlee! Yeah, I'm Mr. Speaking of the freaks! Man, th these are all the ones that I know. I don't know you. You look like you look like Pikachu crossed with like the, the three flavored ice cream at the supermarket. You did get this. Attack the wound? <laughs> It notices you have a sore pinky finger, so it just nibbles on that, you little jerk. Mouth, cool. That's right. I've seen you already. Dreepy, more like derpy. <laughs> <laughs> Looking face. Oh, now I've got two bikes with bad frames, but with pegs. That's a flower. I don't even know where that one begins or ends. It actually looks like the dragon from Neverending Story. I've already got moon power. That's fruit. That looks like a stealth bomber. That just looks like fan art, to be honest. <laughs> Gentle slap. Stop it. Let me win the battle. That that's fan art. That I'm getting Bubsy vibes out of this guy. And last one is this guy, which I think evolves into the other guy around here, which literally just looked like a person, but now I've, I've lost all track of which deck that was in. Oh, I mean, what are my faves? Literally the ones that I remember from being a kid, like Magma, Rhydon, Mr. Mime, Freak, Hitmonlee, Firefetched, Annoying, Vulpix, Scyther, the best, actually, you stay over here. Ghastly, awesome, that's just Frank, I don't recognize that, but it's it's Frank. Rhyon, Wicked, Golding, Diglett, at Grimer, that whale. Growlithe, yes. Uh, that, that's it. I don't recognize any others. <laughs> well, I doubt any of these are valuable because I got the Makashis for seven Oh, look, the duck! The du I don't know the duck either, but I like the duck. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. Uh, you know, I'm not going to throw these out or anything. These are definitely going to be put away. I doubt any of them are valuable anyways. But hey, thanks so much for supporting me. Pretty strange episode this week. Huh? <laughs> but I'll see you all next time. Ugly Nuggets. Or as I like to call them, Ugnugs. Go on, take a big whiff. Ooh, smells like the early 2000s where everything just has to be a, a shape and just be metallic silver and a shade of purpley blue. Yup, this is a Samsung. We got an Arcos and a Rio. They are hideous and like no one bought these because they're just actually really hard to find. But there are nuggets of design truths to these nuggets as to why they look like this. I mean, take, you know, this guy, for instance, the intergalactic testicle. Put it in my hand like this. There you go. Thumb rests right there. Headphone jack out of there. That ain't bad. Unless you're lefty, in which case you literally block everything <laughs> and it is useless. Yes, Rio hates you lefties. Like, yeah, what the heck? But it's where the memory card goes. So when you put one in there, then it'll be flush. Never mind, it still looks like Rocco's Modern Lives TV. And honestly, this is just taking it too far in terms of being symmetrical. Well, well, that's a circle, so like that's a circle, and we've got two bolts holding this in, so put two buttons up here, mate. <laughs> but the one that I want to show you today is just barbaric in terms of how it looks 
and why it looks like that. And in fact, I don't even know why it looks like this. Out of the way, you Ugnugs. Back in your genuine case, that doesn't make you any prettier. And, and, and in fact, it doesn't even fit. <laughs> Oh, of uh, course, and we wonder why people didn't buy these. So while I was going nugget hunting on the internet, this thing turned up even better. It was shipped to me in a VHS case. All right, are you ready to see it? I mean, you, you've already seen the thumbnail. All right, release the nugget. Oh, the Rave MP. Never mind that one side of it is flat and one side of it is round, but right at the gates, why is the screen in the controls slightly this way? It's not even in the middle! Worse! The controls aren't even centered with the screen! It's all just kind of... <gasps> What's this black bit here? And it's rotten over time. So I'm staring at this thing online going, alright, maybe it's got this flat edge on it. So, I don't know, study desk, you sit it like this, and you can see it while sitting down. I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. I mean, the controls are up here. Not that you'd want to use them like this. But no, 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 that is not what that flat side is for. And, and I know that 100%, because that's where they stuck the headphone jack. Oh, <laughs> oh, look, it takes a- ah! Come with me, my Pixel. We need you. Unbelievable. So after I get this thing, I'm looking at it, I'm like, no way. No way is this an actual thing that was sold in stores. It has to be some sort of offshore, random whatever, because it's just too hideous to be able to get onto a store shelf. Uh, <clears throat> that was until I found... I found a brand- <laughs> I found a brand new one. Can you believe no one bought this? <laughs> look at the size of the packaging. Look how much plastic has been used. I already thought it was pretty offensive. The fact that to make this hideous thing, a whole factory had to be built and staffed and planned and land used and fuel used to transport these around. And I was semi hoping that, okay, maybe they didn't make many of these and there was, you know, the losses on the planet were restrained. Uh, no, look at this. Plastic is made out of oil, which is dinosaur juice. There's half a T-Rex here and just clear plastic to display what is just this hideous beast. Look at this woman. That is the face of someone running away from something. That's the face of don't look back. And I'd make that face if I was running from this. The goats, the Rave MP, nice name boys, AMP 256. 256 megabytes built in memory, amazing. USB 2.0, <laughs> so whenever you see PC cases still coming out with USB 2.0 ports, yeah, this is how old it is. Records voices, beauty, that means I get to yell into it. It's got sport earbuds, I bet. Bell clip, amazing. God, it doesn't even fit under my... Uh. It's got retractable buds. Great, everyone loves having this big lumpy thing in their pocket. A retractable USB cable, which is less bad, but <laughs> I swear these guys are on a mission to upset OCD people, because look, this one's upside down to this one. <laughs> but you can see that's exactly how it was planned to be put in here. You monsters! It's just a big empty case, like literally, Everything could fit inside of this thing. What a waste. Oh, it's so good to see that illustration. And yes, with the off-center controls and screen. Well, let's open us a brand new nugget. A brand new nug. We wonder why no one bought this. Oh, you jerks. I thought these were like little push button tabs to easy release it. No, they're melted down to just seal it even more. It's already packaging that we hate, and then they've gone to that extra level. It's like they're telling us, don't Oh, you jerk! Oh. It's like they knew they made a big pile of crap, and they didn't want anyone to get into it. Look at this! Oh. Holy dingus! I just broke my teacher's scissors. Yep, I just broke them. They just broke trying to get this out. Oh man, I love these scissors. My famous Toledo's. Ah, oh, come on, you can do it. Oh, even with scissors, this is hard work. Oh, serves you right. All right, let's see what you get for that humongous box. Uh, you got some crap in here. Mmm, junk. Oh. oh, looks so good, doesn't it? And another one. It's where to download music. Because 2004, more Alien Crime Syndicate, they're really selling that, aren't they? Oh, I have a lot of questions, mate, like, why? Why did you do it? And the quick start guide, which is really, really thick, actually. Oh, you jerks! Oh, God, I hate these roadmaps. There you go, get every angle of it and wonder why. There's nothing wrong with the manual, except for the fact that it folds out like a map and it is totally annoying. Pray we never need these CDs. Ooh, the sports buds for sports. Um, yeah, cheap cable. 
and just cheap everything else. So what are these bits for? Are they just for style? Uh, we got one bit of the armband, which is like stitched together, very crudely cut. I mean, this is brand new, by the way. The fugly clip bit. Mm. A really long mini USB cable, as well as a retractable one. So, you know, while you're throwing money away, why not have two of them? And another pair of headphones that no one wants. I mean, they look hideous and just <laughs> like, great. Now you've got this big egg middle thing, whatever, like just. And of course the nugget itself. So, you know, if we pile this in here, there you go. It looks like a lot of stuff, but it's like all doubles, like two cables, right, or whatever. Two pairs of headphones that you don't even want whatever, and then like a fugly arm case thing. Oh, let's peel this off. A brand new nug. Mmm. Well, that's a lot nicer than the other one, but this rubber has, oh no. Oh, it's so sticky and gross. Oh, actual, oh, I have to put the puck cell in it. Oh, quick, put it in the case. Oh, oh, it is, it's turning into oil in my hands. And have I put this in wrong? Have I put this in backwards? I can't. I can't tell. <laughs> um, oh, 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 fantastic. So uh, the case doesn't even fit. The case doesn't even fit. This is, <laughs> there, there you go. If I squeeze it, it barely fits. Mmm, quality. All the fingerprints on it are from the melting crappy rubber coating. Must clean for the video. All right, turn it on. All right, let's see what it does uh, about. 2004, Rave MP, firmware version one, no revisions. It's already used up 66 megs. Must have junk already on it. How do I go back? Settings, power? Oh, this thing is gross. Oh, this menu system is just convoluted. <laughs> Voice. It's a recorder. All right, I've got to yell into it. So like this one time, mate, I bought this really fugly MP3 player and I took it to school and right, like it was so ugly, mate, that people thought I was insane for spending money on it and took me to the council to have a word with them to make sure my brain was okay. The name of the MP3 player was called the Rave MP. This is a really dry feeling USB cable, but it's long. It's impressively long. Oh, beautiful. And you have to take it out of its case to use the... It's like they designed the, oh, look at it. Look how greasy it's turned. It's just hit the atmosphere. It's out of its box. Yuck. Oh. oh man, I can't touch any of the rubberized bits anymore. Look at it. It's deteriorating in my hands. Go you. So luckily it just appears as a USB drive, which is very, very handy. All right. Oh, yuck. All right. So let's go full album of Alien Crime Syndicate on here, and I know that'll be content match, so we can't use it. But I'll put Scarlet Fire on this, so we got to take a listen. Power on. Uh. Bluetooth mode. Ooh. This headphone jack. Auxiliary mode. All right. Play music. Um, tracks. Where is it? We went. Oh, that's good. It's not even in alphabetical order. So it should be at the bottom. It should. There it is. Scarlet. Scarlet Foo. There's, there's all this room on this off center screen, and they couldn't even put it in. <laughs> Wow, it works. It's like an MP3 player or something. Power off. Until next time. Now, there's only one last thing to do, which is, mate, we're going to try the, the dirty buds it came with. I like Scarlet, oh, I mean, excuse me, Scarlet Fur is a really bassy track. And so, let's try the non-sporty ones first. This is with its original headphones. This is how it's meant to look. Yep. Dry as a desert, no bass, just mids, no, just flat. They literally sound like bootleg headphones. Oh, but what about the sporty ones? Betcha they sound exactly the same. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I can't believe it. That's actually pretty amazing. I didn't think it was possible. Uh, they're worse. Yeah, they're worse than this. Now, normally I like to stress these out with the mojo, but to be honest, I want to put it all back in its box because this is actually 
like a genuine product that was released. It's not a bootleg. It's an original idea. I mean, that's, that's as original as it gets. No one else has tried this, that's for sure. Uh, so I actually want to put all of this back where it was and put it back in the Nugget Horde. Or, or should I say the Nugget Realm. Guys, I have videos for years, I'm telling you. And may we lament the loss of the famous Toledo teacher scissors. Destroyed doing what it loved. Opening hard to open nugget containers, but that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it Big thanks for patrons, especially these stinky names right here because one dollar a month I do extra videos and may I've been doing a big cleanup around here moving into this warehouse and I stumbled upon my dad's old mobile phone <laughs> Jazz. That ain't jazz. Look at it. It's just the most beige brick I've ever seen. 9098. What a year, mate. We're going to have a look at this and see if it even turns on, I suppose. So, thanks so much for watching, and mate. I'll see you all next time. Frank starting the shed. Look, she's rubbing her dumb head against smooth things. Frank, I've got rough things here to help you shed with. But, but no, you pick the glass. Fra Frank, you're rubbing your face on smooth glass. Ooh, it's working. I thought the glass was dumb. Now Frank is using a hammock upside down to try and start a shed. That, that's right, I'm watching this, Frank. You're an idiot. Frank, you look like you've been in a car accident. Hey, that rush hour traffic is rough, isn't it? You should be more patient. Look, Frank's a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Look at her fresh face. So pretty. You look like you're wearing a hat made out of you. Yeah, go Frank, go. Woo! Look, brand new Frank. No poo stains on that at all. Not for long at least. Yeah. 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 Uh oh. Hang on. Oh, we got to Oh no, here it is. Here we go. Last little bit. Last little bit, and then I get a whole new Frank. He, that's it, Frank. Don't give up now. That, yep. 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 Oh, gosh, Frank, you are long. When does it end? When does the Frank end? I do, Frank, Frank, you just keep going. There, there's still more Frank. Here we go. The last little bit. Yay! Frank, you did it. Don't ignore me. And there we are. A brand new Frank. Look how bright her colors are. It's so cool. Are you pretty, Frank? 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 Hello? Frank? Oh, no. Frank? Frank? Oh, I thought the shed would fit. Frank? Oh. Hey, it's the After Show. Thanks so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. I could buy things for reviews for myself and I have to sign stupid contracts at me. You know, the sting of buying it myself for a review. That's where it's at. Um, and thank you all to messaging out to say that, like, yes, I know there's people, you know, sharing unlisted playlists of all these videos. There's nothing I can do about it. You know, 25 cents a week's all I'm asking. And, you know, but hey, I pirated back in the day. I don't like that people are taking them. There's nothing I can do about it. So thanks for telling me, but yeah, it's cool. I know. Dad, your phone's ringing. <laughs> yeah, so while cleaning up around here, this beast emerged and us went, wow, I gotta smell this. This is amazing. The jazz, right? The hip, Shannon, name, and it's just this beige brick. 1998, back when Motorola was relevant with mobile phones. Are, are they, like, they made Android stuff? But, uh, who cares? I don't even know if this thing works anymore, and I, I wanna see, but even just looking at it again, because this was a contemporary phone back in the day, 1998. If you had one of these, you were rolling. It was like, ooh, look at that. Um, oh, oh, it's got the dad case. Oh, all the dads always had this. It's got, <laughs> wow, look at that. It's got an old mate's fix. Dad fixed this back in the day. See? Gotta keep my case going. So, man, he used it until it broke, basically. Oh, there's the phone. Hang on, I gotta hide it. I, 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 I'll look at it in a, I'll look at it in a second. We gotta look at the accessories first. But that's such a dad fix on the dad case. I love it. The the D300, it's called. Not the worst name, I guess. Oh, geez, it looks like a metro roadmap, like different bus stops and things. That font. 
Safety information for wireless handheld phones. It was the early days. Oh, there it is. The big brick. It's not like this thing does much. Making and receiving phone calls. Whoa! Oh gosh, this is boring. It's almost like it was for adults. Oh, the warranty card. Motorola New Zealand Limited. Does this come from New Zealand? <laughs> they don't appear on maps though. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Ah, it's everywhere! Ew! The original... <laughs> yeah, look at that proprietary connector. Back when everyone had a proprietary connector. Samsung went through about six different ones and everyone whinges when Apple changes one every 10 years. The original SIM card mobile net. <laughs> there we are. Look, New Zealand is just in it. Just in it. Oh, good! Excellent! All right, we actually got a chance of plugging this in and seeing if it makes beeping noises. And, and there's nothing else. I mean, literally the phone itself was just enough to bowl people over, really. All right, here it comes. <laughs> it's huge. It's like a house phone. That's all, it's a house phone. If I left this laying around, someone would be like, oh, that's an old house phone. It's like, mate, it's a really old mobile phone. Oh, look at that battery. Release here, ooh. Ooh, maybe I'll leave it in there. I can see some green forming and I don't want to touch it. Nickel hydride. Oh, it's not even lithium ion. This is so manky. <laughs> I don't want to touch that. That is gross. Not confidence is going to turn on. Uh, big gushy buttons literally have no feel at all. You can't even feel that you've pressed it. It's just mush. All right, everyone. We're arming the nugget. Eyes up. Here we go. Oh. Um, um, uh oh. Whoa! Oh! It works! Insert battery. It has one in it. Oh, that's the sound. Okay, it has a battery in it. Oh, volume. Hmm. Huh. Um, can, can we do anything? This screen is so unhappy. Can you even see it? Oh, what a nugget. Oh, that takes you back on. No, 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 no. Cancel, 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 cancel. <laughs> Please don't call that. I mean, it's not like it has a SIM card in it or anything. I mean, literally, there's. this is all it does, is it makes phone calls and accepts text messages. And that's it. Like, my first ever phone was a Philips Savvy, and I'm trying to find one, but with all, like, COVID and everything, I couldn't get one from Germany because it's the only place I can find those stupid things. Hang on. This does have a screen protector on it. <gasps> Hang on. Hang on. <gasps> oh, look at that. This whole time. Turn on. <laughs> wow, that's clean. I know there is a battery in it. Yeah, my Philip Savvy back in the day, I remember just sending a text message just blew me away. The fact that I could send a text to someone on the other side of the school over. I was like, whoa. Um, this is literally all it does. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd just be telling the time and saying that you don't have any text messages. Would you like to make a call? So, and if I unplug it, Insta death, yes. <laughs> Here's an iPhone 5, like just to get a vibe on like size and thickness and antenna. Oh, we can't leave until we put it in the dead case. Yep, that, that's how it was. That is, yep. And tradies would have this buckled on their front pocket and it'd just be like dingle dangling around all day. <laughs> oh wow, we've come so far, huh? But hey, just a, you know, fun cash. Time capsule. Shoot, thanks for supporting me. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you all next week. Thanks. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, come on, Frank. Give us a yawn. You're teasing me. Don't ignore me. Don't turn around and then yawn. That's what you're going to do, isn't it? Hey. I'm watching you. All right, see you, Frank. Rude. Rude. Iums. I mean, in your monitors. They're exactly as they sound. They go in your ears. So you got 
big open backs that make it, you know, feel like you're in a big room. Well, these are literally the absolute opposite. One of their usefulness is the fact that they are basically earplugs. So it's really nice being able to cut out noise and just have the music delivered straight into your greasy ear holes. I lived out of a Sennheiser set of in-ear monitors, like all through high school and stuff with my iPod, because you know, you basically just find a quiet room wherever you are. I worked as a professional drummer and that's all I did through school. And so basically having earplugs in my pocket at all times, just oh, so good. So I got a selection of them and I know like there's so many different types here. So people go, oh, you didn't check out these or these like, these are the ones I got. And yes, I baited you in the thumbnail. I do have a $2,000 pair of inner monitors here to show you, but we're gonna start at the cheapest mate. And it's these very ones at $18. That's Aussie dollars. Samsung tuned by AKG buds. I mean, I think these come with most Samsung Galaxy whatever's sort of like a cloth cable, but cheap. For some reason, my pair arrived all scratched up on one side. And speaking of scratched up, I'm sorry if my hands look filthy. That's all industrial glue. And look at that. I pinched my hands in a pair of pliers like <laughs> that. Don't you love it when that happens? I'm acoustic treating my warehouse room. And so like not hand friendly activities, I'm sorry. But sound by AKG, I love AKG. First professional set of studio headphones I ever used were K240s. First audiophile investment set of headphones I got were K K712s. And hey, these sound like crap. They really do. They're really muffly and woofy. The top end's all crushed together. They have no sound stage. Any set of headphones could do left and right. But then like better headphones could start doing in front and behind you. These just do left and right. But hey, it's got a microphone and I get to yell into it. So all this one time, I'm eating some biscuits and all my mate runs in and goes, don't eat those, mate. They're dog biscuits. And I'm like freaking out because I thought they were made out of dogs. So I'm, I'm, I'm crying at this point. I'm going, is this Labrador flavored? And he's like, nah, mate, they're for dogs. They're not for you. And then I'm like, oh, that's all right. And I kept eating them. Hey, that's a pretty good mic. I don't hate that at all. I mean, I hate the rest of it, like um, this cable. And this is such a noisy cable. And you know, what do I mean by noisy cable? Like static or something? No, no, I have a beard, right? And when wearing these, this cable rests on my face. Guess what also rests on my face? My beard. So what happens is this rubs against it and you literally get like a like you hear everything that these rub up against. Could be your jacket, it could be the straps on your backpack. It sucks. Like heaps of you guys might be living with a noisy cable thinking it's normal. It's not. It's cheap and garbage. As soon as a cable does that, for me it's disqualification. What's the point of having earplugs if all it does is amplify the sound of your jacket rubbing on your headphone cable? So 18 bucks? Nah, out of here. Yeah, you know. AKG's dead guys, all their engineers are gone. They're all Austrian audio now. So yeah, Samsung just uses the AKG brand to slap on stuff to make it seem like it's high rent. Like the Samsung beans. And would you know, they're not good either. Hmm, oh, poor AKG. So going up in price now, fellas, we're up to 35 Aussie dollary dues. And I've already shown these in another video, but mate, I got a shout out them about them again. It's the KZ ZSN Pro X's. Yes, I say Z, just deal with it. These fit great. Yeah, the Samsungs didn't, by the way. That's actually metal. Oh, I love the clear plastic. They're not hiding anything. Ooh, removable cable. You can only do that with those AKGs with a pair of scissors. They've got a little bit extra base and a little bit extra top end, but I think it's tastefully done. With like walking around headphones like these, those are the sounds that get soaked up by like bus engine noises, airplanes, whatever. So a little bit extra that, I mean, that makes sense. And hey, this cable, not noisy at all. Rubs up all over my greasy beard and there's no problems. Oh, and mate, look, it's got a mic. So it's one time we're driving off to the shops because like we're all out of dog biscuits. And then like we're three calls away there. We realize that like our dog died three years ago. And then it's kind of like dawned on me that I, like those dog biscuits were, were three years old. They're still pretty good. Not as good as the Samsungs. But then it's got the way better sounding earbuds, which are like user replaceable cables so you can get balanced outputs if you want. Actually have some sound staging where there's a little bit of forwards and back. And has a cable that doesn't amplify whatever it's rubbing up against. Now we're jumping up a bit, right? You know, my early Sennheiser days. I'm a fan of Sennheiser, right? So these are 120 Aussie bucks. But I mean, you do get this hard case. I really like it. So these are the Sennheiser Momentum in ears. Uh, they are not that comfortable. <laughs> they, they just aren't. It's like a bullet. It's like you're loading your ears. Not bad sound. Not bad. Not anything amazing. I still think like the, the cheap KZs are way better. It's got a mic. So like this one time we're looking for a new dog. 
but then like Uncle Kevo hasn't had a job in a while and he was kind of like, yo, how about I be your dog and you can hire me? And it's like, well, you know, he can sleep on the veranda, he gets to eat dog biscuits, they're not bad. And oh, it's better than the current situation he's at where he's literally like sleeping under a kindergarten. I, like, it's it's not even above ground, mate, but he's figured out a way to get under there. Good mic, better than the KZs. I think it's probably the best mic, to be honest. And then just bang, disqualification. Why is that? Well, mate, of course, it's got the noisiest cable out of all of them. Anything that touches this cable is amplified straight into your ear hole. So yeah, the sound is all right. The microphone's actually quite good. They're not particularly comfortable, and then all you hear is your beard. Wow, isn't that weird? The two biggest companies so far have made headphones that are literally unwearable. Like, this is unbearable. I don't, I'd never want to wear these. For the money of those Sennheisers, you could get four pairs of these. Like, ugh. All right, now we're getting into the real keen territory, all right? So these ones come in at 460 bucks. <laughs> Very kind of Theo to send me these. I'm trying to buy everything for reviews now. I really do just prefer doing that. It's a lot easier because usually, you know, companies want me to sign something and they pester me. Oh, when's your video coming out? And it really annoys me. Theo just sent them to me anyway. They're like, ah. So they're always super cool. The FD5s. And look at these. Against my shattered warehouse hands, these look like jewelry. Polished stainless steel like they are satisfyingly heavy these fit great my left ear is a different shape to my right it's normal I swear stop bullying me these fit beautiful and they just look epic of course fully removable cable as you'd expect but when you're getting into this price range it's usually the accessories that come with it that really make these a bit of value I suppose so inside the box well, I don't get worked up about presentation anymore you know Beats by Dre and the Raycons kind of killed that for me <laughs> like what does a nice unboxing mean if the product's no good but I mean oh snacks <laughs> well I mean the, the presentation is beautiful like this cut foam and like this wallet it's not what I'd call a portable case but I would still call it a very very nice one and under here I mean it's like a factory it's like a full-blown workshop in here for however you want to wear them I mean working as a drummer I love these earplug tips they are so good you do take a knock in the sound naturally it's so good being able to be on like a full-blown loud stage and you just get that monitor dial just in that's super good. And there's memory foam ones. There's so many kinds. But the, the cleverest trick here, the more hardcore audio equipment has balanced output, where the signal sent down both cables instead of just one, and it gets rid of noise through phasing. You know, And so you can get the little tiny 2.4 and also the big 4.4. You know, a lot of time you'd have to swap cables. But what Theo have done is you just change the tip. You've got a nostril brush, just stick that in your nose and twiddle it. Feels great, don't do it. Extra tubes, I guess, you know, because they can get clogged up over time. Yes, earplugs are gross. Uh, so they give you spares, excellent. But then the 4.4 and 2.5 balanced connectors, which will turn this into a balanced cable. Like, that's so cool. You don't need a new cable, just change the tip. Like, they've given you everything to plug these into whatever the heck you got, basically. Put the snacks back for later. Well, for that amount of cash though, they better sound good. And uh, uh, yeah, they do. The KZs are conventionally good. Like, they, they sound great, but this is a noticeable step up. I mean, with any monitors, it's hard to get soundstage that nice big wider feel. These are far wider than these. They're far more balanced. They've still got like a little bit of extra top end. People tend to like that kind of sound with any monitors, cause, you know, that kind of intense thing. But what I realized is, is the bass is way smoother with like really big stinky like dance hole music or whatever. The KZs do a really good job of giving a nice top and bottom end. And then these guys fill in all the details in between. <laughs> It's a noticeable bump up. No microphone to yell into that. So these next ones weren't really meant for this video, actually. I bought these purely for me. I haven't really done any traveling at all. I'm a country boy here in SA, you know, moved to the city for a jazz degree. But when I go traveling, I'd love to bring a nice set of headphones with me. Now, my favorites are the Audacy LCD 2s. The only problem is you need like a support truck along with these to use them. You know, big crazy cables. You need an amp and a DAC with these. The case for these is huge, like and they're strangely fragile. 
Like, yeah, I, I don't want to be dragging these around the world. So the cool thing about them is they're not like standard speakers. A standard speaker looks like this. It's called a dynamic driver. It's just a single piece of plastic that makes all the noise. There's a magnet on the back. You know, classic speaker that we're used to. The LCD-2s are a planar magnetic. It's literally like a membrane with traces on it. No magnet hanging off it. The magnets are around it. And then just goes, it's so crispy clean and the bass is heaps like, oh, I'd love a super portable version of that. Well, hold on to your butts. Order Z, you've done it. These have been out for a few years, but planar magnetic in ears. And yes, they are full blown open backs. These are not earplugs at all. When you put them in, you don't hear the world go, it's just, yeah, you're just sticking like an open tube in your ear. And you can see, look how big the outside of it is. It's just like these, it actually has planar magnetic technology in it. So they're called the iSign 10. It's a smiling man. It's a certificate of authenticity because these were over 500 Aussie bucks. I'm telling you, like, these were not cheap. And you got dingus bits and a 128 megabyte flash drive with the instruction manuals on it. That's a little bit like, it's a bit wasteful for plastic considering most people never even read instructions. If you look at the back, man, you see there's a lot going on in there. Look, it's even got a diagram of this. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, look, here they are. Right out the gate, they feel nasty. They are so cheap feeling. And this sprungy spaghetti cable that's got like a memory to it. See, like, it fights me. It wants to be a shape. These have really big overhang, right? So these clips are really important to hang on your ear so they actually stay on your head. But, oh. Ooh, this plastic housing is just yuck. Yes, you can swap the cables out. That's, I mean, you'd expect that at this price range. The cable is just like the cheap, nasty Sennheisers. I mean, they're not noisy, but they're not nice. But hey, it's all about the sound. Maybe these are all the concessions they had to make to put this technology in something so portable that I literally could stuff in my pocket and have just planar magnetics just whoop whenever I want. I hate how they sound. Yeah, sure, they got great bass extension. That doesn't mean they have heaps of bass. It means like, you know, cheap headphones can't play the crazy low sub bass. The stuff that you don't even hear, you feel it. These can do some of that, but the top end is rubbish. My audio engineer friend put these on and went, oh, the top end's not very good, huh? I don't find them comfortable. I don't like the cable and I just don't like the sound. And that means I especially hate the price. Odyssey, I'm a huge fan, but Oh, not with these. So we're up to the last lads and the ones I baited you in here with because they are 2,000 Aussie dollary dues if I wanted to buy them. Meze, the makers of the classic 99s and the cheaper Neos, which have the same guts but without the mahogany housings. I love them when I tried them. They're awesome. Uh, they were like, would you like to try some $2,000 in-ear monitors? I'm like, you're insane for sending them to me. But sure, the madmen did it. <laughs> Oh, they even gave me the big stinky 4.4 balance cable. Oh, big boy. So they look like headphones that if you bought a new Maserati, these would be waiting in the glove box for you. That's how they look to me. They are understated yet really classy looking. I love that logo of theirs. And these are vented on the back. So they're like semi open backs, funny enough. Look at the milling on that. Eh, Meze just make really nice cases. <laughs> It's, this is my favorite case out of all of them. And, you know, so I've got the regular three and a half mil cable. You know, that's that's the one they ship with it. Uh, and then you've got the the big dingus, and then the airplane double dingus. That's nice. Romanian, by the way. And I, I love saying that because all the Romanians who watch go yeah. <laughs> not as many as Fio, but enough bud bits. I mean, they don't have those earplug tips, but it's not really what these are about, I suppose. Um, I love these ones here, they're like open cannons, but they didn't fit as good. Those ones did. And that's it, really. That's, that's all it comes with. So the left one's a little bit hard to fit in my ear. It's not a fault of these. It's my stupid head. I'm very aware of that. But these are the most balanced out of all of them. It doesn't have that really intense high end that maybe a lot of IEM drivers kind of like. It's something that they do that could be really intense, and that's fun for some genres of music. But soundstage. <laughs> like... Again, these are semi-open, so they bleed a little bit, not heaps, so they're not really meant to be full-blown earplugs. But these are the widest out of all of them. Like, percussive sounds, like applause and stuff. Like, it's 
crispy and sharp. So yes, these are very expensive. Although funny enough, this is nowhere near the top end. I mean, you could spend five or 6,000 bucks on a set of IEMs. So this is like the beginning of the top shelf. And you know, it's all diminishing returns. The higher up you go, the harder it is to make improvements. Like, a lot of pop music sounds great out of nearly anything, even those crappy AKG Samsungs. Like Earth, Wind & Fire September with the bongo man in the right ear that you can't ignore now. You can't ignore the bongo man. But live albums, it what brings out the good and bad headphones to me, like acoustic instruments, the sound of synths bouncing off the walls and the stage, along with the audience participation. You, that's where you get that huge 3D vibe. You can hear in front of you and behind you, so much detail. My go-to test for this is George Benson's Affirmation, the live version, because the intro, like there's so much going on. Those Samsung AKGs just do left and right, but you put on a good set of cans and this is all around you. The mastered version on Tidal. And yes, there is a bump over Spotify. These just have that extra boof. And I found myself using these the most. You know, where I'll just let Tidal pick a whole bunch of songs and only half of them load because it's barely functioning at. So funny enough, these might take the place of the Orders the Eye signs that I bought where I wanted a nice wide soundstage that I could just chuck in my pocket or maybe in that little case and put it into a bag as I travel. So heck, there you go. So. Uh, Cheers, Meze! You did it! <laughs> ah, but there are a couple of little gadgets I want to show you. Last time I took a quick look at some IEMs, people mentioned that, like, I didn't say that you can get things that turn these into wireless. I mean, this is like a cheap eBay one, so it's pretty nasty, to be honest. Plug your head behindies into this, and now you have beautiful stainless steel headphones connected to eBay nonsense. But there's something better than this. <laughs> so when Fio sent me these, like, Thanks guys, you didn't have to. <laughs> the cheeky monkey's also included. The UTW 53. Catchy name I know. It's this box, metal lid, plastic everything else though. USB-C, good, but inside, Oh, are you catching on? And now you got true wireless audiophile in-ears. Because these just aren't like Bluetooth dongle whatevers, they're also headphone amplifiers. This might be a big chunky case, but it's designed so you can just stick in whatever earbuds you have hanging off of them. And if it looks like these only work with Fios, no, these work with Shures. Oh, heck, they work with the Mezes. <laughs> There you go, that's fun. <laughs> I could literally listen to one Meze and one Fio if I wanted to. Ugh. About a hundred US bucks. I mean, this it's just so cool that these things exist where like there are some things that cables do better than Bluetooth, like latency. And that's why it's been the focus of this video because yeah, sometimes you just need a hardwired connection to get the best. But then these same companies are also making really cool gadgets to make things wireless as well. So super quick recap, AKG Samsungs, Trash. Nice mic, trash cable, trash sound. I'm sorry if I offend any of you who use these and like them, but if anything, get excited because music gets so much better than this. For instance, you know, a little bit extra and this is a humongous jump. Humongous. I keep rating these because they keep being good. So, boing. Sennheisers, disqualified, terrible cable, not that great of a fit. Nice mic. You know, and again, like the Samsung AKG and Sennheiser ones, you can't pull out the cable. You can't even fix the biggest issue with them. How much does it cost to just have two cables you can go like, like that? You know, KZ's doing it for a quarter of the price with better sound. So, hmm, big companies sure like to make junk. The Fio FD5s, uh, I really like these. You know, for pop music, I actually found these a little bit more fun to listen to. And the fact that they are earplugs as well, like that's just super useful. It's one of my favorite things about these. You know, if I want a big open sound, I'll wear big open ears. Yeah, really nice and well supported. Lots of spare parts, heaps of bits and whatever's and that interchangeable cable. It's not, I mean, you know, it's 400 and something bucks, but you get everything in there and you know, stainless steel. <laughs> Anyone who knows what stainless steel is all about knows that these gonna look good for a long time. All oh, these eye signs. They're cheap and nasty feeling and just don't sound that good. That's all I have to say. Uh, and the Meze Ray Penters. Uh, the best sounding ones of the day, funny enough. <laughs> I mean, you kind of hope that the $2,000 pair would be the best ones. It's all diminishing returns in it. Again, nice wide soundstage out of something this small. like, And they're beautifully built. Not as many accessories as the Fio, but I love that you can get a big stink cable just right out. <laughs> I genuinely enjoyed wearing these. I haven't used in buds for like quite a while now. You know, I tend to do all my listening at home nowadays, but I'm, I'm super stoked to have these. And uh, you know, and that quick mention of um, Fio's like headphone 
wireless maker. I, I don't word very well. They can bounce around a little bit on the top of my ears, but that's okay. And actually, they have a microphone there in there. So like, Uncle Kevo's our dog now, and it like super sucks because all he does is rob the house and he poos on the carpet and he dug up the back lawn. Don't even know how he did it, mate. Well, actually, I mean, he borrowed the excavator from Bunnings, mate. Because, like, you know, he, he took all of our things and sold the money to rent the Bunnings excavator. But, no, nah, it's going all right. I mean, hey, we all get dog biscuits now. The microphone's pretty average, huh? I mean, they're not that expensive. And they basically turn your already awesome IEMs into nice wireless ones with an app. Go Fio. Just, yeah, if it was my money, I probably would get the Fios. I mean, they're literally a quarter of the price, and they still do a fantastic job. But that said, owning both of these, I would grab these. <laughs> Portable, nice, wide headphones. So, nice. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. A huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, mate, because one dollar a month, I do extra videos, and I've been putting this warehouse together. It's why my hands look awful. I'll give you a quick tour of the Nugget Realm. I mean, there are things in here I'm not going to make vids out of for a really long time, and so, hey, you get a little bit of a sneak peek of what could be future vids in a few years' time. There's some weird stuff in here. So, thanks so much for watching, and mate. I'll see you all next time. What's so good about this rock? Man, there's something about this rock that she knows that I don't know. Look at that face. Licking the rock. Well, simple pleasures. Give me a lick. Hey, it's it's the after show. From, you can hear from the echo, we're in the warehouse, which has now been dubbed the factory. But through this door is the nugget realm. So I'm going to give you the, the first tour. Right, here we go. All right, we're, we're getting close to the nuggets. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna do it. Once we go in, there's no going back. I'm telling you. Oh, uh, the nuggets. So I've been collecting these literally all through last year. Like none of you have had any idea what I've been up to. And yeah, I'm, I'm very proud with the stash I found so far. Like the, the yep shelf. Yep, look at all these. <laughs> uh, can you believe no one wanted these? These are all brand new. Can you believe? I mean, someone put Byro on that, but I mean, it is new. But yeah, no one bought any of these. Yeah, that's the face I'm making. Like, hmm, I didn't think people wanted these. Yup. There's, there's some Zunes. Arcos. Oh, Toshiba. Even you had a go. Oh, they're all brand new. <laughs> Oh, like, these can be strangely hard to find, new or used. It doesn't matter. It's just like that people didn't really buy these. Oh, old PDAs. That's going to be fun. Super value, apparently. It's still no one bought it. That's like the second ever jukebox sealed in its plastic. Like, 40 bucks. A boxed HP iPod. It's new. This has not been opened at all. Look at it. It's mint. Oh, the e-wear. <laughs> It's like a wearable MP3 player or something. Like, oh, geez, look at these words. Oh, it'd be nothing without my juice box. I've actually got like Yu-Gi-Oh on the way here. Yes, I've got hit clips, Hillary Duff, and and NSYNC, and and like the mono ear play. <laughs> you just hear mono sound through one ear. Great. They look good. Oh, my Pizza Hut headphones. MTV had a go. And, and can you believe no one bought it? Like, 64 megabytes. iRivers, a Napster, Olympus. That's a brand new M robe. Like, ooh. Journey the Band had an MP3 player. Oh, perspective's hard when holding a camera. It's tiny. Oh no, my journey, no. But yes, actually Journey, the band, the MP3 player, the ride, the game. The creative section. Yes, I mean, look at this colossal nugget. Whoa. And yeah, even, but there's more. All, all brand new, all of them. Like, can you believe no one wanted like a garage door opener as an MP3 player? Good player, that one. They're actually good. RCA, cause RCA was a humongous audio company, and it's just funny seeing them make the, the cat zoo and this hideous nano clone. These people, oh dear, these people couldn't look less interested in this player. And look at that computer. That that just sums up this whole vibe. The Rio section. Uh, that came out at like the third gen iPod Classic, and it's just this big moose, like a big fist of MP3 player. Like, what is that shape? Uh, ooh, the first ever popular MP3 player. That's a good one. 
and we've got the space nugget up there that runs Windows XP basically. These are just 90s freaks, like <laughs> very European looking. But yeah, all before the iPod, it's like proper dark days. Like this is so made. Some vintage phones, the first ever flip phone, my first camera phone. Ooh, uh, that's nothing, don't worry about that. That's, that's special, don't worry about that. Uh, this is cool to get in its box. <laughs> it looks like a throat. It's a Sony. Yeah, Sony Vio Pocket MP3 player. Oh, the iRock, that's a good one. Technically Motorola's fault too. Michael Jordan had one. Philips made some. Look, Dell made some. That's special. Uh, the hip zip Oakley sunglasses with MP3 players built in. The complete idiot's guide to MP3s. This is from 99, so this is proper dark days of like, oh, the internet is scary and you can watch and listen to things. Look, there's, there's iPod accessories in here and a couple of vintage computers and, and drums mainly. But Oh, I'd be nothing without my Jam P3. You wonder where the Craigs are? I mean, a big part of this room is I plan on doing some more variety stuff. I mean, you know, here's some Vidya games. There's, there's a few of them. Uh, you know, there's, there's some consoles here. Just a couple, I guess. Ignore that one in the back there, you know. And, and just going down, and to, you know, it's just it's just down it's just down here, and and here are the Craigs, where they belong, frankly, which is which is on the floor next to the Dreamcast games. Yeah, Pod Racer, good game. But that's it. Hey, thanks so much for supporting me. I'm only in this building, all thanks to you guys. And it's I mean, all of these have been locked up in like storage lockers. And it's so good to be able to see them all. So every now and then when I want to pick one out for a video, I can do them. I mean, there's no time limit on these, you know, some of these I won't touch for years. I mean, like, like you know, I don't need to look at the, the DVD burn away, now burns DVDs. Oh, it's got Adobe Photoshop Elements 2.0. That's up to date and probably still full of bugs like modern Adobe. But thanks so much for watching and, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Um, the beans. I, I, I lost the beans. No, I can't find them. Maybe I planted them in my sleep or something, but yeah, I can't find them anywhere. I need to find them. They're meme history. But it doesn't matter. We don't need the beans anymore. I mean, they weren't bad. They were just, you know, okay. Honestly, I hated how they fitted. I hated how Samsung said they have active noise cancelling when they just frankly don't. But Samsung have released new buds and that are actually and like finally competing with the AirPod Pros. Ugh. I'm not liking this trend of putting pro on everything. Like what, are you a professional Spotify listener? I thought it was done when Apple did it. Oh no. It's empty. Ooh. Actually, tiny little package. I hate it when companies think that it's just a case. It's not, it's their home. I mean, you know, these are conventionally expensive. You want to put them away. And if you're taking them with you, you hope that the case is something you actually want to take with you. I really like the fitment inside of the case. You can see they're really trying to use as much of this space as possible. Obviously that hump there is probably full of batteries to charge them. Case is still a little bit cheap, but hey, these will hit the bin as soon as the battery goes cack. So hey, it's good enough for a few years, but straight to the thing that you want to know. Sound, is it any good? Is good. In your buds are limited when it comes to soundstage, the wide 3D listening vibe, because I mean, they're literally playing from inside your head. Example song, Exhibits Multiply, Year 2000's much. I think there's cussing in there, so you know, kids. Which right from the start of the track has this big, chunky, wide riff. It's, I really like it. And there's like doingy noises from behind you and stuff. These still give me a tickle with that track. Uh, and the shape too is really good. I feel this is the shape everyone's been waiting for. No stems, none of that, it's just, a wireless earbud. <laughs> like, really? Not too dissimilar in shape to actual just OG earbuds. So, good case, good look, good sound. But if you thought I wasn't gonna complain about these, you are surely mistaken. Uh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, it's not that good. The beans also like to do runners, so yeah. Yeah, it's a, it does. Uh, <laughs> Leave the duck alone. Oh yeah, baby, you know what I mean? That's the magnets, right? Ooh. But touch controls, they work when you can see what you're pressing, say like a phone or modern smartwatch. Boy, I'd hate to have these small sensitive touch controls in a spot where I can never see unless I'm looking into a mirror. You know, like the side of my head. Are we putting the pieces together, ladies and boys? As this channel goes on and I'm trying more and more headphones with all sorts of different control schemes and philosophies, there is one thing that is concrete. Touch controls on headphones is terrible. It's awful and terrible combined. 
or frible. But even on Sony's full-size flagship headphones, I just absolutely hate it. It's like a Sharpie that you can only hold right at this spot. Touch it anywhere else, you can get ink all over your fingers. But you don't know this until you try it, and then you have to figure it all out without looking at it. That's how it feels, just stumbling blindly in frustration. Let me just pick them up. Oh, I just started playing music or a YouTube video in the background. I'm mowing the lawn, which is jostling my head around. Better make sure those buds are secure. I'm just gonna press like this. Oh dear, I just turned off the noise cancelling. Let me take them out and put them away. Oh, just that interaction there has started the music again. Or worse, activated Siri, who's useless. Yes, you can just get used to it and learn where you can touch them. You know, same way you can get used to a baby crying or like an awful coworker. Hey, this is Jeff. He's like this awful person who spits at people he hates and won't do any work and steals lunches. But it's cool, mate. You'll get used to him. No life from this point onwards. Any headphones that put touch controls on the sides of my greasy face get immediate points off. Spoilers, guys. I do have the drop pandas, which almost sounds like drop bears. And you can call them panda bears. So these are now called the drop bears. But it's controlled with this little D-pad here with these lovely little micro switches in there. It works perfectly. AirPods have the dingus stems, but that's where the controls are. That flat little spot is a very obvious, like that's where you press it. The area that you actually handle to fit them in your head, that doesn't do anything. So you can adjust these, you can make sure they're in there because you know, we'd hate to lose one of these. And the only reason why this works is because it's literally simulating a button. You have to squeeze it and it goes click. Which part of this is the touch panel? Oh no, somewhere in the middle. Also, Samsung, you, you suck with instruction booklets. Go. Oh. <laughs> Does have a quick diagram saying put them in your head, but inside are these miserable booklets that they include. Quick start guide, never mind, it's like a phone book for mice. And it's like it's come straight from the engineering department and just delivered in the most blah 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. And they wonder why people don't want to read these and learn how to fit them properly. And look, we're already up to next language. Uh, and then there you go. That's, that's all that they really want you to know. Warranty card. Why warranty book series and like movies coming out soon or something? It'd be like The Hobbit, they'll get three movies out of one book somehow. I just don't want to read something like this. I mean, I did to learn how to fit them properly and uh, what do the friggin' touch controls do? Look what the AirPods give you. There you go. It's all laid out. It's everything you need to know and it even includes different languages like it's not hard. If you're gonna try and copy the bootleg box design, like, at least copy this too. This is what actually matters. Oh, and the cable that Samsung gives you is borderline bootleg nasty. Look how it holds its shape. <laughs> it's like a quarter way cooked ramen noodle. You know, the, the pre-packaged variety. Like, it's just yuck. It's, it's, dis it's disgusting. We are being rudely interrupted because a challenger has appeared. Look out, everyone. Da, 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 da. It's the darlings, mate. It's the Sony WF-1000XM3's catchy name, Sony. It's almost like you've never marketed a thing before. Apart from being uncatchy and annoying, it's actually like really confusing because the WH-1000XM3 is a previous model of the WH-1000XM4s, but the XM threes of the WF variety are the current of the earbud ones. Sony! But besides its horrible and confusing name, these are the current AirPods Pro's alternative. But now that we got the gang all here, mate, let the battle royale begin. Huge case! Huge! If I put these like that... Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. It is humongous. Look how thick. <laughs> this is a nice small package, but honestly, the AirPods Pro still win because it's thickness that counts. That's how it fits in your pocket. This isn't bad at all, but this is still better. That's why smartphones could be huge. As long as they're thin, they disappear in a pocket. Oh, look, it's King Chonk. Look out, battling out with Godzilla. I got moisturizer on my hands because SA is super dry, and it's making this look horrible because it's got this cheap, disgusting rubber coating on it. Look at the mold lines here from the manufacturing process. So cheap. That's obviously why they've dipped it in Plasti Dip or something. It's to hide how manky it is underneath there. It's a total chunkster, right? Trying to get that into a pocket. AirPods are like polished plastic. So also being the thinnest, it just doop, into a pocket gone. This just grips its way down. Here I come. Dum -dum 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 -dum. See these scratches on this side? That's one adventure rubbing up against my keys in my bag. These have been sharing the pocket with my car keys since 2019. Yeah, they got scuffs and scratches, 
but <laughs> it's held up amazingly. One day. The buds on the inside are bigger, but I gotta say, they actually look pretty dang cool. In terms of how far they stick into your ears to do the job that they do, uh, these are basically full-blown earplugs with foam tips. These are like conventional in-ears, and these, I mean, you can actually just see from the shape of them, sit not as far in. It's, I really kind of dig how these fit. But now that we got them all together, mate, we can talk sound in more detail. The benchmark around here, mate, it's the Herder 600s by Sen. A benchmark for audiophile sound. There are better than this, of course. I mean, these have been out since 1997. But a set of these with a nice amp, you're listening real nice. Here's what the sound to them looks like. So way down at the bottom, we've got the super low sub bass, then regular bass. Here's the mids. That's basically where all the rest of the band is. So like the singers, the guitarists, the saxophonists, and up the top, you got cymbals and t -t 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 noises, and then it's basically noise from there. Now let me show the graphs for the buds. There are small differences. The buds have more super low bass. The Sonys have a mid bass bump, which makes them sound thumpier. That's where like the top of bass drums are. So it's and the AirPods have a little more mids, which brings the vocals forward a bit. They seem a little bit louder. And uh, honestly, they're all different flavors of great. I mean, if you listen to these a day apart, you would struggle to tell them apart. And I really mean that. It's like different brands of salt and vinegar chips. Some have more salt, some have more vinegar, but they're all good though. And I'm sure many out there go, no, well, I've tried them one after another and I can tell, obviously. But who's sitting at home just AB swapping headphones all day? Oh, me. I mean, look at the graph for some Grotos, mate. Now there's a different flavor. Ooh but they're more like Red Rock Deli honey soy chicken flavored. But these are portable companions. And really their value lies in the package they offer, not just the outright sound. Cause mate, they have microphones for calls. So I walk through traffic and I got some samples for you. So I started up this new business and it's like pretty hip because like what I do is I sell stolen milk crates to people waiting at the traffic lights. A lot of people aren't looking for a milk crate at the traffic lights, but then they see I've got a fine selection, like a farmer's union one, like a pure milk one. And you know, I haven't sold any yet. So like, business is slow. And, like, I don't think it's because people don't want to stall a little crate sold to the traffic lights. But, like, I think it's because I'm not advertising enough. So I've hired this huge billboard and it costs like thousands of dollars. And it just says like, meet me at Jeff's Cross and I'll sell you a stolen milk crate. So like, I got my first sale and I'm like super stoked. It's like, wow, can't believe someone wants a stolen milk crate. They, they specifically asked for a pure milk one. And then I'm um, like, it turns out it was the cops. And like, you know, they didn't even disguise themselves. It was just a police car sitting there in the empty car park. Yet I pulled in anyway. It's like, maybe they need and, uh, I'm in Jama. Wow, the, the Sony's just kind of quit there at the end, huh? And now, honestly, the AirPods weren't great at all. Samsung, nice work. Although the turntables, when the ambient mode's being used, that's when the microphones are simulating, you know, not wearing them, so you can hear around you sort of thing. And the Samsungs weren't that hot. Like, it actually hurt to talk with them. It was like my own voice was distorting the microphone. And the Sony's were just okay too. Honestly, AirPods, it's actually pretty amazing. I could happily keep them in and talk to people and leave ambient mode on. All of them have noise cancelling and all of them do a great job at knocking an aircon out of a room. The Samsungs tend to let high-end frequencies through like fans and road noise, but nothing crazy. But there is something I like to use these kinds of buds for and honestly, it's just as electronic earplugs. Not even for playing musical content. I live in a busy built-up area. I mean, you saw that traffic there. That was just me walking home. And sometimes I just want to walk and think. My AirPod Pros have done an amazing job for these. You know, ever since 2019, the buds did a great job too. And like some in ear style headphones can amplify the sound of walking because you know our legs are attached to our head but these were fine sadly the sony's were awful with the noise cancelling on the wind noise is insane it's almost unusable to be honest like because the noise cancelling works using phasing with the microphones and the wind blowing across that microphone is just if you turn off the noise cancelling, the noise goes away, but then all the traffic comes in. So for Sony, the boast that it's the best noise cancelling budge out there is not really true. And I also, touch controls on the side of my face. You betcha I hated it. But finally, price. And for me, this is where stuff starts to make more sense and flaws can be totally forgiven. These prices off their official websites, you know, so obviously you can find specials on these, uh, but this is what the company wants to say they're worth. And uh, this is all in dollary dues, right? Dollar dues. It's got a kangaroo on it. AirPods, three hundred and ninety nine dollar dues. The Buds, three hundred and forty nine dollar dues. And the Sony's. 
278. That's a lot cheaper. So yeah, it's got the cheapest, nastiest case, the largest buds with lame touch controls and wind noise through the noise cancelling, but they are the cheapest. And if sound is all that matters, they easily hang with the rest of them. So like buses, trains, planes, and what well, offices, they don't have wind noise issues. So these will still work in those scenarios if you know what your daily grind is. I still think the AirPods are the one to be. It's the smallest package, by far the best controls. I don't care. I, Considering I've tried all these different types of buds and I come running back for the stems, mate. I don't care how they look. It just works. It's got the least intrusive fit and the best noise cancelling in my opinion because of its amazing ambient feature. Even though the recording mic totally sucks. And this case is built like a tank. Like Again, I've had this since 2019, way back when I was working full time as a musician still. I was using these as earplugs at gigs. It's been dropped a million times and I even lost them at a wedding for a whole month and only just got them back. Congrats, Daniel and Bethany. Sorry for dropping your husband, but I didn't sell or lose the ring. Look at this metal hinge. Like to this day, it's just a total tank. But the actual center of this review, and that case has been upside down this whole time, it's a little bit cheaper and the case kind of shows it, but they look great tiny size, great sound, excellent little package, and any smartwatch can skip around the terrible touch controls. I mean, seriously, consider it like a discrete actual button somewhere, because that's all the stems are, is a virtual button. I mean, it's just simple gestures anyway. It's literally one tap, double tap, and triple tap. Th those are the gestures. Just make it a button. But the question, are these a suitable alternative to AirPod Pros? Absolutely. I would 100% have these over these. Gladly pay the extra money. You know, it's my job to nitpick. And yes, once you learn how to hold the dingus things, I was able to use them just like my AirPods with no issues at all. You know, the Sony's couldn't do that because of the wind noise. <laughs> and at one point, I forgot I had the buds in because there was no stem to squeeze, so I just squeezed my earlobe instead and went, woohoo. It even had the best mic to boot. So, actual, well done, Samsung. Yeah, I would totally live with these. If they're packing these with Galaxy phones, like, that's a hecker of a deal. Like, cause yeah, excellent earbuds and I really dig them. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here. Cause one dollar a month, I do it to videos and something that the, my patrons have been asking for, mate, we're gonna sit down and have an interview with Frank. I'm gonna try and see how long she will sit on a couch for. Just to see if we can talk about her a bit. She's very wiggly, but hey, thanks again, and mate. I'll see you all next time. Well, isn't it turtle Frank paying us a visit? Look at your pretty shell, made in Italy. Frank, you're so pretty. Hey, it's the after show and Frank's running into the couch and falling off. Hang on, uh, Frank, 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 Frank. This is your interview, Frank, 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 Frank. There you are, you naughty lady. Yeah, so we're hanging out with Frank and this might not go well because she really likes phones for some reason. And being on top of, okay, you can go up there. Just don't go under, she's under. She goes doing that thing she did. Frank, don't go behind the couch. So yeah, she's a lot longer than people think she is. Did you hiss at me? You're looking, you want to get behind the couch, but you're not allowed. So it's a funny thing, people say that, you know, I can't touch Frank, but she doesn't mind at all. See, she's a good lady. She's literally like a dog. Look at this. Hey, Frankie, you're good. Except when you're not. Frank, stop it. <laughs> she just wants to get behind the couch. So look at that face. Hey, you're just trying to get behind the couch. And I really wish that you wouldn't, Frank. Don't make me boop you. Frank, I'm gonna boop you. Come on, Frank. There, I boped you. That's the face of someone who's been boped. Quick facts about Franklin. She eats maybe once every six weeks. Yeah, I'm touching you. You can deal with it. Uh-oh, she's locked on. She she wants that phone. Oh, Frank, you're so lovely and sweet. Uh-oh, here she comes. Here she comes. She's coming for that phone. <laughs> Frank, no, she's wrapping the phone. I told you, she really likes phones. She has a really subtle personality. Like, she used to be really bitey as a baby, but now she's super sweet and she's just Totally Frank, where are you going? Stop it. No. When she was a baby, she used to eat anything. She didn't care. But now she's an uptown girl and she only eats quails, which is basically the equivalent of KFC. Hello, hello, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. no. There. Rats are honestly super healthy for snakes. Like, it's basically got everything they need in it. And she just won't eat them anymore. She went eight months without food basically to spite me until I offered her a quail and she had it. Frank, you, you're just looking for ways to get under the couch, aren't you? But you're not allowed. You're not allowed.
around like you're really you're not allowed you said you could lick those curtains like this sounds really gross but like the rat hair holds her poo together so you can just pick it up easy oh no that sounds disgusting like quails and birds are full of fat and oil and she turns these into a horrible liquid mess that i have to scrape out with a brush frank I have to scrape your pool with a brush. He's a good demon dog. I say this with all the love to Frank, like she's my genuine pet and she's, oh no, Frank. Where, Frank, where are you? Frank, Frank, I, please don't, please, Frank, please don't, Frank. She's pushing through herself to get, where is she? She's pushing through herself. Frank, you have no respect for anybody. Look, you can just move out of the way. That's all I was saying. Um, she's really dumb. It doesn't change what I think of her, but she's really dumb. Like Snake Discovery is a really good YouTube channel. They've got like an adopted, well rescued American crocodile or alligator, I'm an idiot. And it lives in one of their bedrooms. And even that guy gets bored. Well, girl, hello Frank, I see you. It's basically, they have toys for this alligator to play with. Uh, Frank, what? <laughs> God, you're so wiggly when you come out, huh? Literally this last week, Frank sat in her hammock for eight days only emerging to do poos on the floor. And I'm being serious, that's all she's done in a week. Like, she will happily sit and do nothing forever. Except right now, she's very wiggly. Aren't you? <gasps> oh, don't you look away. Choo choo, Franklin Express. Passing through, see you, Frank. Choo choo. Goodbye. Oh, these scales are hypnotizing. Don't fall, Frank. Frank, you're falling. <laughs> You silly goof. So as I was saying about Frank being a little bit dumb, but I still love her all the same. Yes, Frank's a she, it's a long story. Get it? Long, she's long. But yeah, I love her dearly. She doesn't do anything. She, she's, an, she's, an, she's a selfish idiot. She doesn't even show respect for herself. But yeah, they're, they're super misunderstood. They're only anxious all the time. And so once you kick that anxiety, look, she's like a dog. She's just happily hanging around me. <laughs> all right, see ya, Frank. Good hanging out, goodbye. Yeah, you are. Hello. Is that, your, is that your sneaky spot now? Are you hiding? I wonder where Frank is. She's hidden so amazingly well. Oh, look at the Franklin do. Hello. See, it's what I love about snakes. They love couches too. Right? It's, it's not just for people. This works for everyone. Well, Frank is officially comfortable. She has stopped wiggling. And this is where she wants to be. Like, like this. Not really hidden at all. But yeah, just a quick hangout with Franco, the stench noodle that you see at the end of all my vids. My genuine pet, not a freak pet at all. And yeah, 100% tame. We're a tight team, Frank. We've known each other for about five or six years now, ever since she was a baby. Just wish you weren't so rude and keep ignoring me. Well, while Frank's been rude, I guess all I have to say is uh, thanks so much for supporting me. Thanks for nothing, Frank, and I'll, uh, I'll see you all next time, eh? Frank, you're just creating piles of yourself now. What is this? Oh, Frank, what a comfortable seating position you've chosen. <laughs> is this it? Is this, this is how you want to be, is it? Is this comfortable, Frank? Flash drives. It just brings me so much joy to see three 16 gigabyte flash drives going for 27 bucks and not even looking for a bargain. This was from JB Hi-Fi. Mate, like go on AliExpress and you, you could probably buy the whole factory for that. Hyperbole aside, I remember being a kid and like I was really young but was still using floppy disks and when flash drives finally became accessible to us. My first flash drive was a 32 megabyte one. Oh mate, it was like 10 times a floppy disk. I had end of Z world on it. I had that drag racing flash game on it and sometimes even homework. And like just the plug and play of flash drives was amazing. Floppy disks are annoying. For a little bit, there was like a bit of status as to how big your flash drive was. Let me tell you, mate, the day I rolled up to school with my first ever MP3 player and it had 128 megabytes. But I know what you're asking. Why are you telling us this? Because I'm setting up this nugget right here. <clears throat> The first ever iPod Choufflé. Look at the green on the inside of the packaging. It looks like it's blending in with the iPad. Now I was telling you all that guff and goof and whatever about flash drives, just to set up why these were so popular. I mean, cause you know, there's a whole generation of you who've probably never had anything to do with these. These are getting old and weird. And just honestly, most people just threw them away. And you're probably looking at this thing going, right, so like it's just a stick nugget with no screen or anything. 
and yet they sold millions and millions of them. Yes, it's a stick nugget, but look at that. Bonafide flash drive, just plug and play. And honestly, one of the best accessories to ever be packed in. Uh, a lanyard. <laughs> Simple controls on the back, and this one's been left on, so it's guaranteed to be dead. Battery indicator was either green or red. That that was it. But here's the bowler thing about this thing, mate, right? So I had a bit of a flex with my 128 Dick Smith MP3 player. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this, mate. Oh my god, it's it's 512 megabytes. No, it's the big one. And the best bit, this is the smallest capacity iPod ever made. It's the only one that exists in the megabytes because they had a gigabyte model of one of these too. Whoa, gig! I'm actually super excited to open this. I've been saving this for like a special day because my first ever brand new iPod was one of these. The, the first gen iPod Shufle. My first iPod was a mini, but this was my first new one. What's shuffle? I mean shoufflé. Your favorite songs in a different order every time. Why shoufflé? Sometimes it's good to mix things up. With iPod shoufflé, your music is never the same experience twice. It was very hard to read it like that. Unshoufflé? No, no, that's wrong. All oh, this is wrong. You can't unshoufflé something. Features. Plays music two ways. Two music. I think the duck can do that because yes, this it, Oh, that's right. I gutted the duck a long time ago. Okay, I'm gonna put this corpse back. Holds over 120 songs. That that was actually really pretty good back then. So, you know, fitness people using these back then, because it's a really good gym MP3 player, but honestly, it was kids. All right, shut up, let's get into it. It's a brand new nug. Uh, am, I, am I nugging properly? Am I doing this right? Wow, this opens terrible. Oh, we're nugging now. Oh my, it blends in so good. That Shrek green, I mean, I've always loved this shade of green. Just looks good. We'll get to the nug in a bit. I don't even remember what this came with, to be honest. And it, I, how do you even get in? Huh? Is it glued? I think they've glued this shirt. Ooh, ooh, am I doing this? Ooh, oh, that's ugly. Don't steal music. This is a really nice little card. Look at that, 2005. I mean, this is still better than the instruction books that come with things today. Samsung Buds. Yeah, I like that. <gasps> Even the text is green. Ah, oh, they haven't changed. Free music! <laughs> Sorry, that startled me. Oh, oh, look at that old iTunes. Frustrating everyone that used it. Get the free single of the week. In other words, you don't get to pick the music and it's, you know, it's free because, yeah, you didn't pick it. Guff. Oh, iTunes, yeah. Oh, those old iBooks. I'm loving the green text. It's so good. Those earphones are terrible, by the way. I mean, honestly, it's still a good manual today. Uh, and like, I know Apple's not allowed to make good things. Just, it's, it's illegal. It's not allowed. But this is still a better manual than what comes with stuff today. Ugly. Hold on to your butts, it's nugget time. Oh, it's under a, a thing. There's a thing on here saying remove, and it's like the only way to get to your MP3 player. So why do people need to be told this? Actually, no, don't give me reasons. I'm sure there's many. Uh, now, I actually like the current, like, pack-in earbuds, like with iPhones and whatevers. The, the ones that like AirPods before the AirPods came out. I think they sound conventionally good. They're not amazing. It's not audio file quality, but for packings, they're good. Um, yeah, these suck. <laughs> these really do stink. And, you know, they don't even fit good. And so, yeah, a lot of the hatred of the absolute current one comes from the lineage of these and even the next model of these sucking. <laughs> oh, the precious lanyard cap. And the nugget, I suppose. I mean, watch the money shot. Here we go. It's just gonna say Mindshare on it? Like, hang on. Mindshare. But why? <laughs> so someone someone had an iPod engraved and then just never opened it? Oh, it engraved on their 512. Oh, so you can show all your mates and be like, Yeah, mate, I basically own the school now. Uh, I guess we gotta see if it even, like, dingus works at all. Oh, dear. It's like I forgot it's a video or something. I've got to actually like show you what I'm doing. Engage. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, we got a dead nug. Hang on. We have to verify. Oh no. <laughs> this sad beast still go. Get out. Get. 
All right, my sweet child. Let's see how long it takes for you to wake up. Guys, I'm getting bored. I haven't given up on the boy just yet, but this is my chance to show one of my favorite accessories for any iPod. I can't even look at it. From Belkin, it's the tune base for iPod Shuffle. It's just this extended USB port, just hmm, see the way. This is brand new. Can you believe no one bought this? Reveal the treasures. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's awesome! I actually don't have one of these. Hang on, hang on, this is spiraling out of control. Look at this fugly cable they've supplied it with. And I love how it's beige, so it will match your seat covers because you're probably driving something from the 80s. I I've always had old cars, and at school, I always had one of these handy for plugging in my old iPod into cars. <laughs> That's awesome. Into the hood with you. I'm gonna put that in my old Mercedes. Oh man, that was actually delightful. Let's let's have a look at the. Ooh, right. It's more flexible than I thought. What's this? Um. What? Um. Uh, maybe the manual will tell us more. Congratulations! You bought this nugget extender fit ring. What? You have to squeeze this over. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, wait. Wait, why do I have to fit that? Why can't that just be fitted, I don't know, at the factory? Ooh, it's got an aux jack at the bottom. Actually, no, that's really dumb because the, the headphone jack... I need to look... <laughs> Extend! It's not even the same color. This is brand new. This has not been in the sun yet. The headphone jack's still visible. What? Why does it need another? Oh, I see! Look, it's a whole dang system! <laughs> but maybe it only outputs through USB or something? Not through its own headphone jack? I, I don't I don't care, but I do love this fiasco. <laughs> do not attempt to install the product while driving! Well, what a delightful pile of mess. Um, I don't like that, but I do like this. Gimme, put it back in its box for future generations to scour it. Look, the ring fits in the thing. Like, why do I have to fit that? Well, but people, we got a problem. He's cooked, mate. He's just not doing the do no more. He's not doing the do he was designed to do. There you go. A brand new iPod shuffle. <laughs> and it's cooked. She's gone, mate. She didn't like sitting still at all. Look, old mate's in the off position. This is the old one. Sparkle, sparkle, get out, get out, get out. Well, it's a display piece anyway, I suppose. It just goes back in the cabinet because, I mean, I am the first owner. I don't know why I unwrapped them. They're terrible. I don't need to hear them. Mm. But still fun unboxing this thing. I, they're still kind of neat. 512 is pathetic now. That's There's no flex in that anymore. Don't go to school tomorrow flexing about your 512 shuffle, mate. I mean, souffle. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks for my patrons, especially these stinky names right here. Mate, because $1 a month, I direct to vids. I think there's like 50 of them up there now. And you actually have my blessing to spend a dollar, binge them all, and then just leave. I, I don't care. Just give me that dollar for them cheddar my scrolls. But this week, I don't know if you've realized, but we're in the warehouse right Right now. Yeah, we're in a whole new building. Have you noticed anything changed? Mmm, so you can trust me. Brought the duck and everything, and my Pixel army. But I bought this. It's highly modified with a backlight, so I can play manky games. And I want to play a manky game, mate. We're going to play Shrek Fairy D have what? Fairy Tale Freak Down. So this is what we're going to be doing in the after show. So thanks so much, and I'll uh, see you all next time. Frank looks like the old React Squirrel meme. Isn't that it, Frank? Can you give us a lick? Hey, thank you. No, I only wanted one. Hey, it's the After Show. Thanks so much for supporting me. Hey, you guys keep the mid-roll ads out. You keep the sponsored spots out. You guys give me full control of this beast, and which makes it so much fun. Like, I'm loving this. I've got vid ideas for years. But shut up. Where's my Shrek for the Game Boy? Sit still, you. Shrek, fairy tale freak down. And we're going to do this au naturel and just smash it straight out of a Game Boy. Best part of my setup is I can plug you straight in. We can get... There we go. I hope this isn't too loud. It's hard to know. All right, hold on to your butts. We're gonna, it's down here. Oh, is there volume? There should be volume. 2001. Those were the days. Ah!
I like how there's American and English. Uh, uh, that one. Oh, Shrek's looking good. Shrek's looking real good. Shrek, I'm just telling you, mate, you're a full-blown creeper. Options. Oh, give me that easy. Oh, look! Donkey's- Donkey's spitting at me for- for picking easy. You know what? Stu- f Nah, stuff you. We're not gonna practice, we're just gonna jump straight in. Alright, here we go. My champion. <laughs> Shrek's looking good. He's looking real good. You can be the wolf. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> and there he is again. I, I'll be Shrek eventually. I gotta be Pinocchio. Oh, I'm fighting a wolf. A donkey is creeping me out. Whoa! Whoa! Ew! Ew! You can use your nose as an attack. Whoa! Get. You pon punch him. Ew! Like, he's like a rubber man. He's got extendo. Does he have to lie while he's fighting? Is that is that his thing? It's oh, there's pits. But oh no! Doesn't he have to tell lies to do like anything? Extension? Don't think about that too much. I'm ju I'm just gonna spam attacks. I just have to win one. Here I come! I'm the wood boy. Yeah, come on! He's on the ropes. I got him. Yeah! He does a little jig! Yay! I assaulted someone. Oh, I'm not writing that down, donkey! Ooh, it's getting spooky. Okay! I have to fight myself! This is just me every day. This is- this is what a work day is for me. I just fight myself in the night while I just lie profusely. I am a good person. I am a good person. I am a good person. Dingus dungus. Oh! No! I forgot who I was. <laughs> Again, this is just a normal day. I got him! Oh, I beat myself. I'm gonna turn it on and off, because, I mean, I, I gotta be the Shrek. Oh, that's who fault this is. <sighs> this all sounds terrible. I mean, I know it's like Game Boy Color, and this is like 01, this is old. Oh, this music is just... <sighs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. I can't wait to say. <laughs> oh, Shrek's looking absolutely horrifying. Oh, there he is. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'm just going to keep to Here comes Shrek. You can't stop Shrek. <laughs> I've, I don't know. Oh, he, he, what? He's still kicking. I'll just. Oh wait, I, I won and fell down the hole. That's everything I could ever want. Oh man, I'm not writing that down. Hick, I, I can't wait, this is the move. Oh, hang on, I'm just gonna beat up a boy. I'm beating up a boy. St he's lying to me, but he's beating up the boy. <laughs> you can't stop the strike. <laughs> ah! It's, I'm actually having fun, dang it. I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm, t I'm just spamming this one attack. Oh, mate, can't do nothing. Here I come. I should try some other attacks, but I, ca I can't be bothered. Sh Shrek is the guy. Look, hang on. Horrifying. And he looks like a potato. All of all of this artwork is horrifying. I'm not writing. I'm just not going to write that down. All right, one more. The dungeon. Yeah, Shrek's dungeon. Oh, exciting. What is that? Oh, it's the... Gingerbread man. He looked like a. I'm not. Um, he looked like a stripper for a little bit with like long stockings on or something. <laughs> I'm not lying. Shouldn't I be rescued? Oh wait, that's right. I'm Shrek. I actually hate these people. I grow to like them through just having to get along. I'm just using the Shrek attack and whoa! The gingerbread man is baking my biscuits big time. I haven't laid a hit on him. Whoa! He's like a boss. He's the guy. Oh man! I haven't even laid a hit on him. You get get him! Oh man, dude! Oh, yeah, come on! It's he's a biscuit. Get him! Oh! Why the question mark? We know who it is. All right, we're gonna have one more go, 
enough of that. I, I literally don't care. All right, game face on. You can't duck in this game. Get it, punch the boy, punch the biscuit. Oh, I've got him. Ah, oh, jeez, it's he's. Get him. Oh my God, gotta. Dingus, it didn't jump. I'm just using the attack. I know there's probably more attacks, but I really don't care. Oh, you can't duck. And he can throw from downtown, this guy. Ah! Oh. oh, he's... I... That. Oh, let me just put it back in. All right, resume. I put the games back in. Uh, all right, I... Um, well, we're gonna call it there. Uh, th thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. I'll see it. I did go. Hey, Dad. Yes, my son. I appreciate the headphones you bought me, especially since it's the only thing you've ever bought me. That is true. I even made you buy your own clothes after birth. I'm pretty keen on taking my listening experience to the next level. I've got dreams of hearing NSYNC like I've never heard before, but like, I need some big over ears, and these are like kind of in ears. Son, I spent a fortune on your only possession. $27? That's 27 trips through the Macca's dollar menu. That's a month's good eating right there. No offense, Dad, but like, you've never even bought me food, and like, I really mean that this is the only thing you've ever bought me. Like, I've had to forage for my own food in the backyard every night for 18 years now. Yes, me and your mum do enjoy watching you survive in the backyard. But okay, son, I suppose I can buy you just one more thing and then never hear you complain again. Oh, geez, thanks, Dad. I hate this family. Hmm, but these are still good, though. Surely there's still a way to use them. Like, real quick, these pack-in Apple headphones are like my ground floor. I mean, yeah, they aren't audio file quality, but for something you can literally just ball up into your jacket pocket and even shrug off a session through a washing machine and subsequent dryer cycle. You know, I give these a 7 out of 10 as an all-in package. For dirty buds, they sound alright. Why am I talking about these when this video is about the Zanu headphones? Well, if my incoherent intro didn't make any sense, and chances are it didn't, this illustration will. <laughs> That's right. These aren't headphones. These are dirty button beginners. Okay, here we go. This is real. All right, so what you do is you take off this plate. You, you get a vibe already? And you, you, you put your dirty butt in like this. This is real. Okay, number two. There we go. This is real. And now your in-ears are over-ears. Boing! They claim that they capture the base and send it back to you, yet somehow also say that that makes them more balanced. More base, balance, you know, potato, potato, straight to the hot biscuit, mate. How do they sound? Well, you know who we got to compare against. It's the Herder 600s by All Mates Any, and of course, the freakish ears on a stand. So it might seem unfair to be comparing, you know, audiophile headphones against... <sighs> I don't even have a name for you. But HD600s, I mean, they're like the standard. And it's just a really good reference point of what like good headphones sound like. And I know the hardcore audio files hate it when I bust these out, cause yes, of course, YouTube compresses the audio. You know, it's not a perfect representation. You don't get a vibe on how wide certain headphones feel. But mate, this is a YouTube vid and it's all just a bit of fun in it. Let's take a listen. Would you believe that it sounds kind of crummy? Literally like a tiny speaker sitting further away from you. <laughs> Only instead it's trapping all the bass and making a boomy. So they would bang on about that. They didn't lie. It does trap the bass. But cheap crappy audio stuff always goes for extra bass. I really tried to listen to a lot of stuff with it plugged in like this and then literally just taking them out and just using them like this was like, oh, that's better. <laughs> so much clearer. You know, I do have to say they didn't sound as bad as I thought they were gonna be. Or I really thought it was gonna sound like someone playing you a song down the telephone. But, you know, these are still a seven out of 10 to me. So it's, it, it, you know, it's using competent hardware, but just in the 
dumbest way. Just because I thought it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be doesn't mean it's good. I mean, it's like waking up after 10 rounds of Goon of Fortune and going, this hangover isn't tearing me into pieces at all. You know, it's still awful. But the thing is, they're selling this like it's magic. That the only thing about over ears is that they go over your ears. Not the fact that these have larger speakers slash drivers inside of them. Look, AKG K612s. These ear cups are humongous because it's got, it's got humongous speakers in them. Tiny! This doesn't fix that! Xanu sell these as cheap, I'm gonna say it again, cheap way to get amazing sound, and I've blown the amazing sound claim to absolutely the pieces, whoops. I mean, never mind, they make your dirty buds sound worse for money, but you don't have to tell me that these were made to be cheap. This plastic they've chosen to use is like melted down old bin bags. These hinges are so stiff that I didn't know they were hinges at first. <laughs> Feels like they're gonna snap. Look at the sprue bits. These little circles, that's from the manufacturing process. Normally that's taken away but these guys yeah they're squeezing every penny <laughs> look at this look how sharp unfinished piece of plastic cuts into the ear cup all right give that enough time that's gonna slice right on through both are the same it's like front and back I mean, yeah it's small potatoes obviously it doesn't affect how they sound mm. but I mean it just shows how cheap they're trying to go these discs are metal they've got magnets this is all like silicon on the inside but that's the only reasonable parts on here. You know, don't let these Bunnings thumb screws fool you. And the cost cutting is throughout. Let me show you the packaging. It is absolutely barren. <laughs> I'll get this manual out the way. We're gonna have a good chuckle at this. And yeah, it's just this. There you go. <laughs> that's it. I mean, that doesn't matter as long as they arrive safe, obviously. But this glossy A4 piece of paper they folded in half. Thank you! We are so grateful you have purchased our unique headphones. They're not headphones, they don't have drivers in them. It's our goal to provide everyone the opportunity to enjoy a true luxury headphone experience while using your very own earbuds. Warranty, wham, wham, wham. I mean, there's no working parts in it anyway. Xanu headphones are built for maximum audio quality using iPhone and Samsung because yes, when these first came out, Samsung just immediately made a knockoff of them. Even Microsoft's knocked it off. I went to do a video on these, but I, I just have no words. <laughs> Here's what you have to do to actually use these properly. You gotta go in to the EQ and max out every single slider. And that reason is because these have no volume at all when you pull them away like that. So basically to use them, you gotta have your device at max volume. Basically having every single frequency all the way up is just adding more volume. Oh, oh my duck. Oh yes, true luxury headphone experience. Oh yeah, all the top end headphones require you go into the EQ and max it out just so you can hear the damn things. Oh, and another fun small detail. The manual doesn't fit in the box unless you bend it slightly. Squeeze every penny. <laughs> Get how blurry the JPEG is. The, the company themselves couldn't be bothered to take another photo. Please keep away from children, keep away from everyone. But price, go, you know, harping on about how cheap. What is the price? Well, they are 40 Freedom Eagle dollars. So, you know, when you compare them to, say, regular headphones from, like, JV Hi-Fi or something, you know, yeah, sure, that seems cheap. But no, it isn't. And I have proof. The One Audio Studio 30s. So I'm actually testing these for another video, hopefully coming up soon. Now, these are really lightweight and plasticky, but dingus, they look like jewelry compared to these things. Yeah, you know, this is chromed plastic, which is technically a science marvel. It's amazing being able to get chrome onto plastic, but it's the mark of the beast, and the name of that beast is cheap. But there's no sprue bits hanging off anywhere. These inner bits are actually metal. These ear cups are now. Now we're talking, these are so average. And you know, from afar, they look good. Oh dear, oh my duck. Depending where you shop around, these are the same money as these. Yeah, and then check out the box. Look, that's not a blurry JPEG. Look, actual stats, because could you believe it? This can actually make noise on its own. Look, stuff. A big quality egg bag with an email address on it, standard cable, and, oh, a microphone to yell into. We gotta see how it compares. So this one time I was borrowing mum's Corolla and it like ran out of fuel, but it actually ran out of fuel at a petrol station, but like only at $20 and I was planning on buying 20 cans of Pepsi Max. But I figured, well, it's fuel for me. It could be fuel for both of us. So like, you know, I split it between us, put 10 cans in the tank and then uh, we had to throw the whole car away. So like this one time, like I was flying an airplane, which I don't know how to do, but it was fully sick. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna go show Kevo 
So like, I started flying really low because like, I wanted to try and give Kevo a high five and like never mind that even if the plane was landed, it still wouldn't be possible due to the height of the window. You didn't stop me from trying. Uh, knocked out Mum's Hills hoist uh, and crashed the plane. Yo, that's a good mic. One audio, you geniuses. Look, a competent manual with FAQs and specs and like troubleshooting, like, oh. But this cable here, this is the party trick of these guys. Look, you got the regular dingus end and the big dingus end. And on the bottom of these, you got both. So if you're plugging into like a musical keyboard or something, into the little, you got a big. You're plugging into your iPod shuffle, you put it in the big, you got a little. <laughs> I'm still testing these for sound wise and sort of thing to get all the nitty gritty details. But yo, oh man, they smash these. They smash them. And you don't have to put dirty buds in them. Same money. Another one. Again, I'm testing these for a future vid, but you've been harking out for them. Superlux HD 681s. Open back, so yeah, they let all the noise in, but that's how you get that wide sound. And these are genuinely amazing for the money. Actually, no, look at the rave reviews. They're just good full stop. <laughs> You know, I think these might be the new cheap contender against the Samson HD 850s. I really mean that. And these are cheaper than the Xanus. 32 bucks. Sonaworks Reference 4 Professional Audio Software actually has a preset for these so you can balance them out and use them for professional work. $32, are you kidding me? Here's the weirdest detail though, right? These are the heaviest by far. By far, and there's nothing in them. So these cost more to buy, but you still have to buy these. I mean, yes, they come with your iPhone or your iPad or whatever, but you still paid for them. You paid for everything in that box. The instruction manual, those Apple stickers, the illustration on the front to the printing. You paid for all of it. And mate, 29 bucks. And then converting to Aussie bucks, and then a little bit of shipping because I use Amazon, my whole total spend is $120. So that means they're the most expensive the heaviest, yet built the worst, and don't even have speakers in them. If your dirty buds die, these die with them. It's all your eggs in one suitcase, mate. And these are brand new ones, by the way, to make sure to give these the best chance possible. Oh, my puck cells. Get out of it, Kirkland. But it's fun. On the site, mate, they've got genuine testimonials. They gotta be true. I mean, never mind they're published under the lies that say that they optimize audio and make Apple earpods more balanced. I DJ for a living and have spent hundreds on high-end headphones. Name it. I have it! But these are amazing. They literally rival the sound quality of my expensive headphones. Jacob, these are so good. I bought two more for my dad and brother as Christmas gifts. Jenna, these exist to be made so unbelievably cheap that at 40 bucks a throw, they'd be rolling in profits. You know, there's sprue on everything. There's sharp edges cutting into their own ear pads. Lazy instructions, that barren box. And then like literally the biggest Corner you could cut when like thinking about designing headphones not even putting speakers in them <laughs> there's no more corners left to cut headphones like these prove just how cheap Zanu are going because for like the same money you get all the accessories and like actually good sound as like an internet of things person I technically love these as like this is the dumbest idea I've ever seen they're easily the worst headphones I've ever owned they don't even have drivers in them I, I don't even call them headphones they're just a chassis you know they said they're headphones so I'll roll with it it was fun buying a new set of ear pods just for this and in fact these can live in here forever meaning if I ever want to hear this hilarious sound again all I gotta do is pick them up and plug them in
But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here. Because one dollar a month, I do extra vids. I love time warps and time capsules. You know, that's why I got that stash of vintage nuggets waiting for their days in the sun, like a fine mayonnaise. You know, there are some products that just really nail a period. And mate, this is from 1988. Aussie is all get out, you know, because it's got a southern cross on it. This laser beam silhouette of a family. That's probably what they thought people looked like in the year 2000. But we're going to have a flick through this and see if there's anything funny in there. I haven't even looked yet. So thanks so much, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Okay, up, up here. Uh, up, up here. Okay, so uh, uh, I still, still going. Uh, up here. Uh, oh, um, uh, he he hello. Hey, Frank. How are you? I'm, I'm a bit Frank rude. Hey, it's the After Show. Thanks so much for supporting me, and I really mean that. You guys give me full control of this hot mess, and I really appreciate it. And now it's time to go to 1988. 148 pages of exciting electronic products. You know, actually, those speakers look bowler. I would happily use them today. Big screen TV here. And my favorite bit is, it's Aussie as well. Like, Aussie stuff is really hard to find. There's not that many of us, you know, so to get these catalogs, the fact that someone's been holding on to this this whole time. Oh, we're straight into it. Pocket size mate it's like big as a shoebox built-in speaker you know it'd sound good comes with an egg bag it probably runs on 10 oh it runs on four yes that's actually pretty good i mean it probably only runs for seconds but i think the way this works is the sun shines through the back onto a mirror you know tech moans had a look at these before honestly i want that universal remote today whoa it's got a screen in it this is a styled color tv look at this box that style oh i actually want that I love, I mean, realistic is the cheapest stuff, but look how good these speakers look. I love it when tweeters have these vents or whatever on it. 850 bucks for a VHS. Oh man, these are cool rigs today. These were never not cool. Now, all right, they're not cool. I mean, you know that they're just cheap, woofy sounding garbage. I am using my portable CD player. 430. It's not even a Sony. Like, that's that's for, like, the cheaper lad. When companies try and kind of push their cheaper products by giving them names that sound amazing, like, The Super Performer! My mum had one of these. It's genius. Oh, man. If you were buying CD cleaners in 88, like, you were... Ooh, you were up there. <laughs> like, this is still the glory days of cassettes. These are cheaper speakers, but, you know, they look cool. <laughs> oh, cool. Like, yeah, you can build your own speakers. Well, yeah, speaker box. I need to do that one day, actually. It'd be super fun. I mean, I know I've still got the Tui's docks from, like, Australia Day from a year ago. They're, they're here in the warehouse. I, I haven't forgotten. Or well, maybe I should put in an order from this catalogue. Oh my god, might they come with sound sticks? What does that mean? <laughs> Handheld sound sticks simulate your choice of eight rhythm presets from a crisp snare to a booming bass drum. Mm, but it works like crap. Oh, yeah. Cassette decks. I actually don't have a cassette deck at the moment. I want to actually go and get a boombox. I'll be talking to a friend about getting that. But you you know when I do it. <laughs> oh, man. that's the, Yeah, that's late 80s, early 90s. Everything's starting to get swoopy. 80s, 90s. It's mostly realistic stuff, I guess. Yeah, they... Hmm, it weren't really pushing the other brands or something. It's a shame, I want to see the prices of like the competing stuff. It's literally all realistic. That's all, that's all this is so far. Oh, real to real tape. Oh, it's like the most expensive hobby. That's top tier audio filing right there. I don't know if I'm ever brave enough. And oh, people would kill to be able to just pick up tape like this. <laughs> Pro solvent. Those coins are just suspicious. Oh, nah, mate, it's the good stuff. We can never bring out the good stuff for all, mate, here. Cassette housing? Was that something people did? Like, you needed that? Oh, we're in the headphones. Oh, they're all realistic as well. You know, the knockoffs of Cosses and Sonys and things. You know, it's funny, you see the really ancient headphones have, like, bass and treble sliders on, like, you know, you can adjust left and right. The reason is, go listen to, like, the Beatles or something, and you'll hear, like, the drums are in one side, the bass is on the other side, vocals are kind of in the... Like, you can just remove instruments. So, like, if you have too much bass in the left, like, yeah, you can balance it. It's completely useless in modern music. <laughs> Wireless headset and transmitter. I want this. Look at old mate enjoying it. He, that looks like a canvas painting. That looks like infrared. I, I want nothing delivered over infrared. And that's the most depressing thing I've ever seen. Like a single earplug looking thing. <laughs> so you can do wedding gigs and things. Holy dingus. Realistic made a lot of stuff. This is all realistic stuff. <laughs> realistic highball. Yeah, that looks like a knockoff of a Shure SM58. I want that cassette deck in my Mercedes. 
I'll pay a hundred bucks. Just tell me where to get it, right? I want, it, it better be new. CD cassette adapter. Yeah. Just like the one that came with my iPod accessories. <laughs> yeah. It, useful. Car speakers. Junk. I've still got one that looks just like this. I hope I bump into it. Holy 80s. Look at this. Oh, that is sick. <laughs> Wait, that dude is reeking of self-awareness of they're taking my photo while wearing this and they're gonna print it in their catalogs and give it to everyone. <laughs> You're looking amazing, mate. Oh, you know, it's Disney. It has to have Mickey Mouse on it. That's the rules. That's just how it is. Desktop scanners. Oh. Oh, this is for really keen radio people. MS-DOS. Do, 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 do. Hated MS-DOS. Suz. Oh, the beige. Everything here is beige. In it comes. They're like... They're Walkie talkies for grown ups. Phone style. Oh no. Uh, oh, okay. Phew. I thought we were done there. Sure. I want one of these phones today. Like that handsome brew. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> Boo. The chunk. All these phones are cool. I love that mint green one. Ooh, there's a hair in here from the 80s. Phone flasher. So when you get a call, it makes a light for people with hearing disabilities. That's pretty neat. Oh my gosh, look at these answering machines. It's like half a tree removed just to tell your neighbors that oh, I'm not here. Call again, mate. You better call me again. I don't ad lib well. Why can't I hook one of these up to my iPhone and literally use this for messages? That's what I want. Love anything with dials like an old TV. Those infrared detectors have never changed. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Rooftop trash collectors. Video processor. Oh, it's for like copying tapes or something. So you can bootleg Shrek. I mean, well, that didn't come out for a while. Ah, oh, these joysticks suck. Yeah, they're terrible, those bootleggy ones. These, all of these are still being sold exactly the same. Oh, my biggest fans. Really little componenty stuff, which is always fun. Yeah, like chips and things. Speech recognition ICs. Man, this was in the 80s. Stop looking at my knob. Copper foil tape and like aluminium tape is really good for like hobby stuff if you need to get something shiny and metal looking. I watch too much Adam Savage. <laughs> oh, kids lab kits. These actually still look fun. Build and listen to your own radio. That looks cool and I actually kind of want it. Oh, I need to get a metal detector. She's out in the water. Gone. Nah, there's nothing but water, Eddie. Oh, LCD games, these suck. I want a $330 chessboard and like actually adjusted for inflation. That's a really expensive chessboard. <laughs> Celebrity Mike. LCD fire away. That's right, fire it away straight into the bin. Ah, oh, ah, oh, wow, the skateboard fun. That, oh no. That's the look of a man having too much fun. I need to get a nitro car again. Remote control cars, they're such boys toys, but so much for all the batteries. Oh, my inner cells. Yo, I've got that exact clock. <laughs> <laughs> it's like basically the one. And Casio's still making these. They've never taken them away. Wow, electronic compass for cars. Oh, that computer. <laughs> All right, I'll pay that for that. Yes, please. Yeah, give me that whole setup for 440. I've been meaning to get into stuff like this because I am a big LGR fan and I want this ultra convenient computer workstation. Look how convenient it is. Oh, my book self. Oh, the whole mob's been shifted. Ah, uh, yes, these computers. Ugh, oh, wouldn't you love to do work on that? Ugh, oh, that computer. I mean, that's what laptops look like. You're, you're $3,000! Now it's for a cheap one! Whoa, 768k of RAM. Not even a megabyte. I love how that one's turning yellow already. Hard disk storage! Ha <laughs> Go! 20 megabyte external hard disk drive with $1,500! Oh, jeez! Oh, wow. And to finish with, like, their big flagship of $5,000! Oh, man, you can still option it upwards. I mean, holy dingus. Ooh, MS DOS 3.3. <laughs> and you don't even get a monitor. Yeah, that's just for this beige box. Like, wow. And I love these terminals. I mean, my library was full of these. And wow. And we reached the end of the story, and my puck cell. <laughs> There you go. Amazing. Man, what a time capsule. I was hoping there'd be more brands in there and stuff, but I mean, those hard drives just totally won it for me. Those prices, I mean, bargains. So thanks so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it, mate. I'll see you all next time. Merchandise. It's a weird genre, isn't it? Because it can literally have nothing to do with what the company's all about. I mean, Crayola, mate. First thing that comes to my mind is AM, FM, radio. Oh, check out these features. Foam padded headdress. Oh, I've got to sit down, mate. Oh, no, it requires to... Ah! Not supplied. Thanks, boys. Like, it actually looks 
pretty awesome, to be honest. <laughs> but the thing is, you know, if you strip away all the Crayola fun looking whatevers, what you actually are left with is just landfill. This stuff is crap. That's where the hearts go. It's it's pretty rough. <laughs> Wait a minute, mate. Don't tell me big companies just put their names on junk and then put a marked up price on it purely for profit. Ugh. Goodbye, dog. No, I mean, I think we can agree. Like, Hello Kitty is just a humongous brand. It is so recognizable, right? And the money they're just rolling in. Same as Lego, Nerf, right? And uh, you know what they all have in common? They all ship these crappy headphones. Mark of the beast right here. Every one of these dang things has had these exact headphones, which are a knockoff of Sennheiser MX500s, it turns out. And I already know this is going to be terrible because I can't even get the packaging right. It's a digital MP3 player. We could have worked at that because even the player itself says digital music player and it's got with three tes actor l's into look at this tiny lettering here I flat out, I don't even want to read it, even if it didn't have a crappy case blocking it. Oh, I'm sorry, Hello Kitty. Are you not rolling in enough money to actually, like, look at the product before you send it to see if it's even worth displaying? I know these little circles are meant to be their noses, but I just see, like, the little shocked-looking emoji kind of thing. And that basically, this guy's looking, like, shocked and distressed, and it's just raining sadness. Like, again, that doesn't look like a nose to me. It looks like it's exclaiming after being smashed on the head and falling out of the sky. Lecture MP3 numerique. Four gigabytes stores up to 64 hours of music if you're lucky. Four cup Wait. What? They've got all the features lined up one after the other, like it's got heaps, but it's just hopping the two languages. USB mass storage, just store and copy data files, amazing. So okay, yeah, that's what it's doing. System requirements, Windows 98, 2000 XP, uh, uh, Vista, and so, all right, now we're not hopping between languages. Now we're trying to smash them into the same one every time. Well, at least both languages have the same name for the battery, which is, ah, what a friggin' mess! On the same side, it's got continuity problems in terms of how it handles both languages. Why not just get more? languages in there. Bonjour, chaton. I don't speak any other languages, guys. I'm Australian. I don't even speak English properly. Literally, all I do is go into Google Translate, write something in, and then pick a language, and then run with it. Ah, that's wunderbar. Gleich Gertiger fish. Why are you putting includes in the thing? Like, we know that because you said package content. This is like a high school project. It includes earphones. Oh, can't wait to blow them up. Instruction manual. And there's a warranty in here somewhere. Oh, and look at this. And now finally, they separate the two languages like, like it should be. Oh, well, at least I got it at the end. Yep, this is genuine. Hello Kitty. Like, this is real. Seikar actually made the device. 2012. Yuck. So, just a guess. I got a feeling when I take this case off, it's gonna look like a giant Tic Tac. That's just my guess. And my famous Toledo scissors are gone, so we have to use these little dinguses. Oh boy, that packaging everyone hates. And scissors I hate almost more. Come on, you idiot. It's, it's just cat packaging. Ow, 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 ow. Come on, hit it. Oh, I miss my Toledos. Stupid junk. Look, they're hopping out. They can't wait to ruin my day. Oh, I found instructions. We'll get to the nugget in a second. Head, behonies. Typical mini USB cable. I've felt headphones like this so many times now. They just weigh nothing. They take me by surprise. Oh, I'm so glad it's got mid number 1331212 on it. Oh, I just wouldn't be the person I am if I didn't know that. Oh, well, at least I offered two different manuals for each language. I mean, that's kind of kind. Why does that one get a bigger JPEG than this one? What are you better than us, mate? Bonjour. Ah, uh, when you're coming up with something adorable and fun for kids, mate, you gotta have a really catchy name. And these guys nailed it. It's the 50,009 Digital Music Player. Oh, God. I bet you there's gonna be songs about this. It's just so catchy. Introduction. Thank you for purchasing the 50,009 Digital Music Player. You can see the font's slightly different, the way they've, like, copied and pasted the number in there because they've probably just got the same manual for every piece of crap they make. Oh, wow, I can play MP3, so high tech. Wow. These screenshots are genuinely like someone taking a photo and then, like, scanning it into a PC. Getting the vibe, guys, and it's just a vibe that this might be a very, very cheap product. Strasvutier. It is privileged to introduce to your face Privet Kirtunik. Oh, what an honor. I get to peel off this hideous screen protector. Ugh. Oh, no, 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 that's it. Ugh. Oh, I'll take it back. Now it looks really high quality. It weighs nearly nothing. Somehow manages to be scuffed and dirty while also being brand new. Oh, mid number 1331212. Ah, again, I wouldn't be the person I am without knowing that. All right, you ready for the Tic Tac? Here it comes. Tic Tac. It's a Tic Tac. It's a Tic Tac. Look how the controls jut out a little bit. Ew. Ew. Oh man, that's hanging on by a thread. Oh, 
Good! It's got a microphone to yell into, alright? We'll yell into that later. If it even turns on. First, I have to accessorize it to fit my personality style. Do I want the Hello Kitty one? Or the Hello Kitty one? Or the indifferent fish one? I'm feeling indifferent fish. So we put it on careful. Hey! Oh, get in there. Oh, this is built lovely. Oh, it's turned right on! Welcome, hello! What, is half the screen broken? No! It's got the two-tone looking thing, like the... Ah, oh, they're, they're just using the same guts as basically all of these. <laughs> Hello Kitty, like you don't have two bucks to design your own thing. Music, record, voice, text, oh, setting. Just one setting. If there's more than one setting in here, I'm gonna be mad. Whoa, that is the smallest thing I've seen on a screen. <laughs> It thinks it's the year 2000. Language. <laughs> now we're talking, this is what this thing's all about. Uh, let's just leave it on English for now. <laughs> Online mode, mate. Let's play some Fortnite. Multi-drive, normal only. Uh, normal's fine. Uh-oh, it's stuck. Exit, yes. Exit. Exit. <sighs> wow. It's- Can you believe it's not that responsive? It's almost like it's a piece of crap or something. Alright, we gotta plug this in and put Scarlet Fire on it. Come on. There. Oh, it appears on the computer as no name. Oh, how personalized. Like, they couldn't be bothered naming it Hello Kitty or something. Biggest companies make the worst crap, guys. Power on. Oh. Bluetooth mode. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a while, darling. Auxiliary mode. Oh, that's just stuff. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> Did plugging into a computer kill it? I mean, these book cells are pretty old. Okay, music. There's one song on it, that's it. Okay, play. Hey! Wow, it's like an MP3 player or something. Bluetooth mode. Shut up. Get off, crap. Get off, get off. Get Ah, wow, that was easy. You betcha my curiosity's peaking. I gotta see what's in this nugget. Oh yeah, bits falling out already. Oh man, I gotta take my ah! back. Back with the boys. Oh, there you go. It's pretty low buck. Not a lot going on in here. And I've just realized I haven't yelled into the microphone yet, and I do this every time. Which one was it? It was this one, wasn't it? Alright, Hello Kitty, just pretend I hadn't done anything to you yet, mate. Can you just... Just play ball here, yeah? so I can record something. Okay, I right, gotta hold it careful. The only way to use it is to pinch it like this and hope it stays on. So like this one time, I got this new cat and it was fully sick. But like, problem was he kept biting people, and it was only a big deal because like he was doing some big damage, mate. Like people losing hands and things. I'm like, oh, this is some kind of crazy cat, eh? I better take it to the vet and find out what superpower he's got. And like, it turns out it's it's a crocodile. And like, I, I probably figured as much when like he eats a whole chicken like every like two days or something like that. Oh, he was just a hungry boy, mate. Two two days no cat. Wow, the microphone sounds really cheap, like you'd expect. Get out. All right, this time I mean it, you can go back with your boys now. I'm not putting the screws back in because, yeah, it won't need screws where it's going. But before that, mate, we got some headphones to smell. You betcha I got the Corb Mojo ready. It's a portable audio file amplifier for big, stinky headphones, and it just, it's so loud. I always love seeing if we could pop them. Come on. Oh, they're so quiet. Ah, they're so quiet. They, they're just so crummy that they basically have no output volume. Well, this is the perfect time to test something. Hmm. Uh, the company iFi reached out to me and said that if I'm enjoying the mojo, that they got something that has way more output power than this. That's literally how they sold it to me. Not the fact that it's a great amp and DAC and all that sort of thing. The fact that it would be a better job at stressing out headphones than the Mojo. Bit of context. Like a MacBook Air's headphone jack, that outputs about 50 milliwatts at 32 ohms. This guy outputs 500 milliwatts at 32 ohms. That's like 
Yeah, 10 MacBook Airs. That's the least powerful sounding thing I've ever heard, actually. But hey, if you've heard full volume out of a MacBook and like it hurt your ears, this is 10 of those. Well, when IDSD told me the specs of this thing, I had to get it. So I bought this for myself. This is the IDSD Diablo. And out of that big stinky hole right there, it has 2,400 milliwatts. I don't even want to tell you how many MacBook Airs that is. It's got a battery too. All right, this is when you know you're thinning out the soup a little bit too much. <laughs> I, I haven't tried this yet. I have not tried this yet. Boo! Boo! Oh, they smell awful. Huh, weird. The mojo sounds louder. They're so lousy that they just can't play loud. Even with big amplifiers, they just can't do it. Look, it's these Behringers from last year's, like, crappy headphone cheap whatever video. And, and it's had a bit of a rough time. But I, I want to see what this does. I swear the mojo's way louder than this. Now I've made sure to wind this all the way out. And off camera, I, I know out of the balance output it's meant to have even more, and I've got an adapter to plug stuff into it, but then it's even quieter. And yes, I've got it on turbo mode. So, hmm, I'm probably doing something wrong. I'm sure that this should be like four times stinkier than this. But oh well. Well, what an absolute pile of poop this thing is, hey. And uh, you know, usually I give this the old one grit, but this guy's like a bigger celebrity than me now, and it's kind of like, you know, I don't want to break it in half. And I realize I'm here in the warehouse now, which means I can have a little bit more fun. Look, a pitching wedge. You catching on? I mean, it kind of looks like a golf ball. Mmm. And anyone out there going, oh, but it's a collectible, it's Hello Kitty, it's like, well, that's what they want you to think. This thing is terrible. It's awful. It's bootleg crap. If I just had this, it'd just be called a bootleg iPod whatever. Nothing redeemable about this thing at all, and I can't wait to send it to its maker. But before I do that, I just want to say thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, because, mate, $1 a month, I do extra vids. Don't worry, I'm going to give this the old pitch and wedge in a second. But in the after show, mate, we're going to open up another nugget. Oh, the My Memorex. Oh. It's so sad. Memrex used to be like a humongous name in like audio and whatever. And um, yeah, can you believe no one bought this? This is brand new. But yeah, we're going to open this and have a laugh at it and yell at it a whole bunch. But anyways, thanks so much for watching it, mate. I'll see you next time. It's like a real game of golf this, mate. All right. Six. I just reviewed the slow-mo footage and it absolutely sucked. I'm so sorry. But I mean, it blew the screen right off of it. <laughs> uh, oh, this channel's terrible. I'm so sorry. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, come on, Frank. Give us a yawn. You're teasing me. Don't ignore me. Don't turn around and then yawn. That's what you're going to do, isn't it? Hey. I'm watching you. All right, see you, Frank. Rude. Rude. Hey, it's the after show. Thanks so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. You guys are making this so much fun for me where I can do videos on crap that no one cares about. And this video is no different because it's the My Memorex. I mean, it's like the My Musics from that sad nugget roundup ages ago. It's so sad. It's like this, oh, we need to make it sound soft and like friendly. So it's my whatever, my corporate brand. Memorex used to be like a giant and now they're like turning out crap like this. And this is from ages ago. And um, I don't think they bothered to put a date on it. No, my favorite thing about it is they just have no idea what kind of marketing they want it for. It's like, oh, you know, soft colors because we're trying to be a little bit soft and kinder. But uh, let's go ahead and put skulls in it. Like, yeah, there's just skeletons and whipping vines or something. MP3 player, clip me on and hear me out. Whoa, catchy. Oh man, can you believe no one bought this? Stores and plays digital music. Amazing. Includes headphones. Oh. Can't wait to blow them up. This bottom section's really heavy, by the way. It seems like there's a lot of 
junk in it. Oh my god, the features. In other words, you know, things worth talking about about it. LCD with blue backlight? That's not like any other nugget I've checked out before. Clip and go. Oh, it's got a battery low indicator. Oh, we are truly in the high end of audiophile products now. Requires a USB connection. Right, Memorex, you're getting greedy here. Especially the sensor requires a... And not included. Well, it's that packaging we all hate. I mean, love. I hate... I hate these scissors. Ow. 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 Ah. Oh, I long for my Toledo's again. Ah. Yep, my thumb is stuck. Get, get off. Ah. I hate you. Just have to use my man hands. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the poor nugget. We'll look at it in a bit. This is the consequence of man hands. I mean, many people fall victim to man hands. Oh, wow. This part's chonker. It's got something in it. Oh, it's, it's a really nice looking manual. I like this blue. Oh, carry your tunes. Oh, endearing nugget. How we hate you. Precautions. Don't buy it. <laughs> Dear customer, selecting fine audio equipment such as the unit you've just purchased, not listed by name, is only the start of your musical enjoyment. Now it's the time to consider how much you can maximise the fun and excitement your equipment offers. One that lets the sound come through loud and clear without annoying, blaring or distortion. Yeah, in other words, don't use the headphones that this thing came with. In fact, where are they? They look a little bit different. Ooh, it's in a dog poo bag which includes another dog poo bag. Oh, it's for the felt junk. Ooh, quality. I, I don't need another mini USB cable. USB jack. USB cable part number 46219100 asterisk. Oh, I'm so glad I know that. It's a consumer replaceable part. See page 29, you betcha I will. I need to contact Fox International. No thanks. There's nothing wrong with the manual actually. It's all you know, very clear and legible. It's got all the control dudes that you could give a damn about if you give a damn which i don't emation that's actually like a proper brand is that like who put the guts in it or something look at this huge page this is longer than a4 oh boy more languages i'm sorry like who is this now is it my memorex was it emation or like look, i'm seeing more emation there's so many people's hands all over this thing why are these different sized pieces of paper this is A4. What the heck is this? All this fuss for what? This nugget? So, mate, to sell this device, we need, like, the perfect song to be listed on it so people look at it and go, oh, I really want it. Why not just put perfect song on it? I like the way you think, Trevor. Might actually start paying you for coming to work now. Oh, it's got the screen protector. Uh, perfect song. Perfect puck cell. Oh, my puck cell. <laughs> Made in China, you don't say. Oh, phew. There's the menu button. Okay. Hey, that's actually a really nice um, battery door. It's hinged and everything. This is where you put your screens. You know, it's not as lightweight and flimsy as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, it's not like nice, but it's actually okay. It's actually built better than the Hello Kitty thing. How do we turn it on? Oh, I got it. Oh, it actually says Memorex on it. I, the standard is so low here that I'm pretty dazzled by anything at this point. Oh, she loads quick. Oh, there we go. File system error. Yeah, well, your mum. All right, we're gonna put Scarlet Fire on it, so just sit tight while I do that. What, are you dead now? Oh, no, we're back. You right, mate? It's, am, am I like pushing, pushing the boundaries here? Just by plugging in? Like, is there anything you want me to do? Hmm. Well, while you're having a think, I'm gonna have a listen to your headphones. They look slightly different, and they're not insanely lightweight. So before I just blow them up, I actually should have a quick listen to them. Got to make sure I turn the volume down so I don't destroy myself. Yeah, they're just typical dry sounding headphones. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Time to stretch them out. Wow, they basically survived the whole track of Scarlet Fire. I edit bits out. I mean, trust me, I, I was really cranking them for a long time. They are warm and they, they smell like soap. Strange. This isn't good though. This isn't doing the do it's meant to do. What's wrong with you? Am I asking too much? Oh, maybe it's a bad book cell. These are old. Um, uh, that, that one. When I point at you, it means turn on. That's your cue. All right, let's try it again. Yeah. yeah. Oh no.
don't tell me this thing's a piece of crap and doesn't work properly. You, you kidding me? Does it turn on at all? What the heck? What? The, are you kidding me? Uh, I'm busting out a brand new Jura smell. It's the smell that lasts. All right, so we gotta, we gotta rule out the puck cells because these are literally from like 10 years ago. Holy dingus. All right, brand new Dura smell. Let's go. Wow. The only thing I saw it say was like disc format error. All right. It's, it's gone, mate. She's gone. We saw it boot up once and then that's it. Well, I'm feeling old school. Oh, my book sells. Give it, give it back. Give, give it back. Yeah, no screws. Just held in with crap. What a pile of garbage. Look, it's a piece of the Samsung beans. Let's put that back with the duck and the Raycon. Wow, what a pile of poop, am I right? Yep, it's like the biggest companies make the worst junk or something. Thanks so much for watching and supporting. I really do appreciate it, mate. I'll see you all next week for more stuff. Hopefully better than... I'll, I'll see you next... Bone conduction. You got bones? You can use these. Well, if you're an insect though, that means you can't because you don't have bones. This is the bone zone. Bones only. But genuine, this was a pretty exciting episode for me. As a headphone enthusiast, I try brand new technology and I'm going to look at these in two ways. As a music lover and as a filthy cyclist. I ride one of those electric assist freaks, which I adore by the way because it's hated by cars and cyclists alike. I have no allies. And to kick this whole thing off, mate, we got these. The Aftershock. Aeropex. I paid about 160 Freedom Eagle dollars. So these are the main daddies in the bone zone and with my headphone enthusiast hat on, how do they sound? Thin. Sub bass? Not there. <laughs> A song I like to test big sub bass with is the droid invasion from the Star Wars prequels. Yes, I prequel meme. Do it. At the beginning, it's all orchestral bass drums, which gets so low until <laughs> it's, it's amazing. And you can hear the texture of the beater on the drum, so it's really fun with crazy headphones on. But through these, like, you just hear this paper thin. All right, no sub bass at all. But that's fine. Expectation is the gateway to disappointment after all. And look, I knew since these are using the bones on my face, there would be some concessions. They sounded exactly like I expected. But there's one thing I didn't expect and it's where I swore I had my expectations checked at the door. I even asked friends and folks who work at my favorite establishments. I thought it'd be a little bit magic. There's no noise at all until they touch my face and then suddenly music. Where no one can hear what's playing because you it's bone conduction. We don't share bones, so how could we share the music? These bleed like open backs. And if you don't know what bleed is, it's when you know, someone's listening to music and you can hear it too. That's bleed. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that. If I was using these on one side of the couch, the person on the other side could easily tap along with me. Maybe it's me that I expected magic and it's my fault, like not the headphones, but like friends of mine hope for the same thing. But yeah, it's bone conduction. We don't share bones, why can I hear it? They also pulse with heavier music. It's kind of fun at first, but after a while, you know, I thought it got a little bit annoying. Ooh, speaking of annoying, perfect segue, cyclists. I've seen these for sale in bike stores and many cyclist friends either have or want these. And hey, out on the road, it doesn't matter anyway if they bleed all the noise out. So when I'm riding my fake bike, I like to be able to hear what's around me since it's genuinely super dangerous, even speaking as a motorcyclist. I I'm being serious, I've never sat on a motorbike before and gone, oh, so much safer until the day I started cycling. Out on the road and basically everywhere else, you know, the music's pretty weak through these, but podcasts, okay, that's a different story. You know, sunglasses fit on top perfectly. Oh, mate, I shouldn't have said the sunglasses were, mate, that could only mean one thing, oh, dang it. We have to bring back another competitor in the freak audio category, mate, it's the Bose sunglasses. Oh, what an epic battle this is gonna be. Your mum, your dad, oh. So ignoring their gimmicks, which is the better sound, mate? It's the glasses, hands down. There's actually some soundstage, that wide 3D, it's coming from around you sort of thing. These guys actually have none. It's just flat. And honestly, they both bleed about the same noise. Even though these are just conventional speakers. There's the grills and these being 
bone zone. But thing is, uh, these are sunglasses, so you can't socially acceptingly wear them inside. People still choose to. And you bet your dingo's baby I tried wearing both at the same time. I had Pirates of the Caribbean on mute on the telly. Herbie Hancock thought it was you through the glasses and some dark last podcast on the left episode playing through the bone zone. It all worked perfectly. It was so much content at once. I swore I was about to OD on content. But sound quality wise, again, I prefer the glasses. But then these have the advantage of that you can literally leave them on all day with no social consequences. Unless they are bleeding out so loud that they're annoying people in quiet rooms, legit. If you're a cyclist looking for some fun tech to listen to stuff with while you're out and about, Bose's sport model of these are meant to sound even better. Put some prescription lenses in it and if you're able to get ones that change shade so at night they're clear, that would literally be the ultimate riding accessory because like it's just nice to have shielding for your eyes anyway because you know using these on a ride what I actually found was the wind noise against my ear because you know you're doing 35 k's an hour in an open face helmet down the road. The wind noise drown these out they're not very loud. But these aren't the only Bone Zone competitors, get Eddie. So at 140 Freedom Eagles, the Nyanka Runner Pros. Neat feature is you can actually store music on the device itself like an MP3 player, which is handy if you find yourself in situations with bad phone signal. And they got better water protection than these. <laughs> uh, but honestly, these had the weakest sound. Yeah, I, I really wasn't thrilled. Like, you know, and it's only 20 bucks less than these while being quite a bit chunkier. So, uh, hard sell. But I got one more pet too. And these are under 50 George Washies. They're only known as the Z8. Genuine, I don't know what the brand is. It's Model Z8. That's it. These are the chunkiest. But they are the cheapest. I mean, if you look at the aftershocks, you get a like the chunk value here. This is at least two extra chunks than this. So yes, way cheaper. And uh, yeah, you can really feel it. Uh, it just uses a standard mini USB. No, sorry, micro USB. <laughs> oh man, I handle too many nuggets. Um, these have got some sort of magnetic clip-on ones, which I'm not really nuts about because, yeah, you know, they're still kind of fiddly. And proprietary, whereas, you know, I'm sure we all have three billion of these in, like, drawers somewhere. But out of the three, sound was not bad. I put them in comfortable second place. Very quiet though, and honestly with the most bleed. <laughs> That's a bad ratio. But I, but I mean, they are really cheap. And now that I've got all three on the table, I can quickly test their microphones, because of course they have microphones. So this one time, I was listening to music through my bones, and it was like pretty far out, but it turns out I was having an out of body experience from eating all the bicarb soda in the back of the fridge, and like what I was actually hearing was the waiting music at the hospital. So like this one time, I tried to listen to music in my bones again, but this time I just pointed speakers at my legs and just figured the music would work its way up to my ears somehow. And like, it wasn't working, so I just kept turning it up until like the entire town was complaining about the noise. So like the police were called, but like I couldn't hear them because like, you know, destroyed my hearing trying to listen to music through my legs. So like, I'm at the police station, I'm playing music at 300 decibels at 4 in the morning, trying to listen to music through my legs, and like they're asking heaps of questions, and like, I slip, I don't care. Well, I just want a cup of tea, hey? And so, like, every answer I give them is just, give me a cup of tea. But it doesn't matter, because, like, you know, I don't know what they're asking, that because, like, you know, I lost my hearing trying to play music through my legs. Well, the Z8 might be the cheapest by far, with not bad sound, but that mic absolutely stinks. It's quiet, and it buzzes the whole time. <laughs> uh, the Nyankas, that, that was super average too, just really quiet and just kind of fades out a bit. And the Aftershocks being the clear winner. I mean, you know, not outstanding, it wasn't bad. But yeah, way better than the others. And you know, pretty impressive really, considering the microphone's basically behind your mouth. So yeah, it can only be so good. So like, out of the three, the Aftershocks were the best. Funny that, they were the most expensive. But they are the lightest and smallest. And they got the best sound on the best mic. Z8s, yeah, you know, they're not bad for the money. That's the thing, like, you know, for like under 50 bucks, maybe a fun introduction to the genre of these if you're interested. I mean, you know, they all share the same downsides of, you know, bleeding out and not being very loud with no sub bass at all. But $50 podcast machine, hmm. Uh, but, you know, almost being the same price as these, but also having, you know, I just wasn't impressed at all. You know, so, yeah, unfortunately, stuck in the middle, eh? But at the end of it, none of these are really for me at all. I just prefer isolation when it comes to listening on the go. Otherwise, I listen to nothing. But, you know, that's just me. There are folks out who love these, and maybe their headphones are higher quality than my headphones. If you are interested in any of these, please be sure to check out other reviews, as I'm just one opinion. But I was really disappointed about the bleed. I really wanted them to be silent, 
and then you just put them on. Now, all of these actually came with earplugs, just foam ones, and that really kicks up the guts of the music. You know, you get a lot more bass, almost to the point where it's woofy sounding. But if you're going to be blocking your ears, you know, just get some AirPod Pros or, you know, Galaxy Buds or something. But with earplugs in, then you get the magic of silence and then music. And I, I just wish it would do that without earplugs. <laughs> would have been a fun gadget to keep in the house if I just wanted to have, you know, low-key stuff playing that no one else can listen to. I don't know, that's fun. But if I'm out and about and I want to wear some freak headphones, I'm going to stick to the Bose sunglasses. Because under a motorbike helmet, mate, these are actually really good. Because the helmet catches the sound and it's just great. So all hail the Bose sunglasses. The winner of this low-tier audio race because even $20 Sony's sound better than these two. <laughs> but wearable tech's fun. No one needs any of this stuff. It's definitely enthusiast level equipment. It's all just good fun. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks for my patrons, especially these names right here, mate. Because $1 a month, I direct to vids. I looked at my patron discography. It's like over 50 vids now. You're allowed to donate $1, binge it all, and then leave. I don't mind. And I realize I haven't done one of these in a while. We're doing a nugget luck dunk. Yeah. We pull three of these out of here, see if they even work and if they've got music on them. And it's always from the thousands. Mmm, should be fun. So, thanks so much, and mate. I'll see you all next time. Has ruined the couch. Oh, that was the face of the couch ruiner. Where, there she is. Couch ruiner Frank. Come in for an interview, Frank. Where is she? Uh-oh. I see you. What are you going to do about it? You've been caught red-handed. You can't turn and run. Face your consequences, Frank. Face them! Hey, it's the After Show. Thanks so much for supporting me. I really appreciate you guys keep this thing all under my control, which is why it's the hot mess it is today. Shut up! Where are the nuggets? Put on your best pair of thongs, mate, because we're doing the nugget lucky dip. It's gonna be good. You know the rules by now, mate. We pick out three of these. Well, hopefully three working ones. If there's some mulligans in here, mate, we'll pull out another one. And we see if it's got stuff on it. Sh sh shut up, here we go. <laughs> oh, I love doing this. If only it wasn't so annoying to edit because I gotta screen cap another computer and match it all up. All right, I got one. <laughs> oh! Ew! Ew! What's that in the inside of it? Ew! It's like a poo! Oh, this is a sad one, guys. This is brand stinking you, and it wound up in the nugget bag, which is literally just bulk lots off eBay. I don't even look at them. I just pour them into the bag for their special day in the sun, like a fine mayonnaise. And uh, here we go. Oh, I really should be wearing gloves. Oh! Ew! Oh, it's stuck in there. Oh no! Oh, oh. That's how long it's been since the last nugget lucky dip. I've forgotten that. I, I really do need to glove up, man. These are biohazards. Uh, oh, it's it's lovely. Hmm, uh, exciting. Right. Uh, oh gosh, it's got a screen protector on it. It can stay there. Uh, all right. Which one? Uh, it's got to be the jura smell. Ah! Oh, release me! Uh, this thing's brand new, but I've had brand new iPods not turn on, and that's a test for this guy. Will it even boot up? Oh, I saw something. On! Yeah! Wow, this thing's now technically better than a brand new iPod shuffle. No name. What is this? Exciting? <laughs> Happy? What special treasures is exciting? We're just gonna smash this right out of the iMac here. Let's go! This is copyrighted, isn't it? This is copyrighted. What? What the heck? What the heck? And happy WMA, eh? Happy. This is copyrighted, isn't it? it has to be. There you go, we don't even have to put Scarlet Fire it. It's got exciting and happy on it from 04. How big is this nugget? Oh, 128 megabytes. <laughs> In 04? What? That's such a nugget! That is terrible! Get out! Not a bad start to this nugget dip. That's not bad. Or on my next nugget. Oh baby, I'm gonna find me a nugget today. My baby. All right, I got one. Wah! Wow! Look at this Pikachu yellow. I really like this yellow. I don't like how filthy it is. Ugh. What is this? It's like police barcode or something? Ooh, wow. Micro USB. How vogue and up to date. Yeah. It's just like a weird bootleggy nano looking thing. Molly? Alright, stand back everyone. Um, and the nugget. Here we go. I, I said, here we go. Oh, the play button's gone crooked. 
Oh, my duck. Um, all right. That's a sad boy. Well, I'll never forget all the precious memories together. Oh, wow. Oh, it's made of nothing. <laughs> that was no effort at all. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, not good. All right, maybe we'll forget that one happened, and we'll just so uh, we'll just. I got another one. Oh, a creative! This is a top tier nugget. This is like a genuine guy. Two fifty six megs. Yep, I remember when mates had these at school, and yeah, these are legit, really good. Yeah, heaps of people had these. You know, in the flash drive craze, when having a flash drive was amazing, jumping out of floppy drives. Oh man, two fifty six, not bad storage. Ooh, it's got one in there. Oh, actually, no. Ugh, it's got one in there. Well, let's see what it does. I figured that. No corrosion. That's lucky. Uh-oh, where's my Jura smell? Oh, it's in the poo. Get it out. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, baby. It's got stuff on. It's got voices on there. Uh-oh. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Morning. Ooh, R18. R18. Oh, I missed. Auxiliary mode. Dirty. It's actually playing as we speak. It's falling apart as we speak. Oh dear. Huh? Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. It's. I think it's. I think it's someone's rehearsal or something. How do I skip forward? How do, how do, <laughs> that's fun. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining, it is the night. Wow, that's fun. All right, I need to plug this in. I need to actually have a genuine smell. No name again. Yep, there it is. Back, voice. Yep, that's what we were listening to. Oh, it's Oh Holy Night, just the backing track. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's super midi. 2007. Wow, 07, that's fun. What a super nugget. All right, next one. Give it, give it. All right, one last dunk, one last dunk. Here we go, mate. Oh, what's that one? No, I want a, uh, I want a better one than that. That'll do. Uh. <laughs> we will. Wee woo, wee woo. Obscure SpongeBob reference. Ooh, the wee woo. Ah, again with its prison barcode. Oh, micro USB, very good. 16 gigs, not bad. All right, stand back, here we go. I can see a backlight. Yeah, come on, baby. Come Come on. What? Oh, my sweet boy. And what happens if I unplug it? It stays on for a little bit. Oh, there it goes. Huh. <laughs> it's like it's really cheap or something. <laughs> wow, these nuggets really don't put up a fight, do they? Uh, well, to end with, I mean, you guys have asked about this. I know nothing about this. Woof, woof. It's got a bizarre connector on it that I don't have access to. What if I do this? Dingus. Yes, that's it. Oh. Oh no! Oh, I'm so glad I'm wearing gloves. Ja, chunky white. Oh, that is in there good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Probably gonna destroy it just getting the bats out. <laughs> Alright, I'm still gonna try anyway. Ah, oh, what a mess. Yuck. Alright, a Jura smell, a pair of Pooks. No, the Kirkland. Right, we've got the embattle on my pook cell. We've got the round table of battery brands here. All of these should be decent. They say not to mix batteries, but here we go. Oh, that one's bent outwards. Could you believe that it's totally cooked and not working? Maybe the horrible corrosion gave it away. <laughs> give it, give back my bats. Especially my sweet pook cell. They don't make green ones anymore, they're orange now. Great, now there's schmutz everywhere. Well, pretty fun. Oh, it was pretty good. We were not so good. The, the Pikachu hate thing was the, the worst yet. This guy wouldn't do nothing. And then we got our superstars with just like home recordings and just stolen content. <laughs> well, thanks so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all next time. I'll see you.
Oi, Trevor, mate, have you heard of MP3s? Yes, I keep up with the current trends, yes. So, like, it's music, right? So, what do we do with music? That's a personal question, mate, and I really don't appreciate it. We've talked... You jam to it, mate. Oh, all right, I get you. Sorry, mate, I thought we were talking about something. It, it doesn't matter. Wait a minute, mate, I'm, I'm, I'm putting the pieces together here. I mean, mate, I'm kind of freaking out here, actually. Jam ends with an M, and MP3 starts with an M. I can't believe you've done this. They they really did this. They really called it this. So this ain't any regular nugget, mate. This is a proper grandfather for portable media. This thing is 1999. And a little context on how early that is for media players. Mate, first ever iPod. 2001. Like, digital music back then garnered the same reaction a lot of people have to cryptocurrency, which is, M mate, I, I can't understand it. You want proof of this? Look, year 99, <laughs> the Idiot's Guide to MP3s. Just MP3s. Look, look at this. Oh, mate, I'm really feeling the best of the Eagles album now. I've seen Fix Your Life books with left pages in this, and it's just MP3s. <laughs> so the company is Jam, right? And back then they made a whole bunch of other stuff. They had the Jam Cam, kind of cool name. Jam Studio, not so cool name. But then, like, this. <laughs> now, hearing people talk about this online, they call it the Jam MP3. And they're liars because it's Jam and a P and a 3. It's the Jam P3. And the Aussie in me has to abbreviate it. We do it with everything. It's the Jam P. This is back in a time when the artwork really could persuade someone to buy something. So, you know, you put all sorts of cool stuff on it. So we've got this, like, black hole enigma in the background. We got this guy. We have someone loitering. Mate, it's the late 90s. You gotta get a BMX in there. Uh, site's dead, but thanks to the Wayback Machine, you can still browse that hateful old thing. <laughs> so glad they include that guy just yelling. <laughs> And, and like top hits, <laughs> man. Seeing the Offspring's original prankster sitting at number one, that's a, that's a time warp right there. Get sort load. Jam! Oh, I do not want to use the Jam P3 software. I really don't. But I expect 16 megabytes. Like, whoa! What a nugget. That's so early. Expandable memory. Yes, people were saying this is one of the first things that could just take an SD card. Although this just says MMC. Apparently took it. I, I don't know. Stores up to one hour of music. <laughs> Two ah! alkaline batteries not included. Thanks, boys. Auto off to save battery life. Oh, sh whew. hang on, man. I need to get my breath back from the these stunning features. Oh, no. We need 32 megs of RAM to run this thing, mate. That's asking a bit much. Head behonies. Plug in the top quality head. No. No way. They better blow me away. Easy use jampy software. Cool, look at it. Can't wait to toggle those sliders. Critical clear display. Yeah, because it displays nearly nothing. Solid state skipless music. Yes, that was a perk of these. So yes, it only has 16 megs in it. But it is true. Like, yeah, CD players back then really did skip. I have fond memories of sitting in the back of mum's Nissan Nomad with my mate. And we had to hold our portable CD player so <laughs> over bumps it wouldn't skip. Marketing's always annoyed me because it's got like those little white lies through it. And like, <laughs> looking at this, like they're really overcooking this. Imagine going bungee jumping and instead of like taking in the crazy experience, you're holding your jampy going, oh, I'm so glad I bought this. What do we think of when going on like a fun road trip with friends in the back of a convertible? That's right, putting in headphones and ignoring people. You couldn't think of better things to put on the back of this? Besides, like, the wind rushing past your ears, do you think these crappy little buds are actually going to be any use? So in terms of having a look at this already, I haven't. I just made sure it was actually in there, because I still lament the loss of my Goodman, where the friggin' eBay actually stole it. <laughs> I got everything but my Goodman. Who steals a Goodman? And sorry about my wounds. Look, it's Peppa Pig. Jam P. Jam P. Jam P. Jam Is this brand new? No! No, there's plastic on there. No, did no one buy this? <laughs> Is this still brand new? It's brand new. <laughs> <laughs> no! I paid like 10 bucks for this! Alright, we'll, we'll get to the nugget in a bit. Look at this cable! Like, this is server-grade equipment. Like, what, are we gonna like run multiple users through this or something? Look how long it is! 
That is impressively long. I mean, no joke, seeing the cables that came with like the Samsung Buds or whatever, um, it was the crappiest bootleggy cable I'd ever seen. Mm, thanks, Jampy. Oh, I'm so glad these Buds are new. So if they suck, they have no excuse. I like how they're just haphazardly thrown in there. Like, remember, these are new. Ugh, yuck. The, the rubber isn't the worst quality I've felt. Oh, these wires are so thin at the end. All right, I'll take it back. These feel friggin' horrible. Huh, they don't sound like kids' percussion. They are much stouter than like all the bootleg ones I've actually held. Ooh, gold-plated tip. We're in the money now. Oh, and this charming looking manual actually. Get, sort, load, get! This is a really nice little manual. This is actually better than manuals that come out today. Look, they had to show you what a USB port looks like. It was early days. Playtime, 32 kilobits a second. Oh, that's high, yeah, music quality, radio, you don't say. Yeah, the internal memory can play about an hour's worth of absolutely crushed, woofy sounding nonsense. There's nothing funny or, or manky in this. This is actually like a totally perfectly cromulent manual. Yeah, oh, there it is, the jam cam. They should have just called it this thing, the jam it. Right, but no, they, this crappy looking mic they gave that better name to. Jam it, not a bad name. Now. Uh, it's got a CD. We gotta smell what's on this. It can mean only one thing, mate. It's bringing back the EPC. We're gonna do this Nana selling on Gumtree style. Viruses, welcome. That's the sound, isn't it? That's it. Find the mouse driver. Go Windows XP. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, so we've got the chocolate biscuit laden disk drive. Oh dear. Whoa. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> Imagine time in this photo, like, you know when you want to blow a good bubble and you just kind of gets like this big and goes, it's like, oh, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, dank works. I ain't a freedom man. I'm a Vegemite man. Chad, I am not putting an email address in there. Oh, I want to hear an MP2 file. 76 songs? Highway Blues? What is even on this stupid thing? Oh, right, there's kid stuff on here, I forgot. <laughs> Play it. <clears throat> yeah, I've had children's MP3s plugged into this in one of my after shows and we dragged it anyway. Yeah, it's got everything on here but the music I put on here. Hmm, genius. Oh, Windows, you and pop-ups right to this very day. Yeah, look, that's what I thought. I thought I had a few songs on here. I forgot to put Scarlet Fire on here, but I'm, it doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. Now we got Scarlet Fire on this stupid thing. All right, it's time to look at the nugget. Here's the nugget. <laughs> <laughs> it's already got crumbs and crap sticking to it from its very short time out of the box. Yeah, these rubber coatings never hold up. It's pretty lightweight feeling, to be honest. Oh, there it is, the card. Oh, it's not spring eject. You got to drag it out yourself. Oh, 16 whole megabytes. I couldn't count that on my hands. Headphone jack, genuine feature nowadays. Funny how we've come full circle. Oh, money shot. Here we go. A brand new nug. It still doesn't look that great. Matches with the EPC though. Oh yeah! Full size USB port, just <laughs> maximum compatibility. Rocker switch. He's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> My Pixel boy. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, I've only, oh. Just for the sake of the jam people, we're actually gonna use some new batteries. <laughs> Hmm? Wow, they fit like crap. Ah, oh, jeez, really? This thing's brand new. No, really, these fit like crap. Oh, look at, look at it! Jampy! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, it's on! Oh, you know what? I don't care. Okay, now that won't close now. Brilliant. Can you believe no one bought this? Oh, wow. You know, it is actually a really, really clear display. Well, we can use the world's stoutest nugget cable here. <laughs> That's so satisfying on a portable device. The Jampy has not reacted at all. Oh, there it is. Did you? 
disk drive. That is overselling it. It's 16 freaking megabytes. Do we even need this crappy software? I mean, I'm sure back in the day, this was like totally good and like whatever, but I mean, today it's nightmarish. Oh, what? There's so many removable. What are you? One of these is the memory card in there. And one of them is the jam peep totaling 32 megabytes. I'm gonna try and just avoid using that freaking software and we're just gonna drop it straight in. Whack. Yeah, go. This is one MP3 byte. Modern SSDs, man, this could have been gigabytes worth of data. Go, you nugget. Do it. All right, we're all jampied out. Hey, we gotta safely eject them. Hasn't done anything. And I swear a little bit of battery's gone missing as well. I didn't change being plugged into the computer. Come on, eject. Well, I know the best way to eject it. Whack, idiot. All right. Is, is this the menu? Is this it? Um, is there an on and off button or is it just crank on when the bats go in. I hope you don't have to remove the batteries because that that's not going to happen. Look! They're jammed in there. Why? That's why they call it the jam. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's like crap. Oh! <gasps> There's a song on it! Power on. Uh, Auxiliary mode. Yeah. Yeah, see? No Bluetooth mode. I left this in there. So, you know, Bluetooth so we... mode. Oi, don't interrupt me. Hello. Don't interrupt me. Oh, here we go. I'm excited. Jeppy! Yeah, cool! Why is it multiples of two? It's like an MP3 player or something. There's only one thing left to test. It's the high quality earbuds. Oh, unbelievable. As soon as I plug it in, I just hear, like, light static. <laughs> I'm getting a feeling this isn't hi-fi. Yeah, I can hear the static through the AKGs as well. Hmm. So these, for the most part, are, like, reference headphones. They don't have heaps of bass, but, you know, they're nice and wide, and they're just super comfy. I do love these a lot. Even still, these feel like bassy monsters compared to these. Look, they actually fit okay. They're not made out of sharp plastic or anything. They're not grossly uncomfortable, you know, for earbuds. Back in the day, they'd be tolerable. And, you know, I'm sure you want me to blow these up, but this is actually a bit of MP3 play history. Well, portable media history. Funny enough, this thing has lineage with two today's smartphones like yeah, this is before the ipod like founding fathers kind of thing and it's a total nugget but it's not a bad size the buttons are okay i actually got music on here pretty easily and i didn't have to use the software i just dragged it straight on it's chewing through battery pretty heavy <laughs> for back in the day i'm sure anyone who had this would have absolutely freaking loved it and it's got a clip and the worst battery case I think I've ever used, actually. I've never had batteries fit that terrible. And now I actually got to get them out. Like, I just think, you see how fast this thing's burning through the bats? Like, you're going to be doing this a lot. Like, oh, what the? Get. Are you. Oh, it's very cheap feeling though, and I've got a feeling that, you know, not a lot of use probably would have Shrek this up big time. But that's it! Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, because one dollar a month, I direct your vids, and mate, we're gonna have a look through the complete idiot's guide to MP3s. I wanna feel the best of the Eagles album like this mofo is. Oh, it's 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 just insane. It's got a CD in it, a variety of MP3 players, also known as Future eBay Shopping List. We got the friggin' EPC ready to go, so thanks so much for watching, and mate, I'll, I'll see you all next time. Hmm. Frank, I think I've been a little bit unreasonable. I mean, this is our house after all, and I think it's ours to share, so, you know, I think we'll call it even. You use the couch, right? But you don't touch my sausage rolls, okay? Give us a lick if you agree. Give us a... <gasps> It's war then, Frank. It's war then. Come on, Frank. Last diplomatic attempt here. Come on, give us a lick. Come on, let's just call it even. That's it, that's it. Let's just call... Oh my god. Come on, come on, that's it. <gasps> you vicious. Hey, it's the after show. Thanks so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Thanks to you guys. I don't have to put mid-roll ads in. I don't have to do sponsored stuff. Thank you so much. Is anyone here an idiot?
I certainly am, which means this book's for me. MP3 scared the crap out of people. It was like the original cryptocurrency kind of thing. So this whole book is about MP3s. So we better get straight into it. This book's brand new, by the way. Sources for MP3, mp3.com. Audible. Whoa. Hey, talking about sponsorships, but like, wow, they've been at it for the longest. I mean, this is actually like a really good thing to include at the beginning. It's like where you find music and how to get it onto something. Or actually how to just get it playing out of your computer. What the heck is MP3 anyway? Yeah, what the heck, man? Let's get straight to that. MP3 is hot. It's happening. It's now. It's tomorrow. It's so incredibly next Thursday, even though today's Wednesday. And I God, God, I don't believe, believe it. <laughs> damn, damn it, Rod. It will cause world peace, bring an end to suffering, and drive the banana splits to reunite. Uh, where's the sarcasm? Uh, when does he go? But I'm just being, it's technology, it's creative, it's digital, it's the buzzword, the bomb, the real McCoy. Everyone who's anybody's talking about it, as there are a few people who haven't anybody to be. And it's round and chin in hand. Nope, there's no like hyperbole. Yep, it will cause world peace. Well, mate, it's been 20-something years, and we're still waiting on that world peace. That's the face I'm making. Like, where's my world peace? I mean, 1999, this is true. The internet's huge, but until recently, it hadn't really been rocking. Yeah, like, my first go on the internet was, like, 1998. Pokemon.com was up, so I was happy. Pretty good way to get pictures, yes, because, like, early internet was so flippin' slow. That's why every video was, like, an animated flash thing, because, yeah, you really couldn't share any actual video. Like, pictures were hard work. Basically, it's saying that, like, yeah, internet stinks back then. It's hard to send big stinky files. MP3 is just smooth. It take big and make it small. And then when it's small, you can have it. But I mean, really, MP3 was actually pretty nuts because our early devices actually touted that it can encode MP3s. I mean, it was like, you know, able to play 4K content. See how far we've come in not that long? Yeah, I mean, that's what Abe Lincoln was known for. I mean, that was his tagline. Like, it, you know, if you go to his monument, it just says, this rocks. To be honest, this, I'm already a little bit of the way in, and this is furiously boring, and I'm actually struggling to find fun in it. Uh, but it's saying, like, you know, because the music's so compressed and small, it makes it easy to share. And it's like, MP3s really did get this rap of just being like illegal like the very first mp3 players were almost banned outright by big companies because big companies stink and they never want to have any fun it's all about the bottom line <laughs> i like this guy be cool <laughs> back in the day where having music come out of your computer was far out the windows media player an absolute burden on everyone i hated it although the visualizations were always fun oh man <laughs> no i'm being serious this is so boring. I thought it had this fun vibe to it, or something, but it, it's just, yeah, it's just a big slab of flipping everything. I'm gonna have to go back to the contents and see if there's ac anything I'm actually interested in. All right, so we know what the heck an MP3 is. Pirates, legal troubles, and big business. 167, off we go. Here it comes. One, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. A couple of centuries ago, pirates were a real problem for people, and I'm back to being bored. Oh, this thing is written so long form. I, th I think this whole book could be that big and deliver just as much useful information. I, this, this is just laid out, just. Oh my duck. Oh, look, Billy Idol gave away two singles on mp3.com. Just gave them away. And then, like, the label was like, Oi, don't be super cool to your fans and do whatever you want with your music. We've got money to earn. And then you're like, yeah, you had to take them down. That's why I hate sponsor spots and things. Oh, God, that's just about how interesting this is. That's the face I'm making, just... <sighs> yeah, that 90s haircut. Well, all is not lost. Because at the back of this hideously boring book, of which I'm the original owner of, um, there's a disc. This could save this episode. Okay, no, it's... It's... What? It's like locked away. God, the, the crap. So cool, we just nearly got to ruin the CD to get the CD out. I mean, the complete idiot's guide. You're an idiot if you buy this thing. It's the EPC. Alright, just gonna film the screen. Nana selling on Gumtree style. This better be amazing. This better rock my world. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Otherwise, this is a terrible episode and I'm so sorry. Oh, great. Is there an autoplay? What? Um... Um... Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, no! I mean, this is a period-correct computer. Well, close-ish. Ah! I've got this plugged into the Mac. There is stuff on this. 
There is, there's music on this and everything. All right, EPC, you piece of crap. All right, look, we're here. this is working on like a reasonably modern Mac. So it's just, yeah, a Angel. Matt becomes a TV star. Copyright 1997, uh, 1999. Matt uh, Gertler. Yeah, 99! Having appeared as an extra in the film Primary Cup. Boring. But Monk. Matt Gertler. How long is this? All right, 33 minutes long. Fine, it's not as long as I thought. All right, browsers. <laughs> Netscape. Oh, those were the days. And Internet Explorer. Mm, another flop from Microsoft. MP3s. Ooh. Boogie Man. Wow. Uh, th these might be real songs. I don't know. They sound pretty hokey, to be honest. I mean, it's pretty cool that they give you some MP3s to actually use and play with. That's pretty cool. Artificial love. It's love with a robot. Artificial love. <laughs> oh, man. What? That is... <laughs> Oh, Jason. Ooh. Ew. Sorry, um, I've I've three jazz degrees, and that is the hokiest whatever programs, and I can't touch any of them. Winamp. Rates. Ch trust. Ooh. It looks dodgy. That's this is what a virus looks like. Oh, it's usually dot exe. Trust monk. What? What? Wow. Okay. That. I mean, it, that really does sound like a year eleven rehearsal at school. Uh, that was that was brilliant. That's my favorite. Oh, Trust 160. And then we've got Trust V25. Oh, are these are like different compression amounts. Wow, and they've picked the, the worst kind of lo-fi sounding song to test this with. That doesn't make any sense. Wow, all the way down to 16. Look, 300 kilobytes for a whole song. <laughs> I mean, I know it's hard to hear through the thing, but like even through the iMac speaker, it is obvious that this is 16. Now, it, it said something about like all different MP3 players and things, but where are they? Programs? I was hoping to find like JPEGs or something. Okay? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Oh, those liars. Nah, doesn't have them. Looks like it's an auto run thing, but literally the EPC wouldn't even look at this stupid thing. Oh, well. We got the monk at trust, and I guess that's all that really matters. Yeah, there's EXEs here, so that's probably where a lot of those things are. But I couldn't get them to work. Poo. Well, that was weird. Uh, yeah, music players. Well, not that I can find. Uh, <laughs> the book is pretty hardcore. Maybe, like, yeah, back in the day, this would have been super interesting, but now, like, like, no one's even using MP3s anymore, are they? Like, you can still get them, obviously, but everyone, like, yeah, it's all moved on. But, um, yeah, hey, thanks so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Let's hope next week's week's episode's better. I mean, because this is pretty shit.